Breakers. You sound as though you're going to break into song then. Oh, does it? It's yeah. Like, it's last night. It was last night. It was last you're night. still coming down from your from, from, my, your, from my McFly. McFly. Didn't they team up with another group? A couple Busted. Of, uh, McBusted. Yeah, because there was that like was a it. yes a friendly rivalry. Oh, like Blur and uh, Oasis. Although that wasn't. Well, that friendly. wasn't very friendly, was it? No, I don't no. think that was friendly at no. all. Weirdly. Um, so, you know, I was at Warwick Castle last night. Weirdly, it's Noel Gallagher there tonight. Oh. As I am. He's the nicer of the two, isn't he? Is he? No, no, no. Which one's which? Liam and Noel. I don't Liam know. One of them's there. Isn't... Noel is the better one. I can't yeah. remember. It might be the other yeah. one that's there. I can't remember. So that's one group I'd love to have seen live. Oasis. Oasis. Yeah. I yeah. met yeah. them. Oh, yeah, I remember. They weren't, they weren't the nicest, were Not they? the friendliest of no. chats. <laughs> they might have changed, yeah. but at the time they yeah. weren't You friends. had a nice evening, though. I what time did you get home? I had a lovely evening. About later than I thought, actually. Right. Um, about quarter to 12. That's not too bad. Not too bad. But no. I, was, I was saying to Tom, I was like, I think I'll be home by 11. Yeah. I'll be home by half 10, 11. I you said, know, I said um, a couple of years ago we went to see Kylie at Blenheim. Yeah. Because it's an hour and a half to get out of the car get, park. Really? Yeah. And you hear so many stories about people who leave just as the last song starts, so they miss the traffic. I don't... Normally that's no, their biggest hit or the biggest say, finale yeah. or you get the ticker tape and all this yeah, balloons. Yeah, you but can't leave no, at the last song. No. And they were only on for an hour. Right. So I wasn't and you did get there quite early, didn't you? Yeah, well, I, <laughs> <laughs> I thought the ticket said, this is how often I go to concerts. The ticket said 5.30. Now, I knew they wouldn't be on at 5.30, but I thought I'd be the support in that. Maybe they start at half seven, eight, maybe. No, nine oh, o'clock. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock oh, they yeah. started. I like to wait for it to get dark, don't they? To get a bit of atmosphere. And, yeah, it was uh, great, that. to be yeah, fair. Good, they were amazing. Good really good because i was always like yeah i like mcfly but like you really appreciate how good they are at singing yeah. really really good and they're not spring chickens anymore are they no, you what? think of them quite a new band but they said they must be in their late 30s early 40s late are they? 30s yeah late 30s. i think that's it they said they've been together 21 years wow. or 20 years one of those that's amazing. i know that makes me feel old i remember them coming out yeah. um yeah. but yeah it was really good, good. good. really really good I'm so i will fully be embracing the nana nap this afternoon right. <laughs> Um, because my three-year-old um, also will need a nap because she didn't sleep very well in the heat last night. No, it was hot, no. wasn't it? Yeah, very muggy. Really hot. Look yeah, who's yeah. here, everyone. Good Gorgeous, morning. Mark. That's good. good. How are you? How was I'm your good. evening? Yeah, really good. Yeah. Did you have a nice We're watching this, this thing on BBC iPlayer at the moment that's a bit weird. It's called The High Country and it's set in Australia about Australian police. Right. And there are so many different storylines that we're getting a bit confused. And it's got to the point now where there are eight in the series and we keep putting it on saying, right, how many more to go? Three to go. Well, let's just go for it and watch it all. And then we just can watch something else. Persevere. Because you've gone past the halfway point and you just yeah. have to finish it. But yeah. it's... You can't give up now. No, it's a bit tough going. Is it? Yeah. So we watched one of those last night. But I was in bed at nine o'clock. Oh, yeah. that's lovely. Yeah. I'm quite nice. jealous of that. That's nice. Quite jealous. Yeah. I think I'll put, be in bed at I that time. I put four this morning. Well and uh, yeah. clear up the cat debris. We won't go into details <coughs> what I found oh, this morning. no, they weren't at it again. Yeah. Which one, Ripley? Ripley, it's always Ripley. Yeah, Ripley. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark doesn't need feeding no. little rodents. No, <laughs> this one was on the drive. I thought I thought we had a, the downstairs was really clean. I thought, right, we've gone because we had quite a nasty yesterday morning. <laughs> So lock the back door after me. What do I find on the middle of the drive? So I had that to deal with. A little time. rodent. Yeah. Naughty never Ripley. Mind, never mind. Does he eat them though? Some of it. <laughs> Some of it. Okay. He leaves quite a lot. Okay. Yeah. Right. Normally the back end. I guess. Yeah. I guess at least they, he eats it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, there is that nature and all that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah. it's a funny conversation, isn't it? Morning, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. Um, what have you got coming up today on your Saturday show? Oh, it's going to be a special one, Mark. It's going to be. It's going to be special because. One of your essentials, jewellery makers, we have your magnetic clasp. Beautiful. So from jump ring to jump ring, it's 11 millimetres. Yeah. Solid Beautiful. sterling silver, revolutionary in your, well, not just jewellery making, in your jewellery wear. Mm -hmm. So if ever you have um, struggled with a clasp in the past, whether that's necklaces or bracelets, swap it over to a magnetic yeah. glass yeah. because it's done in seconds. Um, we have a massive quantity of those, 400. I like those words, massive quantity. Massive quantity. Good price. Um, what was that, Ross? Ooh, on the website, it's starting at £20, but obviously you know we're not stopping there. So oh. shop ahead, 
check out your baskets, multi-buy, because remember everybody pays that final low price tag, regardless of where mm. you, you make your confirmations. We've got 400, which obviously, and this is why Mark likes those words, um, means that we can, can take it to an extra low price tag. So an ideal opportunity, jewelry makers, for you to stock up on your magnetic class. They are revolutionary, aren't they, yeah, magnetic they're amazing. class? Yep. I changed a bit, before we lost mum, I changed every single piece of her jewellery to magnetic clasps. Yeah, because no, it's see, literally, yeah, that's it. yeah. job done, and, yeah. it, and it's sorted. Yeah. Likewise with your bracelets, there's nothing more infuriating no. than trying to put a bracelet on. <laughs> you end no, up getting really right. cross and frustrated, yeah. so um, yeah. I could do with one on this, actually. Um, nine o'clock, Mark, ooh, full of sparkle. It's brilliant. Beautiful hematite. And I'm just, I'm just going to point it out. Um, I'll show you these, this little pair of earrings here. Okay, we have got something that I didn't think we'd ever see on the show, Swarovski hey? Crystal Rondelles. I thought they'd stop doing that. Apparently not. Rondelles are still available. And oh. we've, we've, we've got a massive, look at them all, all the colours of the rainbow, Swarovski Rivoli Rondelles oh, included in the bundle. Really? Yep. So you get all of those, that big pile of yep. them? Yep, all those eight mil rounds, plus the facetedness and all of those Rondelles so that, that's the main kit, Hang and then on. we, I know. I'm just having a, having a little look to see. Oh, we got 71. Amazing. With your instructions. Yeah, yeah. That's a very affordable price it is. tag, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For all that. And I'm paying that price for the rondelles alone, yeah. especially being Swarovski. Can't wait. Amazing, so that's at nine o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Get them now, not just for summer, but get them for mm -hmm. Christmas as well, for your Christmas makes. Um, at 10 o'clock, we've been naughty jewelry makers. They are lovebirds. The lovebirds. We thought they were. Yeah, the lovebirds. Literally, little kissing lovebirds. Um, we've been a bit naughty now, oh, Mark. Look. Because we're not meant to have this. This is the first weekend where both <sighs> Wayne... He's not away. He is away. What Dave, do you mean he's... Dave isn't. He's next door. Dave is not away? He's next door. Oh, Ross, Dave's not away. No, he's next door. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, well, we'll move on really quickly. No. We thought he was on holiday. Apparently... He's, he's with Ellis next door. Is he with Ellis? Yeah. Nobody say <laughs> anything. Because we were like, oh, Dave's away. Wayne's yeah. away. We're going to steal something. Morning, Dave. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> have a good show. Nothing to yeah. see here. Mm. So we have literally stolen this, right. thinking... That they're both away, they're going to be none the wiser. But I uh, didn't realise Dave's in the building. I thought he was on holiday. Mm. Oh, maybe that's uh, uh. maybe that's in a couple of days. Um, so we have your lovebird and flower carving, mm. which obviously is symbolic of love. That's so um, lovely. As a, oh. as a teenager growing up, my mum and dad had lovebirds. We had budgies. Did you? Yeah. I like budgies. They've yeah. got character. Yeah, we had budgies. <laughs> You know what Adam's just said, didn't you? Always has to lower the tone. Uh, just talking about his yeah. uh, swimwear attire, yeah. his choice of swimwear attire. Adam, I can imagine you in Budgie Smugglers. I could actually, yeah, yeah. There's a brand of underwear that I keep getting bombarded with on my Facebook page called Oddballs. I've seen those. Have you seen those? They look really cool. Yeah. And they just bought a Mr. Men range. Yeah. So I was thinking about getting some Mr. Bump underpants. That'd be <laughs> quite fun. Yeah, really Mr. Good. Bump. He's my favourite, Mr. What Bump. What is it that yeah. what, what is it that makes oddball pants more more? I don't know. They're an Australian brand. Are they? That's all I know. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perhaps we need to research yeah. it. Yeah. What is it about yeah. oddballs? Yeah. Is it? Uh, yeah, strange. The construction of them that's yeah. different. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, no, these aren't budgies. These are yeah. love birds. Love birds. Yeah. yeah. We used, we had. Some, they are beautiful birds, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. However. I'm just going to say it, they're a bit inappropriate. I'm not being funny. We had to move them. We had to vacate them to our dining room because, you know, mm. whenever we had visitors, it'd right, be like, oh, right. right, will you two pack it in? <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Stop it. So we had to vacate them out of the living room. Um, so, yes, okay, don't tell Dave. Yeah. We have literally stolen this brand new carving. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at the quality of the Olmec Jade. Um, the magnetic oh, class, by the way, really heads up is flying on pre-orders. Yeah, yeah. So well done to those of you that are shopping ahead on that one. Um, we've got 400 and it's going to be, we said it yesterday actually, um, it's going to be one of the most affordable mm. magnetic class prices. 
So definitely an opportunity to shop ahead. Loving the 11 o'clock as well. Um, if I just amazing. slide this what over. What my words this morning? When they're I going saw to them. fly. Yeah. And I don't disagree Chain with tassels, you. Chain tassels, love them. Yeah. So whether it's for your earrings silver. or for your mala necklaces, for your on top of your tattle tassel, tattle tossers, <laughs> tassel toppers, even. Got there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These are so elegant. Look at that. And they're weighty, yeah, Mark, as they're well. Lovely, aren't they? Yeah, loads of sterling yeah. silver and vest. Oops, um, I'll pick this one up then. Because you've got three different designs. They're beautiful. Aren't they lovely? Yeah, they're really weighty. And if you bought the magnetic clasp, yeah. you could attach them and then you could change the tassel. Have it on and off a ball. Yeah, so have a long la na navel length chain with your magnetic clasp and then swap Very and change nice. the tassels. Very yeah. nice. Very nice. Yeah, literally just feed this to... Um, yeah. Oh, that would be lovely. Yeah. And like I said, you get it in three different designs. They all differ ever so slightly. Let me just show you this one. Because this one's the Figaro. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. Here you go. Got the Figaro chain on this one. How beautiful oh, are that. they? And they are all solid 925 sterling silver. So these are coming up wow. at 11 o'clock, jewelry makers. Brand new. And then at 12 o'clock, I'm excited by this. Because straight away, you've got, you've, like, it's, I, I warm towards this title. The forget-me-not connections. I named it, I know. Because I asked, because I love bead caps yeah. and flattening them to make them into connectors. So we, this is what the is whole... Is that what they are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all, they're all bead caps. I know. Look at this. If I bring they these... They look like, 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 Sorry, you know, like the endless... In the way. You know, like the endless knots. They look like yeah. that. Yeah, look at this, look. They're bead caps. Oh, we got, we got them in three, di beautiful. three different colourways. Got them in gold, <coughs> rose gold, Excuse and me. sterling silver. Pack of twenty. Wow! As well, so in your huge project. pack. And shell pearl. When did we see shell pearl? Do you remember the last oh, time? Gosh. I've not seen shell pearl this year. It's ridiculous. The yeah. amount of people that are asking for yeah. shell pearl too. And just using one look, so flattening, oh, it's flattening it into a connector on a little macrame friendship bracelet. And you lovely. get different colours. Is that right? Yep, yeah, green, white, and plum. Um, oh, I like yeah. the plum. Yeah, I like so, the plum. No, so that's coming up at 12 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Back to budgies again. <laughs> I like the plum colour. Does that and sound this, better? Um, that sounds better. This necklace. Oh, that's beautiful. This, um, this is using them as we're intended. But this reminded me of Mary Berry. Mary Berry wears a necklace very similar to this on every show she's on. Does she? It's a vintage pearl with little bead caps either side. Mary yeah. Berry, um, who Your doesn't like a soggy bottom. Who doesn't like a soggy bottom. Doesn't yeah. like a soggy bottom, does Mary and Berry. And you get the chain as well. I forgot to mention you get oh, sterling silver, chain. half a metre of your chain in all the colours as well. I mean, so that's an expensive piece of jewellery. Yeah, beautifully elegant kits at 12 o'clock. Very much so. Very so apt for a Saturday, I thought. You're right, though. It's been, I don't yeah. think we've had shell no, pearl no, all no. year. It's weird, isn't it? Where, what's happened to it? Well, pearls. Anything yeah, pearl related, I so, yeah, never you know, whether it's that. mother of pearl, whether it's um, shell pearl, whether it's uh, like uh, abalone, anything True, to do yes. with sort of yeah, never thought of that. culture pearls, incredibly expensive because the world's gone crazy for pearls. It's a very yeah. difficult source. Um, so I'm mm, excited yes, about that project yes. then. I've just realised I look really dishevelled today. I'm ever so sorry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Adam says, no, you look lovely. You look like you've been to a McFly concert. <laughs> yeah. Can I just say, one of my favourite strands of the year yeah. so far is on that little stand. Ooh. You and I had it recently. This one? No, no, no. Oh. Towards you. Keep going towards you. Keep going, keep going. This keep one? Going. Yes, of course. I should have known that, Mark. That is so There's beautiful. There's only my a couple. Favorite, my favourite clover strand so far it's beautiful, beautiful quartzite jade yeah, gorgeous um, there's literally a couple of those wow. so you'll need to be quick shop yeah. ahead on that now um ross is saying in my ear l do you remember the other day when i made a big mistake in the hour i mean ross which one no no <laughs> offense <laughs> ha 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 Oh, a jade strand oh, that yes. you put it at the wrong yes. price. Yeah, you put it at, at, at um... Was this the one that the viewers had to text in to yes. say which was the mistake? Yeah, it was meant to be at 99.99. Oh, <laughs> so no. said it again. <laughs> oh, no. My father-in-law was watching the other day when that mistake was happening. He was going, you were telling off your producer for, for making a mistake. I was like, I don't think I was telling him off. <laughs> Fairly sure I wasn't telling him off. Because to be honest, that I've got no control oh, over that. It's well. all Ross. It's all Ross. He says, I'm just going to show you. 
You forgot to change it. You've copied and pasted, Ross, haven't you? You've literally copied and pasted the code, dropped it into the schedule and not checked the price, haven't you? Sounds like it. He's put in a price, wondering what if he could do it for that, and then he's left it there, realising that no, he couldn't. Okay. It's up to you to find it, he says. Um, three people already have. In fact, there's two, two oh, mistakes yeah. in the hour. Um, that's all good, though. Now, if you're uh, your early bird hour, everything that's on the website, so um, some of the items will go lower than the prices that you're seeing on the website. So go to all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, click watch live, scroll down, and you can see all the items. Even if, say, that Tanzanite, Zavarite, and Zervasite strand that's in at $99.99. If that goes lower and you've checked out before that, don't worry, you pay that final low price tag as well. Um, nothing is debited from your account until your order is ready to be shipped. So don't worry. If we crash the price, you benefit from that too. Um, heads up though, your early bird hour does tend to have more limited quantities with the exception of the magnetic class where we've got fee, uh, for fee hundred fee is not three it's not four four hundred magnetic class that being said i don't have that quantity anymore they're flying out um never been a better opportunity to uh to multi-buy right shall we start with now we know what ross does with the beginning of the hour we do and yeah. i've been racking my brains there can't be any strands on there that he's no. going to do that little deal with i can't see blue cow suddenly rounds are they these the one that looks like angelite I, I think I've got it. Got oh, it. No. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's just dawned on me. Mm. Yeah, you're right, Mark. You're right, Mark. There's not one strand on no. this that should be no. anywhere near Ross's. What is that, Ross? <sighs> Sold out. Well done. White what? zircon. Don't you do it. He's doing it. The oldest gemstone on our planet. 4.4 4 billion years. It's cool, that, isn't it? As old as our planet, this gemstone. And he's doing it for a quid. Rarer than diamonds. Yeah, and he's just done that a pound. Ah, he's naughty, my producer. Very, very, very naughty. Ah, it still blows my mind that this gemstone is literally as old as our, our planet. 4.4 4 billion years. Rarer than diamonds. If we were to market uh, zircon, not cubic zirconia, if we were to market zircon the same way diamonds were, it would be mm. uh, deplete within a year. Yeah. Next one's a bad one, as if they weren't. Go on. I knew it was going to be that one. Did you? It's dyed tourmaline colour crackled quartz. Okay. Okay, yeah, 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 I get it, because you've got like your indicolite colours, oh, you've got like, your rubellite colours, you've got your chrome tourmaline at a fraction of the cost. Still a beautiful gemstone, phone line's gone wild way. I'd love to have had these in a kit, you know. Oh, yeah. Because you rainbow. can separate them as well. Yeah, if, if it's too much colour all at once, yeah. you can always separate them. What is that? What is that? I didn't Goodness even know this me. was a thing. I've never seen this before. No, I've not seen this strand yeah. before. Is this new, Ross? Been on air once back at the beginning of the year. He was like, I'm not entirely sure why I took this to a pound, but there you go, it's done now. Um, beautiful crackle cords. Well done, sold out. Congratulations. Do get your text messages in as well. Um, spacer beads that we used with the Amazonite jewellery yesterday. So if you tuned in yesterday and you saw Ross's amazing... He did um, so well, didn't he? Did, he did, didn't he? When he said his little shout out to his partner. <laughs> I know. And all his oh, family tuned yeah. in. He was saying this morning. Oh. Yeah, but you know what, Ross? I think you should do it more often, you know. You'd happily do it more often. Yeah. You should. Because, you know, especially now you have like a part in a lot of the gemstone buying. You know, you should. Something very exciting coming up on Thursday. You need to talk to me about. Are you doing another auction? No, uh, if, it, if, it, if the option's there, you should definitely do it. Definitely. We shall discuss. Right. Um, these are your silver plated base metal spacers. So, um, yeah, thank you, Ads. Oh, um, so you have stars. Oh, they're cute. Bears, hexagons, rondelles, 
crescents, oh, the butterflies, kind of like a um, like a Moroccan kind of beaded yeah. shape, um, flowers. Yeah. I see these are for your Swifty bracelets, aren't they? She's Swifty. coming back, isn't she, to do Wembley? Is she? Yeah, in all, is it August, September? I think we did have another look at the uh, the ticket did prices. You? I can't justify it. I can't. No. I can't look as amazing as I'm sure she is. I cannot justify over a thousand pounds for a ticket. And how long did it take you to get out of the the crowd last night? Um, twenty minutes. Imagine, too imagine eighty thousand people yeah. leaving at the same time. No, no, no. no that's no, what no, would put no, me no. off. Yeah. No. But these would be perfect for your friendship Swifty bracelets, wouldn't they? Yeah, they would be perfect. Yeah. Somebody. Oh yes, we had a oh. message in yesterday about these, didn't we? Um, lovely viewer who texted in yesterday Aww. saying about the bead caps. They, I was like, oh, there's spaces um, in the jewellery. Where does the drill hole go in? Is so it through it goes, the middle? Yeah, through the so middle. So you could put a gemstone in the centre of two. Well, that's what the jewellery was like. It was kind of framed. Uh, oh, yes, that'd be lovely. That, um, they were kind of framed. Beautiful. Yeah. Yes, we did. Well remembered, Adam. Uh, we had a message um, in... Who said it at the start of the auction? Who did? Me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Was oh, oh, that just all threaded? Not lovely. <coughs> sorry, Ross is like, excuse me. Oh, it I love that. <coughs> sorry, Ross, I didn't hear you. Yeah, somebody literally messaged uh, about these. Are. You said about the jewellery. You didn't mention about, cu about the customer. He goes, I literally did, L. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I love those moons. Oh, look at this. Isn't that a good idea? Yeah. So you can see some of the lovely pieces of jewellery uh, made up. So that's the one we were talking about. Then, look, there's some of the, you know, I said about the like Moroccan oh, yes. yeah. lantern style. So absolutely beautiful. There you go. These little punctuations. They're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, they, they just add texture to your jewellery and you can use them in absolutely everything, whether it's bracelets, necklaces or earrings. Yeah, it, we, that's right. A customer messaged in, wasn't it during the fa uh, during the Colorado Amazonite launch with our lovely Roscoe? Um, look at how many you're getting, though, jewelry makers. So, ten of each design, and there's ten designs, so you get a hundred. Yeah. Hundred. Yeah, you wow. get a hundred. Hundred pieces. That's a what? Fifty p each. Fifty p per spacer. <laughs> Nineteen ninety nine yeah. for a hundred spacer beads. We used to sell them in packs of ten. Now you're getting a hundred with oh. different designs. Have you got a favourite? I think it has to be the teddy bear. The teddy bears are yeah, cute. I've never seen that. Teddy have you bears seen the spacers? Have you seen the Thomas Sabo collection? Thomas what, Sabo. Teddy bears? Yeah, they're like a gummy bear. They uh, literally look like gummy bears yeah. in a piece of jewellery. Believe it or not, though, jewelry makers, for 100 spaces, 10 different designs, this is not where we stop. We go wow. even lower. Stock out your stashes. How about what? Under 10. Oh, he's a tinker. 10p per silver plated. I've only got 35, though, so you do need to be quite quick. Um, silver plated spacer beads. I don't think there's a single piece of jewelry that I make that doesn't include a spacer bead. Would you agree with that? No, no, no. I use them all the time. All the time. Yeah. Probably, I use spacer beads more than I do jump rings. Mm. And probably head pins as well. Ten quid. That's amazing. No. <laughs> That's a nice bottle of Prosecco, isn't it? Yeah. Ten quid. Yeah. Or a glass in a concert. Oh, oh <laughs> don't. I bought some fruit cider, a can of fruit cider, £6.50. Wow. Is that not too bad? We, went to, we went to, um, a couple of years ago, we went to see Wicked in London. <coughs> yeah. And two cans of Dark Coke, eight quid in the interval. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. They, they can though, can't yeah. they? We yeah. got there and my, my friend and I, and we were like, oh, hungry, because we hadn't eaten since breakfast. So, and they've got like street venues. Oh yeah, yeah. Fact, yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go get some nachos. 
some nachos with some pulled pork and everything. Very Firstly, nice. it was not. No, it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't. It really oh, no. was. Oh, it, no. it was. It was a pulled pork. I'm sure it was jackfruit they gave me because I don't like jackfruit. Right. Um. Anyway, and and it right. was about that big, and it cost me honestly for the two of us and a diet coke each thirty quid, thirty pounds, and I didn't even like it. But there we go. Oh anyway, grumble Lord. over. Grumble over. I'm sure it was jackfruit. I'm not a fan of jackfruit. Um, hello, June. Good morning, Alan Mark. Looking forward to the show. I sympathise with Mark. I have two moggies. Some mornings, eek, not pleasant. No, it's horrendous. Yeah. But can I, June, my mum and dad's cat, I'm going back some years, she was a good hunter. And she used to bring them in alive and just let mm, them go. Right. Like, we've had baby rabbits and everything and trying to catch rabbits in your house oh, and, no. and set them free and mice. So which is which is better? Well, yeah. yeah I don't that's, know. That's Because they've got to be traumatised, haven't they, then? It's when there's a bit here and a bit there and a bit over here and a bit, you know. Yeah. A couple of days ago, he bought a slug in in his fur, went oh. to sleep on the back of the sofa. I get up in the morning, snail trails all <laughs> over the sofa, all over the cushions, all over the shelf. Was it a slug or a snail? Slug. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, not nice. Not nice. Uh, hiya, Teresa. Morning. Morning, all. Mark, you need to stick with uh, the high country. The ending oh, do has I? a good shock and a twist. It's good. Oh, okay. Oh, this is that series. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I will post. We've got two left, which we're going to do. We're going to watch tonight. Right. But it's just lots of characters and people. Is that on Netflix? iPlayer, BBC iPlayer. Right. Okay. Yeah. Thank oh, I'm you. I'll give thank that a whirl then. Yeah. I've started watching New Amsterdam. Think he are, but they're all just a little bit more sad. Ah. So like Tom's like, I don't think I can watch this anymore. It's like they're oh, just no. really sad all the time. Mm. These doctors. So yeah, but let's just put it on the background. Yeah. I might yeah. give that a whirl. Give yeah. that a whirl. Um, don't forget your early birds, jewelry makers. Don't forget your magnetic class. Shall we do some grip tubes? Oh tubes. gosh, tubes. These are too decorative to squash. I think personally. Um, the idea is obviously that mm. you do. A crimp is to squash. To Linda was making some lovely jewellery with you the other day and she was using... Was it with, was Linda with you? Yeah. Yeah, she was. And yeah. she was putting them in between her sapphires, wasn't That's she? Right. In a, in a, that, just treating them as a spacer bead. Yeah, because they oh, are Oh yeah, I don't squish those. You wouldn't want to squish them, would Use you? them in your Morse code. Yeah, lovely. Oh, yeah. the spacers that yeah. you just had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice idea. Again, it's mm. a way of bringing punctuation to your jewellery designs. I mean, if you think about all of Mark's amazing jewellery today, you know, little embellishments like mm. this do uh, uh, separate the gemstones. You know, they bring um, a beautiful luster and, of course, they're precious metal too. Um, so you're getting a pack of 10. Diamond cut. Pardon? Oh, you no. think this is the last time these are going to be on air? We had 500 originally. I've got less than 100 left. And I'm going to sh show you a price that we're not stopping at. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a pound per diamond cut. I'm not going to call them crimp mm. tubes because they're more spaces, aren't they? Like a bugle. No, I'm not being rude, but I can't remember whether I was on the show with you or Carol when we relaunched bugle beads. Carol. It was Carol, was it? Yeah. I did um, a design and, and we did a demo one, I think, on the show. And these are the same size as the bugle beads so you to could do use the sterling silver bugle. Use them as wow. bugle beads, yeah. And it was a zigzag bracelet. And it would be sterling silver. Yeah, it'd be what amazing. kind of like a gate bracelet? Um, do you remember the gate bracelets? Yeah, 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 yeah. Very similar to gate bracelets that were yeah. around in that yes. the eighties and nineties. Claire wears one. Yeah. Well, just just use them and rosary link them together. Make a chain. A bracelet yeah, very chain. nice. That'd be lovely. Very nice. We don't stop there, Mark. Right. Today we believe may well be the final time that you see this opportunity because you haven't got one price crash, you've got two double figure quantities. <clears throat> Hello to our lovely jewelry maker viewers up and down the UK, all around the world. Um, not closing here. Up in Ren Ren Renfusha. That's where Alison is, isn't it? Flintshire she is. Oh, Flintshire. Flintshire. Oh, yes. oh Renfusha is Scotland, isn't Scotland. it? Scotland. Essex, beautiful Essex, Cambridgeshire. Well, I was born, I was born in Cambridgeshire. Uh, Devon, Birmingham, Hertfordshire, Gloucestershire, another Essex, Manchester. Hello, everybody. London, loads of multi buyers. 
Uh, Barbara, Anna in Derbyshire as well. Judith in Essex. Lots of Essex. Good morning, everybody. We're at four ninety nine, and we go lower. Oh. Goodness me. That is a bit low, actually, says Ross. For sterling silver. That is a bit low, actually. I'd raise if you link them into a bracelet. Yeah, they're all... I think that looks You so definitely beautiful. wouldn't squash them, no, would you? No, Which is what, what crimps are for. They're obviously to hold secure your... To complete your necklace or mm. bracelet. But they're too pretty. They, they, they are a bead in my eyes. And so many of you have multi-bought. I don't blame wow. you. At 3 99 that's ridiculous. But remember that they are 925 sterling silver. And just adding one mark... You say this a lot, don't you? Just adding one to your jewellery, immediately you have that perceived mm. value. This is Absolutely. 925 sterling yep. silver. And shout about it, the fact that you're using it yeah. as well. Yeah. You know, not base metal, genuine precious metal. Um, well done, everybody. Threes, fours, loads of multi-buyers. Do get your text messages in as well. Tell us what you're up to. Um, who was the last person you saw in concert? That could be our text message topic, couldn't it? Mm. Hi, Penny. Hello, my lovely. Uh, just finished watching uh, Mad Men. Not sure, but think Elle might have mentioned it in the past. Oh, I don't know if I've seen that. Is it good? Is it a film or a series? It's a series. You know what, Penny, I'm going to jot that down though, because I'm always looking Mad for series Men. to watch. Mad Men. What's it about? Mm. Admin. Advertising in the 50s and mm. 60s. Something else I've just put onto BBC iPlayer are all the series of Suits. I've never watched it. With Meghan Markle. Have you watched it? For that reason. Same. <laughs> exactly the same. Isn't that awful? No, I'm exactly the same. Mm. Tom was like, oh, maybe we should. I was like, no. No. <laughs> no, don't want to. No, don't no. want to watch it. Same. Mm. Doesn't interest me at all, Suits. No. I don't know why, but I just no. don't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> text in. What should we be watching as well? Yeah, I'm always mm. looking for a series. Something I have watched recently, and I was really disappointed because I, because it wasn't shown at our local cinema, so I couldn't go and see it. Mm. And I've waited and waited and waited it to get it on DVD or Blu-ray, and it's too expensive. And it's just come on to Netflix, I believe, and it's a film called Godzilla Minus One. <sighs> it's like watching paint dry. Honestly, is I, it? Godzilla minus one. I gave up. Is, the, is he just get? He's fighting another baddie. No, it's just him, but him as a baddie, and right. it's a Japanese um, dubbed oh. as well. Right. Which I'm not good with. I prefer no, subtitles no, to yeah. dubbing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. Never mind. I there's mm. was it Godzilla? I actually is it Godzilla? At some point, you actually feel. I don't know which film this was, but I actually feel a bit sorry for it. Yeah, him. with the you no. Know, you feel, was it the one in the 90s? You just feel mm. a bit sorry for him. Yeah. A woman's pregnant, she has loads of babies. Godzilla. Oh, yeah. Godzilla's female, and she has yeah. lots of babies. In Madison Square Garden, and it gets annihilated by jet fighters. As you do. <laughs> oh, gosh, this sounds tragic. I don't want to watch that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, really? I didn't think that was the reason I felt sorry for her. But, but I spoiler, she, also... she, she becomes alive again at the end. She comes alive again. Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does she go on to have more babies? Yeah, yeah. Produce more babies. <laughs> um, <laughs> well done, everybody. I think they've sold out. Congratulations. Well done. Again, make sure you're checking out your baskets on your magnetic class. We've had, you know, perhaps... Um, Unintentionally, we've had lots of uh, mm. precious metal and essential yeah, yeah. findings, haven't we? Are we um, going to play that strand in this hour, do you think? Or the yes. clovers? Let's do it now, shall we? Now, shall we? Your favourite. <sighs> there are only four. Gorgeous. I knew there wouldn't be many, Mark. No. I knew there wouldn't. And I, remember, I think I sat next to you yeah. while we brought this to air as well, didn't we? You did. Yeah. Um, this is your quartzite jade, the newest member of the jade family. And it has been carved into the beautiful oh. Alhambra four-leaf clover. My favourite clover ever, oh. without a doubt. Is it? The love, I just loved it when I saw it the first time. It's beautiful. You also get loads on this yeah. strand. It's Full much, length, isn't it, it's as much, well? A, yeah. a much higher carat weight than yeah. um, what you would normally see. 
in your clover strands it's still you know regardless of the gemstone whether it's tiger's eye malachite whether it's jadeite uh, whether it's quartzite jade whichever you know the four leaf clover is incredibly challenging for our lapidaris and that's because you've got the four clefts mm. um, the risk of the gemstone actually splitting is very real and uh, these are totally and utterly natural again we're, we're part of history at the moment jewelry makers because you know right the jade family has existed since death right was discovered almost 10,000 years ago and then 800 years ago, um, we, uh, the jade family introduced jadeite, chemically different to nephrite, however, a member of the jade fam family. And as we speak right now, is the new addition of the quartzite jade. And, and as we should expect, really, there's resistance um, to that acceptance. That's not us, that is the GIA that are saying this, and obviously the East that are saying this. So um, it's my job, really, to just sort of reiterate, this is the news that's happening within the industry. And, that, and here we are, you know, literally in its embryonic stage, launching where, where the gemstone is sort of welcoming, um, or the jade world is welcoming your courtside jade variety. And here we are bringing it in a affordable price yeah. tag you know that's really that's really exciting as a gem collector to be able to get it when it's fresh if you like fresh I'm not saying fresh in terms of its formation no gemstones literally going to be informed yeah. yesterday but um, in its acceptance if you like in the jade world because we're very traditional in in the, in the uh, gemological world now we have four of these available or I should say had because already we've got a collector in London, Yi Mei, you've got yours, well done. We're gonna do this in one price crash, Mark's favorite. I think if, em if Colombian emerald was opaque, it would look like this. this. Would, it would look like this, mm. really do. It's got lovely patterns along the yeah. surface, we call it floating flower. They're gorgeous. One price crash, I've only got four, you get loads on this strand, I'll count them in a second. Wow. Oh yes, I remember now. Do you? I didn't remember that. And we said if you if you used each individual one on a macrame bracelet, you charge fifty pound each. Yeah, for that because yeah. Yeah. On its own. Wow. Should I count them? So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen. You can make nineteen bracelets. That's mad. Charge about fifty pounds each, which is a great price. Yeah. Absolutely great wow. price. Um. Yeah, I've got two left. Paula, you've got yours. You can get a tenner each. <laughs> you yeah, double your money. Yeah, you know? you're doing pretty well yeah. at that, aren't you? Wow. Amazing. And then you've got, you know, one of the most popular shapes in the jewellery world, not just here at Jewellery Maker. Alhambra, Van Cleef and Arpels is absolutely everywhere. All the celebrities are wearing it, of course. Yeah. Um, plus royalty. You know, there's been lots of versions. Even our own sister channel has actually um, launched an Alhambra version. They're very nice, actually. Right. Very, very nice. Um, we're over allocated. Oh, in fact, wow. Russ. Oh. Sold out. 25. Oh, split pay as well. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you know we've gone too low if it's on split pay, don't yeah. you? Okay. Well done. Let's do sterling silver clots. Not just any clot, though. Are these ones with the. Um, They've got a flower. Little flower. Here you go. Yeah, I remember. <sighs> Ross took these far too low. So, and we were really excited about the fact that they are decorative. Um, so where I'm holding, can you see you've got the actual loop? That's what you would attach directly to your oh, clasp. I see where Adam's going with this. He said it reminds him of Victorian jelly moulds. Oh, I like yeah. those. I like They're those. Gorgeous. Do you remember back in the yeah. days when you were growing up and your mum used to make you like a like a rabbit jelly oh, yeah. or something like that? I or love, a mousse. Jelly. My mum used to love making like salmon mousse. Oh yeah, that's very 70s. Yeah, yeah. and then decorate it with things yeah. like cucumber. Cucumber whiskers and yes. things, yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and, she, and, the, and the salmon mousse yeah. used to sit on uh, used to sit on things like uh, uh, lettuce, basically. We're gonna do the <laughs> We're gonna do this in one price crash. Oh gosh, the memories. They're gorgeous. Um, they? We're gonna take these. They are sterling silver. Yeah, such a, 
it's so easy as a new jewellery maker to overlook items like this, Mark. Would you agree? Without a doubt. But a calotte yeah. will make your jewellery making needs so much easier. If I fold it over, I know you can't see it right now. That's not done fully. Um, but if you can imagine you put your clasp there and say you're knotting your pearls, for example. Imagine there's a pearl just here, you're not, and then you put the other knot in here, close it, job yeah. done. It's really seamless, really professional, um, nice and secure as well. And it keeps it all beautifully safe within the clot itself. Yeah, we went far too low. Because they're not oh. just plain clots either, are they? I might get some of these, Roscoe. I'm just imagining if you if you close that gently over a, a knot in an elastic stretchy bracelet. Yeah. And then attached a charm to oh, the loop. Oh, that's a nice idea. So have it kind of like that. Yeah. In the stretchy bracelet. Yeah, because you've got, you've got that added little embellishment on your bracelet. It's yeah. covering the knot that we're always we always don't like seeing don't we when no. we're doing stretchy braces and then you've got the loop to attach a that's a lovely to. idea where the tweezers yeah. actually yeah. are yeah. if i turn it that way you can see where They're the cord cute. can go through and obviously that's where you hide a knot as well they yeah. are for me like your wire guardians your collots yeah. they're just genius whoever came up with them if you've got a little uh, what size are they um, they're five mil. Yeah. They look about five. If you've got a little four mil gemstone or a shell pearl or a pearl inside, glued it in. Yeah. And then had it as a charm on a necklace. Oh, lovely! So don't actually close it fully, but just so it embed like it so it holds it inside the little shell. Like an oyster. Yeah. I'm on good form today. He is. Good night's sleep. Nine o'clock. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, good because yeah. you you've yeah. had a whole three uh, hours sleep extra uh, to me. Yes. I'm very jealous. <laughs> oh, mind you, know you get up at four. Yeah, I was so up at four. Yeah. you're only an hour in actual fact, mm. but still, you are on form. Yeah, full gosh. of inspiration and <laughs> ideas. And wait until you see the jewellery as well. Yeah. But would you agree, Mark? Yeah. A clot is like oh, this it's is something genius. that we should have all the time. You know? It's very <coughs> yeah. recent, isn't it? That we've that we've brought them to air. Yeah, this year maybe. Yeah, yeah. But it's what takes your your yeah. ho your your handmade jewellery to another level yeah, to let's like, sort of yeah. professional levels um, well done oh, is this the mistake is this a mistake next I up still is don't the know error which one it is. don't you no. I, I, you will spot it previously closed at 149 and also the lowest price it's ever been to is 99.99 oh I think I know you did what you've locked it in at half of that Mm. Oh, he's missed a digit. He was meant to put 149. It's this, isn't it? Oh. Uh oh. Ross. <laughs> you, you, you really, really, really have messed up here. I've not heard that word in such a long time. What? Daft. He's daft. Mm. So, mm. Our, all right, a bit of inside information, our wow. producers, they do what we call a schedule and that will be taking the items from the vault, which ones are going to be allocated to the show, which hour, they drop it in per code, then they can adjust prices if need be, they can enter the, the closing price, usually. Um, Ross was meant to enter this at 149. I guess, human error, you've missed a digit, haven't you? Oh, no. Okay, so I was expecting him to say it was a strand, but it wasn't. Oh, Ross, have you seen the carving as well? Type A, Burmese jadeite. We have closed this previously, incredibly, during a live show at 99.99. But he's One, made a mistake on top of that, hasn't yes, he? Yes, he has, yeah. No. He's meant to put 149, but he's actually halved 99. This is the Phoenix. It is the Phoenix. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness, Ross. It's number three. You're looking at type... Oh, it's lavender as well. Ross! <laughs> well, there's nothing you can do now. It's on the no. website. Unless you close the entire hour, there's nothing you can do. So it's meant to be 149. It has previously, I'm, I'll tell you, it's closed at 99.99, probably on a Dave auction, to be truthful. Um, and it was like, okay, never to be repeated. Ross forgot the one. That's beautiful, isn't it's it? It's lovely, yeah. yeah. Carved, again, you could literally just put this on the bottom of a long line necklace. Yeah. Okay, 
We'll have to do it in a, we'll have to literally limit the time duration on this auction now. Graphics alive. Three, two, one. Oh, I know you've said it, but now I've seen it, it's worse. How many do you have? Four. Uh, there was 20 available. That screen on now? That for the carving? Yeah, that, well that's a mistake. He was meant to put it oh. at 149 pounds, which is where it's closed previously. And then he would have matched maybe the 99 right. price tag. Right. Yeah, but he forgot the one. Um, goodness me, we are still oh. talking about one of the world's rarest gemstones from 4,000 minerals that exist on our planet. Jadeite is in the top 10. And you've got this beautiful, the meaning behind the phoenix, you know, rising from the ashes. Oh, you're going to beat the clock. It oh, should look, have been 99, should it? Right, it was meant to be 149. Yeah. As your start price. Ross was going to match the previous closing price at 99.99. Right. And you know how when you bring it in and it'll have the start price, 149, he forgot the one. What is it, £12.50 on split pay? So I would use that 50 quid towards the lovebirds. Yes. You'd have a matching set towards then, wouldn't you? The lovebirds and the phoenix. This one. Should we do something oh, stupid it'll, it'll on this? Oh, it'll work with it, won't it? It'll go beautifully. Yeah. So you could go, yeah, you could go Phoenix, you could go Lovebirds, yeah. depending on uh, yeah. which, which, whichever belief mm. you want to uh, um, yeah. take inspiration from. Again, we're sticking with your Burmese Jadeite. Burmese Jadeite has been mined for 800 years, steeped in the history. Um, the mine is now closed, um, literally closed recently. So we're very fortunate to be able to bring you this gemstone. Please make sure if you are sourcing jadeite, the aim is to get type A. Type A is the most valuable. Um, it means it's totally natural. Again, we're gonna do something completely ridiculous. We did something silly on the carving. Let's do something silly on the strand that will go perfectly with it as well. I don't know what's tickled Adam. <laughs> I thought it was going to go 50 quid to match the carving. <laughs> oh my goodness. Please pounds. can I explain? We source gemstones very differently to your average jeweler. Gosh. We source them very, very differently. We will go to the mine. I know this is a location that the team have been to, which we're very lucky to, because very few people actually will, uh, can able to say that they've been to, uh, um, to the Burmese Jadeite mines. We also, as in, I don't mean me personally, but Gemporia will have bought boulders, um, cut it ourselves. That, so we're cutting out multiple mid middlemen. That's how you get great prices. All that being said, we clearly should not be at 29.99 though, Ross. No, not for Burmese Jadeite, one of the world's most valuable gemstones. I, would, um, I would alternate these in between those um, clovers. Ooh, mix it with your quartzite, Jade. Yeah, I would think that look lovely because of the colours. Nice. You know that's too low. Cast your mind oh. back, lovely jewelry makers, to when we first, like, in the past three years, it was pandemic mm, time yeah. that you really started seeing more, um, more of your Burmese Jade because we actually helped out one of our suppliers because obviously they couldn't do all the gem fairs, so we bought the whole shipment, basically. Um, but that strand would have been 199 back then. Not twenty nine ninety nine. Goodness me, that's amazing, and it's no wow. lesser quality. It's just we buy more of it now. Amazing. Ten that's minutes nice. on this hour, so make sure you're shopping it on your early bird jewelry makers, so you've got your beautiful magnetic clasp. Again, a revolution in your jewelry making, but also your jewelry wear. Um, yeah, if you ever struggle putting on things like your uh, bolt rings or your lobster claws. Um, a magnetic clasp will change all of that. Obviously, when it's in a, fish, a finished piece of jewellery, it's far easier. But I'll just show you. You basically do this. I don't even have to look. Look. Ready? There you go. That was a good jump then. Did you see that? Did you miss it? Do you want to do it again? Sorry, Adam. That was a good Hang on. jump. It was. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Are we, are we ready, Ad? <laughs> That's a Powerful. good magnet. That's yeah. a good magnet. Can I just spend all day doing that? Because that's really good fun. Um, amazing. That's coming up. So shop ahead. We've got 400 of them. Shall we do some potato oh, pills? Oh, they're amazing. Pretty. 
in fact he says no let's do the edison pearls first which also um also comes with the magnetic clasp so you actually get a stardust clasp oh. with this one so you get that in addition beautifully nice. gem encrusted as well now we should be closing sorry um becky can you pass me you know what i'm gonna ask you um right these should be closing really there for edison pearls Thank you. Previously closed here. Look at that. How we are bringing pearls. Genuine pearls, not faux, not simulant. Genuine pearls. How many do we have? I love the way that's been filled. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> Is that tickling you, Mark? Yeah. That little class just plopped just in the middle. Plopped in the middle there. <laughs> And we've got 10 available. We're going to go even lower. It's a close out deal. Wow. In, in, in the pearl world, um, obviously you can get your faux pearls. We don't bring faux pearls. Well, I don't think so anyway, not the plastic ones. We might just do mm. glass pearls or shell pearls. Um, these aren't either of those. These are genuine culture pearls. The finest pearls in the world, I would always say, are your South Sea, no particular order, South Sea, Akoya, Tahitian, Edison. Um, and any naturally coloured freshwater pearls. You can see that quality. They're totally natural. This will be one pearl per oyster. That's got to be one of the lowest prices I've seen on Edison pearls. Whoa. There's 10. Get them gone, says Roscoe. Valerie and Yi Mei are straight on in there. Well done, ladies. They're Not beautiful. that. I'd keep that magnetic class for another occasion. And I personally would be putting this on gold. Mm. That's beautiful, isn't it? It's up to you, of course. Um, seriously, twenty-five pounds on your split pay. You're getting huge Edison pearls. Edison pearls were sort of invented to take on the South Sea pearl uh, market. Um, they are harvested in fresh water, and they call them radicals, pearl oh, farming I like that. radicals. I like that. Yeah, to try and brave sort of challenging the South Sea Pearl. But basically each oyster will produce one pearl if they're lucky. Um, these are naturally colored. They're not bleached, they're not dyed. And again, Edison Pearls, when they first launched in the, um, um, in the gem world, back in around, I think it was about 2016, immediately were at thousands of pounds. Not double figures. That's no. one of the lowest prices I've seen. It is a brand new low, says Ross. Um, Heather, well done. Cheshire, well done. I've got Tracy and Mersey's side there as well. I only had 10. That's a steal. That clasp's probably 15 pounds. True. <laughs> Making the pearls, what, 85? That's amazing. Well done. Okay, wow. it's time for your early bird lovely jewellery makers. It's going to go crazy on the phone lines. I've got 400, or rather I should say I had 400 opportunities. Um, an absolute must, I think, to anybody's uh, jewellery making needs. The magnetic clasp is up next. <laughs> Now, I had the, I'm going back the years now, seven, eight years, maybe even more, more probably, because it was definitely pre-Willow. I was presenting on our USA channel, and I remember the manager at the time sitting me down saying, okay, you're, and they do big star buy opportunities right. as well, and he was like, your big star buy of the entire show is not a piece of jewelry. I was like, okay, it's a, it's a clasp. I was like, okay just a class yes it was like honestly and i had like a thousand oh to auction word. and the moment that i saw the class i was like that's incredible because if you have you just how many of us and i'm sure i'm gonna have lots of you nodding at the screens profusely here i've tried to put a necklace on and struggled i did it yesterday i wanted to put one necklace on and i couldn't i couldn't do the class so i ended up going with something else um or a bracelet you want to put a bracelet yeah. on but you're struggling with the class maybe you don't have someone with you to actually help you like I didn't yesterday Tom was on the school run so he wasn't there to actually help me put my pieces put my bracelets on and even then when he is he's like oh god um, because they're quite fiddly aren't <laughs> yeah, they yeah, yeah. so also have you ever wondered how my colleagues on our sister channel swap their jewelry so quickly mm. it's all down to this amazing product now I should mention if you wear a pacemaker then do a void because there is a magnet um, but if you don't this will change your way of not just making jewellery but wearing jewellery and think of that if you have a business 
that's a huge positive, a big selling point, I guess, to put to your customers. Um, because I know you could actually say, well, look, you can have a toggle class, you can have a bolt ring class, or maybe at an additional fee, I'll put a magnetic clasp on. This is how it happens, how it works. I don't even need to look. A magnetic clasp, which is still sterling silver, basically, and I've just positioned this open. Ready? Done. It's literally done. Nice and secure. Perfectly fitting. It goes. I, I also think they look they look nicer. They do. You know, yeah. um, if yeah. I reach for, I'm gonna just get those Edison pearls just because they're within grasp. You know, if I reach for these, and you can imagine, I know you've got the two bits of string there, but if you can imagine this piece of jewelry is all beautifully knotted, you've got that continuity of the design. Do you agree, Mark? Absolutely. So Absolutely. rather than a bolt ring clasp, yeah. and I haven't got any beef of bolt rings, but they're not the most aesthetic, are they? No, no, no. And they, they don't simulate the shape of the bead you're using, do they? No. They're complete, it's like a full stop, whereas these actually mold into well, they're yeah, beautiful they do it's, yeah. it becomes decorative doesn't it yeah. you know we showed um some amazonite yesterday didn't we irene knew it and there was a necklace there it was a rondelle necklace and there's a, a really ugly bolt ring clasp on it really? and they're looking for three grand really oh. ugly bolt ring clasp whereas if she'd have gone for something like a, a for yes. me a magnetic clasp it would have yeah. been so much more seamless now okay we had 400 this may well be one of the best, most affordable, sterling silver bolt ring class deals that we've ever done. And it is down to the quantity. It's not just necklaces. These work great with bracelets. We had 400. Can I just clarify? The 11 mil is from end of the jump ring to end of the jump ring. Yeah? I'm it's a 6 mil magnetic clasp which I think is the perfect no, size because no. it's not too big. You, no, if, no. if it was like 10 mil, I wouldn't be able to put it in a bracelet or I personally wouldn't. We are starting at 19.99. But that is not where we are stopping. We've got 400 available. Here you go, let's grab the jadeite. Perfect. Those jadeites yeah. are six mil. Looks lovely, doesn't it? And you're not going to be bothered if that works its way around to the front no. of the neckline because it's decorative. Yeah, you could turn it into a big feature, almost like this, uh, the, the center of the, of the piece of jewelry. We're starting at 19.99. Can I just say thank you for your trust because lots of you have already chosen to multi-buy. You're not going to be disappointed, jewelry makers. We're going to do one of the most amazing, amazing sterling silver magnetic class today. 400 available. It's Saturday morning. I was going to say there's there's no bosses in. We said that yesterday, and Ross was, uh, and Wayne was watching in from the uh, from the airport, wasn't he? No, he wasn't. Was he, he was, yeah. Oh. He had a five hour delay. Oh no. Yeah, he's oh, in Cape Verde thing. now, though. Gosh. Yeah. Are you ready? First price crash. Not what you're paying, but just to manage the volume of traffic on our phone lines and the web and the app where we want to see lots of you getting involved. Now, Jocelyn, you've just got 10. You're about to make a huge saving, huge saving, and it's still not your price. Not okay. where we're closing. Okay. Now, all those years back, probably nine years, it's definitely pre-Willow. They were more than that's on, on your screen. Nine years ago. Mm, yeah. Wow. Um, um, jewelry, not jewelry makers, jewelry wearers were buying these because it was a case of, oh, I'm literally going to swap all my, yeah. like you just said, yeah, I'm going to swap yeah, all yeah. my pieces of jewelry over. Yep. They are an absolute revel revelation to jewelry making. We're going again. We're going again. Every single person that has got involved already, more money back into your pocket, um, big savings. You know you're going to use them, Mark, don't you? Absolutely, absolutely. And a little tip, if, um, if you, I've said this before on the show, always have a magnetic clasp on your workstation. Just pop it on a bit of cord or something and have it hanging up because um, sterling silver isn't magnetic. So if you've jumbled up your findings and you're unsure which is sterling and which is base, oh. 
top tip. Sterling doesn't isn't magnetic. Only base metal is, so you can just you can differentiate between your metal types on your desk. What an amazing tip! Mm -hmm. And it works. Ah, that's, that's quite a padded board as well. Yeah, it's a thick board. Yeah. But I do that just to yeah. show you how strong the magnet actually is. There you go. It's also how magicians do lots of their tricks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're at eight ninety nine jewelry makers. Oh. Wait, look at this. Going again. Ready? Oh, that was good, wasn't it? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're going again. Oh. Going again. One of the most affordable magnetic class deals. 11 mil is from jump ring to jump ring. You've got the, the actual magnet, uh, the sterling silver magnet um, bead, effectively, because it's, yeah, it is a bead, isn't it? It's decorative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's around about six, seven millimeters in size. Loads of multi buyers. I love Mark's idea of actually attaching these two tassels mm. that we've got coming up, sterling silver tassels that we've got coming up at 11 o'clock, and then you can have them as interchangeable yeah. pieces. Yeah, yeah. It will make wearing your jewellery so much easier um, on a magnetic clasp. $7.99 jewellery makers for a magnetic clasp with this size. That's an unbelievable, unbelievable deal. And it's about that continuity. You know, I, I almost feel a little bit guilty for sort of talking about the Irene newest necklace. You know, that Amazonite necklace, Ross, um, that we have shown in the past. Can we bring that up? Um, just but look, it, 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 it's fine. However, if I was parting with best part of 3,000 pounds of my cash, I'd expect a little bit more than that clasp. Okay. You'll see where I'm coming from. And a bolt ring clasp would have looked that much more seamless. I know we've mentioned this before, that if I'm looking to buy a piece of jewellery, whether that's high street, you know, whether it's artisanal jewellery, the first, see what I mean? It's just uh, a bit meh. Yeah. yeah, see what you mean. And how much is that? £2,892. No. I mean, it's gold. We're oh, at £7.99. Yeah. Another 30 second clock and we're going again. We go again. And it's the perfect balance, the perfect size, the size that will go with necklaces um, and the size that will go with bracelets. What was that, sorry? 204 have confirmed, so we've just got uh, tipped over uh, the halfway point. And can I just point out, it's not 200 callers on the phone lines and on the web, because loads of you have multi-bought. So it might be 100 of you that have all multi-bought. So for example, Veronica's just got six, Dawn's just got seven, Ellen's wow. multi-bought, Valerie's got three, Maureen's got ten. Not even stopping at seven ninety nine. I agree. You said it uh, yesterday. Ross has just said that's the best price uh, on an eleven millimeter magne magnetic clasp ever. He says I don't think we've ever done that size at under ten pounds before. No. I, th I wow. think you're right there, Ross. <coughs> it's not base metal. It is sterling silver. Um. And they're just super simple, super simple, but look great. Look absolutely amazing. There's a little bit of a wait on the phone lines. Please do bear with our call center team. Uh, Vivian wants nine, Carol wants five, Susan, uh, Patricia wants four, Susan, Jennifer, Rachel, Maker, Linda. Um, Catherine's multi buying was four. I can't keep up with you. Uh, London's just got four. Well done. Renfusha's bought three. Uh, Conway's bought five. I can't keep up. Susan and Devon's just got six. Congratulations. 400 might seem like a massive quantity, but you, what you do need to remember, jewelry makers, it's Saturday morning. It's one of our busiest shows of the of the week. In fact, it might well be the busiest. What is it? Saturday or Sunday? Yeah, Saturday, I think. It Saturday. Yeah. Um, and these are essentials for everybody, aren't they? Across oh, all different mediums. Yeah. Another top tip, another top tip. Yeah. If you had that magnetic clasp on one piece of jewellery that you wore on a daily basis and you would take it on, take it off, take it on, take it off, it, the magnetic um, strength yeah. would diminish over time. Right. If you separate it into two halves, if you've got one of these, um, if you look on the overhead, 
the beading mats that the guest designers use, the felt mats. Yeah. I think most, most of our viewers have them now. Um, if you separate the magnet into two and just rub 15 seconds each side, it, it, it remagnetizes. Ah. And it's in, it'll be as strong as it was when you bought it. I don't, this is yeah. not the same as your mat, yeah, but just, I'm giving yeah. it a whirl. Yeah, just do it once a month with all of your clasps and it'll, it'll remagnetize them. As the day, day you bought them. Inge and magnets are ingenious. They are very clever, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Very, very, very clever. Yeah. And and like I said, it's just mm. it's it is infuriating, Mark, when you're trying to wear a piece of because they just end up being in your in your jewelry mm. box, not seeing the light yeah. of day. I remember when I did my craft store so many years ago now, um, and I couldn't I couldn't do it because I didn't have magnetic clasps. There was a lady who just had twins, yeah, and she wanted all of her necklaces with magnetic clasps. Right. Because the baby, she noticed that the babies were pulling yes. and breaking her necklaces. Yeah. Whereas if it was magnetic, it would just come apart and she could put it back on put again. It back on. And I couldn't fulfil it. I couldn't help her because I didn't have any magnetic clasps. Uh, but so again, if you have little little that. babies pulling your babies do that. Yeah. They're very drawn to jewellery. Yeah. Well done. Six ninety nine. Okay. Wow. Clock to close. Not just this auction, but everything that we have brought you so far this morning, lovely jewellery makers. So your magnetic class, the jade, yes, that carving, the Edison pearls, um, the spacer beads, everything that you've seen on the website. If you've got it in your basket and you haven't yet checked out, um, make sure you do so before the end of this clock because otherwise it will disappear. And remember, you can always add to your order at no additional fee. One post in packaging all day. How good's that? Um, you just click, click to combine your order effectively. Mm -hmm. Nothing is debited from your card until your order is ready to be shipped. Um, so if there's anything that you've been fancying, don't leave it lingering um, in your basket. Coming up after the break, I'm very excited about this. We've got Swarovski in your rondelles. Mm -hmm. oh, we All thought right. they'd stop doing it. <laughs> got the most amazing project with our wonderful Mark as well. Um, so do not go anywhere. Loads of inspiration, bucket loads of natural facts. We'll see you after this. <laughs> Gorgeous jewellery makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on the 22nd of July and I've got some lovely things to bring you. In the nine o'clock hour we have got these gemstone bead projects. There's a choice of gemstones and they come with sterling silver findings. So I've made some necklaces and I've also had to go at a wire wrap ring with this sparkly bead. And then at 12 o'clock it's tool time and I've got a wonderful adjustable work holder to bring you. It's very, very versatile, very adjustable. I've had real fun with that. Um, and I will be showing you some techniques for saw and file texturing and making this really pretty snake ring with all sorts of different texturing options. So I will see you on the 22nd. Take care. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewellery making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, 
you'll receive the Jewelry Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I'm really excited to tell you all about a very special show that's coming up. On Tuesday the 23rd of July, it's going to be my 13th year anniversary since my very first appearance on Jewelry Maker and have we got a show lined up. My kits are just incredible. In the nine o'clock hour, we've got the macrame with fire agate, beautiful, beautiful agate. And then at 12 o'clock, we have got one of my favorite products, We've got diamond tubing, brand new diamond tubing with Swarovski and Pearl Elements. It's gonna be the most amazing show. We've got so many surprises, competitions, giveaways. It's gonna be an incredible show. So that's Tuesday, 23rd of July. Join myself and presenter Eleanor. It's gonna be amazing. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. I've just read the title of uh, your piece of jewellery. Hematite Disco Diva. I thought that would be you. Have you been? A, are you a disco diva or have you been a disco diva in, in, your, in your years? In my years, yeah. Probably not yeah. now. Yeah. I think um, I hit the age of round about 35 and became wow. incapable of dancing. Well, I'm, I'm 52 and a bit yeah. and I've never set foot in a nightclub. What? Never been to a nightclub in my life. Really? Yep, yep. Never been in a nightclub. But if club. it doesn't appeal to you? No. Never been to a nightclub. No. Should Adam saying, should we go as a team? No, no. No, it's not for Mark. I bet Becky's been hundreds of times. Yeah. Do you like a nightclub, Becky? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah I think oh Becky God. does. You're more bars. Yeah. Cocktails. Mm. I've never had a cocktail either. I do, do you know... You've never had I, a cocktail, sorry. What? No, no, no. I've had, no, I've had a Bloody Mary. Vod, That's well, a cocktail. Vod, vodka and tomato juice, but I can't justify the price. I really can't. Mm. I can't I'm can't. i not going to pay 12 quid for a, for a glass of something. Is, it, is that a price of a cocktail? 12 yeah, pounds, around about. roughly? Depends where. No, I can't justify that. You definitely need to try an espresso martini. Mm. No. How much does that cost? It depends where it is. Roughly. Ballpark Tell figure. Them. See, I can't justify that. But you're not far off that for a glass of wine. I know, I can't justify that either. <laughs> to be no. honest though, to be honest. This is, this is why I always drive. I would personally prefer to have like friends around the house. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I prefer now. You can gar yeah, you're yeah. guaranteed a seat, aren't you? Well, I bought, talking, you, you mentioned earlier about that can of cider you spent six quid, six pound fifty on. Yeah. I bought four yesterday for four pound fifty. I know. I know. Sat in the garden in the sunshine, glass of cider, little about bowl the of nibbles. Than anything. Yeah. I was more upset about my nachos because that anyway. was like, like, like a sit-down meal price. Yeah. And it yeah. was this tiny, pathetic little tray, and it was it was jackfruit. It's a bit Don't... limp. <laughs> jackfruit. Mm. Um, anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah, I think I, I don't know. I just prefer. I would much prefer people come round to my yeah. house now. Absolutely. Better and be able to money. hear each other as well. Absolutely. Oh, I'm getting yeah. old, aren't I? Yeah. No, you're not. No, getting you're not. old. No. Right then, Mark. Very, very, very. Look at all this. You're amazing, you are, Mark. I've got a bit of a name for hematite. I Have think, you? I think I'm a, I love hematite. I've always liked hematite. Oh, I thought as you were well. going to give it a nickname. Then. Oh, no, 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 no. no. So I get <laughs> yeah, given hematite quite often, and yes. I'm really pleased. I'm well, really what pleased. you do with it, yeah. I mean, these are absolutely beautiful. 
Bless you. All year. I look at that. That's so different. Which one's that? This one at the front. So this is this is this is a brand new shape. So we've got a few. I launched this must be <gasps> six eight weeks ago. Cool. And um, the di the di the tile cuts. And we've got a few of those. And we've also got the bicone. See the bracelet in the middle. With the bicone. Oh yes. Oh, that's a bit of me. So we've got that, that coming that. up as well. So we've that's we've got a couple of replay kits, on. and then this brand new hematite with look at those, look at those look. With all those Swarovski, which we thought Swarovski announced that they were stopping doing their elements yep. collection. So somebody must have stockpiled these. Then one of our suppliers must have stockpiled them and uh, bringing them to us. They're lovely as well, aren't they? They are absolutely yeah. beautiful. Gorgeous. Um, all the colours as well. You think about, I mean, Swarovski. So basically, Swarovski have been around for longer than we, mm. longer than we imagine, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> not just in jewellery, they used to actually you do lights as well. Not just your crystal lights, but roads. That's right. Yeah, and factory lights and all sorts. Yeah. 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 And yeah. if you um, if you worked at Swarovski, I th say Mark and I worked at Swarovski, and Mark in worked in one department, I worked in the other. Neither of us would know exactly what we do. No, no. So, and that's so that their secrets of crystal cutting don't. No, even get to leaked. this day. Yeah. Even to this day, but they actually announced to the world that they were stopping. Um, they were stopping selling jewelry making elements. Yeah, so yeah. pieces that we used to do on a regular basis here at Jewelry Maker, we used to sell very successfully as well. And you were crushed, weren't you? When I was devastated. Yeah, when they stopped, when they said yeah. they weren't doing it. Because because for eight or nine years we were part of the gem the gemstone company, so we could only sell genuine gemstones. Yeah. And then media media took us over, and then it was free for all. So we then started doing Mayuki, and we started doing Preciosa and Swarovski, and we've been looking for Swarovski for so long. And then, as Elle said, we were devastated. Was it four years ago now? It's just just as the pandemic ago. started, wasn't it? They decided that they were no longer going to provide jewellers with components. Yeah, and we were devastated. Yeah, we were. Um, yeah. You can buy you can buy Swarovski jewellery, but mm. you can't buy the elements to make your jewellery. No, so no. pieces like this, I'm fairly sure if you were good to go, it's been a long time since I've been into a Swarovski mm. jewellery shop. Um, but I think, in fact, the, the one local to me closed we not still, long after the pandemic. Yeah, we've got a jewellers with a Swarovski. Um, section inside, but uh -huh. we don't have a Swarovski no, shop. We I think there might be one in Oxford. But, there used um, to be one near me. Yeah. Um, and I always used to think, wow, you know, they, amazing, they, their window displays are absolutely mm. incredible. Yeah, yes. um, anyway, lovely jewellery um, that comes at a certain price point, doesn't it? And let's not forget, I mean, Swarovski, Swarovski and Preciosa, would you agree the best cut glass in the world? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and Mayuki for seed beading. Seed beading. For, for seed beads. Yeah. So, yeah, the best cut glass in the world. Yeah. Um, how they do it, like I said, is all very much like a, um, a a secret. I couldn't literally say they do this, they do this, mm. they just I don't know. Um, but again, that was about four years ago. I think Mark just said. Yes, yeah. um, you get in Mark's project. I have to say, Mark, the price of this project, I would I would buy just for those. So for those, I, absolutely. There's so many different colours. Greens, you've got yeah. some beautiful, look at the blues. I think there's six colours altogether. There's di three different blues and greens, and there's, there's a gold and a sort of a, a rust colour in there as well. There's a nice beautiful purple. purples, yeah. Now, I, I've only just spoken about literally the Swarovski components, and I and as soon as the graphics appear, I think these are going to absolutely fly out. I'm trying to separate these out now, Mark. There's loads of colours. And you get 12 strands. Of bifaceted hematite. Twelve. <laughs> Green. Yeah. Not just six. We've doubled up on all of the colours. On everything. Yeah. Is that all the colours, Mark? How many did you say? Seven. I think there are seven or eight different seven colours eight. altogether. There might be more. Seven. Oh, hang on. No. I think it's eight. There are different tones. So there, there's a, oh, a pink that has different tones of pink in. And uh, yeah, to have a play with them. They're oh. ace. Absolutely amazing. Mm. I've got, have I doubled up on the black one? Doubled up on oh, the purple. Yeah. There. That's it. There you go. So there's your seven colours. The Aren't they beautiful? One. Yeah. Now, you don't just get those. How many of those do we get there? You get 70. 10 of each. 10 of each? Yeah. yeah. You also get this amazing tea bar full of genuine hematite. 
Um, hematite, a very cool gemstone that, um, do you know it was one of the, uh, one of the oldest writing materials, hematite? So I believe, yes. And apparently hematite gets its name. If you, if you take one of the stones and you crush it into a powder, it's red. Yeah. And that's where we get hemoglobin from yeah. blood from. Yeah, it's, good. it's meant to be good for yeah, your, for your um, yeah. blood circulation yeah. hematite. That's why lots of, if you're into the metaphysical side of gemstones, yeah. um, good for your circulation, yeah. Um, but yeah, one of the original writing materials mm. in its non-faceted and obviously treated yeah. form, um, it is quite reddish in its colour and you can imagine that sort of scratching on the inside of caves. Yeah. Um, that's what they used to use. You get all of these strands. Are they full strands? They full 38 centimetre strands? And Not oh, and only that. that. Oh, and you get this as well. D I S C O. Otter one. C A D I S C O. Mm. <laughs> I never said I was a disco diva. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about the bum dance now. Um, oh, Mark. So that's this one. That's that one at the back there with the green and the Sarovskis and uh, a bit of notting. No, it's lovely, they? isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Mark, oh beautiful. So, 70 of your Swarovski components, six, six strands of here. 12. 12? We've doubled up on all of them. Okay, now this project really is ridiculously priced, mm. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And we've got this amazing, so that, that's your natural, your natural gun metal. Natural gun metal. Silver, gold. My favourite, the peacock green. Yeah, that's lovely. And we've got the royal blue and the sort of the... I don't know, it's sort of rainbow purple. Every, and the, the colours change as you move the strands. Yeah, it's like a bluey, goldy purple, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Amazing. 12 strands of hematite. Oh, my goodness. No wonder we can't do hematite showcases, because they're all in your projects. Eight mil, eight mil faceted. They're lovely. Um, I want to buy this project. Two, two reasons. Really massive drill holes. Easy thread. You can use all your threaded materials. 1.25 drill holes. The race. Absolutely amazing. Right now we're at ten pound per strand, and then five pound per colour of your Swarovskis, and five pound for the instructions. That's not bad, is no, it? No, no, no. These are, good. Uh, this is quite a weighty project. Thirty steps. Thirty steps. Okay, mm. casual. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty steps. Um, this will have taken Mark quite a few hours just mm -hmm. to put together mm -hmm. just the instructions. Did you get few. it for free? You get it for free. I've seen what this is going to, this project. It's, it's crazy. 12 strands of genuine hematite and all of those Swarovskis. So even right now, Ross, let's call it... Right now? I know, sorry. What? Tired. I thought that was it. We're, we're at £10 per colour of Swarovski and then Nine £10 for, for your else. instructions. Or oh, yeah, or oh, yeah. Hematite free. Nine ninety nine for your hematite and your instructions. Because because back in the day, Mark, when we did sell Swarovski, for a Ooh. pack of those rondelles, yeah. they would have been about a ten. They would have been. They would have been. Wouldn't they in the little clear packs? Where's he going? Oh, I thought you knew where this is going. To. No. We used oh, to sell these. That's a brilliant price. Three. No, it, Four, gives a, five, it gives a bit of a clue because there isn't seven, uh, split pay's not been mentioned. Eight, nine, ten. We used to sell packs yeah, of ten, did. didn't we? Twelve bicones were six quid. Yeah, and they would have been yeah. probably about fourteen pounds, I reckon. Mm. Back in the day when we could sell yeah. Swarovski components elements on their own, you don't just get ten; you get a wow. pack of seventy of them, and you get twelve strands of hematite. <coughs> and you get Mark's instructions. Can we do some maths? Oh, no, that's ridiculous. 12 plus 7 plus 8 plus 7 plus 8 plus 1. Gosh. 20, right. 49.99 divided by 20. That's £3.44 <laughs> per strand of, of Swarovski. £3.44 per rondelle colour. Per 10 rondelle colour. £3.44. Wow. For your instructions. There was only 72 though. Oh my word. Yeah, if you were to break that yeah, down yeah. to per step. But, oh gosh, well, I can't do that maths. Seriously. That, that, that means that, that would, I was paid a pound an hour. 
for making that tutorial. <laughs> I mean, oh, <laughs> I don't. I don't really know what to say to that, Mark. No. <coughs> I paid the wow. forty nine ninety nine for all of those Swarovski rondelles mm. <coughs> alone. I would pay that. I'd pay that for the uh, for the hematite and then some. There's twelve strands, twelve. Two of the of the classic hematite colour, two I of love. the silver, two of the gold. I mean, I would be keeping those. You know, when you're looking for that that precious metal yeah, injection yeah. colour yeah, yeah. without it being yeah, yeah. sterling silver. And then you've. I mean, look at that. That's that your favourite, isn't it? Is lovely. Yeah, love the cobalt beautiful. blue absolutely mm. amazing project but we only had 70 jewelry makers so you do need to be quick um and of course you get the knowledge to create this beautiful necklace as well feel this um this mandala next to you take it off the bust and feel it the weight of it it just f feels lovely doesn't it very nice i was and wearing all the one fluidity. of these last night Wait. and wore the my um the, the one you made me oh the mala necklace yeah. you made me i was wearing that last night and I had quite a few comments on it as well. Oh, that's nice. But just yeah, I love the, the colour. I love the colour. That's all of the colours there, and it, it just alternating. And no, it's lovely. It's just the weight of it, and good for gents as well. And you've got, you've got, like you said, you've got the metal colours. You've got the blues, the silver, the black for the gents. A bit of purple for the ladies. I love mixing the colours of hematite. Oh. Um, hello, Samantha. Saying morning, lovelies. OMG, Mark. Your choice of kit is amazing and the end result oh. is simply stunning. Thank I love you. that necklace Al showed, amazing. Um, the first one, that's oh. the one you get the instructions for. That's right. Yeah, yeah so yeah. you get that with yeah, this yeah. project. 60% of the stock has gone already. Loads of you still with it in your baskets. 20 components altogether. Can you hear him tapping? Can you hear him tapping? You know, my favourite necklace has to be the one. Now I'm not. I'm not a pink person at all. I don't like. Yeah. I'm not a massive fan. But what I've incorporated are some little six O's I had in my stash around the rondelles and using the purple hematite. And I would sell that for the price that we're at at the moment. Well, Mark, we're about to go even lower because we're going to take these components to to two pounds per component. When we break it down into the seven colours of rondelles, no. of which you get ten of each. Each <laughs> strand of genuine hematite and your instructions, less than two pound per component. How amazing is that? If these don't sell out, I'm 100%. I forgot, there's that one as well. This one? Yeah, I took the red with the black hematite on a stretchy. You could wear that if you want. I go with this. what you're wearing. Oh, that's cool, Mark. Hang on. Just keep it really simple. It's just those Swarovskis, just that, add that pop of color. Look how cool that is. I love that piece. Yeah, that's so cool. Oh no, what's he doing? Um, two pound per component. I need those Swarovski rondelles as well. I'm desperate for something like that. That's ridiculous. Uh, you just use them on lots of pieces of jewellery and all your jewellery makes. You use it in your bracelets, in your necklaces, in your earrings. Everything. No, oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, you could use them in the same way like Debs did with those Crescent Moon spaces, couldn't you? They're going to sell out. That's a no-brainer, jewellery makers. So lovely, um, so lovely Alison is going to get 24 strands of hematite. Yeah. Yi Mei is going to get 36. Yeah. For 120. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it's I mean, right. you, and you it's could, a genuine gem. You could go onto an auction site and sell those for a tenner each. Yeah. Those strands, you know. Hematite is cool as a gemstone as yeah. well. Really, yeah. really, really cool. It's got a lovely weight to it as well. Um, it's almost got metallic-like luster to the surface of it. Um, beautiful. Yeah, believed to be very beneficial to your blood circulation as well, if you believe in the metaphysical side um, of uh, jewellery wow. making. Any questions that you have for Mark, then do text in jewellery makers. These will sell out, and I do mean imminently. I think we've embedded an earworm into Adam. We have now. Yeah. Do you know what he's doing? Singing D I S C O. He's going to wow. start doing this singing D I S C O. They had another song, and I can't think of it off the top of my head. Was that the one where there's, there's the brother? Is brother it like and sister, yeah, Ottawan. Who were the like 70s band? There's a meme going around where there's like the three sisters. And then and, and it says like oh when you say, your mum says you can go to go to the, the the club but you have to take your baby brother with you and the brother's then 
And he's dancing like this. <laughs> no, but they're grown ups though. It's right. on something like Top of the Pops. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's me. Gotta take the gotta take Al with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> take it away. <laughs> no, I had these left from my stash if you want them after the show. Ooh. I can't take your yes, rondelles. You, can. you will fine. use no, them. No, no, no. That's fine. You can have, so that's what I had left. Amazing. I had quite a few. So what I'm going to do is just a quick, is just a, a quick little demo. So we were talking about earlier um, on my last show I did with Lindsay about if you don't have long enough head pins mm. for making longer earrings, okay, so then you have to revert to short. So I've started, and this is out of necessity as well because I'm getting very short on head pins. My, my finding stash is depleting because I'm, I'm making so much jewelry at the moment that I've started making my own and it's such a simple little technique. So go into your wire stash and grab a reel of your 0.6 millimeter wire. We're going to cut off a length and what we're going to do is we're going to straighten out our wire and then using your flat nose pliers, can you see on your flat nose pliers We've got the pointed section and can you see if I just get the light just so we've got this sort of I call it a letter D you see that curved section that's the strongest part of your plier so just go to the very end of your wire and we're just going to give her a nice squidge nice and tight you need probably two or three millimeters on the end just give it a nice flatten like so and then we've got a nice neat finish to what is going to be a head pin. So what I did at home, I've got uh, a nail file on my desk. So all I've done is use, just use a, a nail file or if you've got a file in your tool mm -hmm. box, just to go over the edge, just to soften it ever so slightly. So it's not too sharp. Yep. And then obviously, so if you start putting gemstones and beads on it, even with that flattened end, it's going to slide off. So if you go to your stash, I tried it with a 15 -0 and the 15 O's are too small. So go up to an 11 or if you've got um, a two mil spacer bead in your stash, you can yeah. use that as well. I'm just going to take one of our 11 O's oh, and we're going to slide yeah. that. <laughs> I know what you're going to do okay, now. We're going to slide that down and that tiny little flat section acts as a little stopper. And then you can then start making your earrings. So I'm going to use some of my eight O's. I'm going to use the green hematites and I've cut that now so I can't give it back. I know it's method, isn't there? So I'm going to pop a, an 8 Oh, your kit's sold out, Mark. Oh, amazing. And then I'm going to pop on a hematite. And then I'm going to find the green Swarovskis. I'm not sure, I can't really see how many little rivulets are inside. I think there's eight embedded uh, within. Tension set as well, aren't they? Yes, yeah. Well, I'm going to pop on one of my rondelles and then pop on, let's go for another green. That's the green, it's a real peridot green, it's beautiful. And then I'm going to pop on another hematite and then we're just going to reverse the 8O with the 11O. Now because I'm using a 0.6 millimeter wire an ordinary eye pin loop wouldn't be strong enough, okay? If you're using an 8 mil wire, you can still do the same. Then you could do a, a proper eye pin loop. But with this, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a, a wrap loop. Cheap and cheerful wrap loop. Turn that round. And then do two or three coils. Nice and tight. And then using our flush cutters, Cut off the end. Okay, so that's one. And because I've got time, I'm going to make the second. So again, flat nose pliers, very squish. end. Give it a squish. Just a couple, Even I can do that. Yeah, a couple of millimeters. And now you can have an earring as whatever length you like. You see, and there's nothing stopping you. All you need is that little C bead at the bottom to act as a stopper. So just make sure it's nice and secure. Then an eight. Oh, we've had a message. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ottawa. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Baby, baby hands, hands up. Give me your heart. Give me, give me your heart. Give me, give me. Like, there's no idea what we're singing, love, do you? All your love. Do you know that song? 
rings, rings a bell. bell. Well, they weren't born. No, they weren't born. They were, no. When was Ottawa? That was 70s, wasn't it? That was probably 80, 81, something like that. Okay. Or so maybe I even earlier, yeah. Really? So yeah. I was probably only three. Yeah. But I still know it. I still know it. Yeah. Thank you, Mandy. Thanks, Mandy. So we've got our 11 we've got our 8 then our hematite. Then let's go for the yellow this time. And then let's go for another yellow. Then we'll pop on our third hematite. As I said, you could go on and on and on. But bear in mind, hematite is quite a heavy gemstone. Yeah. But you've got the sparkle of the, of the hematite plus the Swarovski. And you've got your perfect party earrings, haven't you? Oh, yes. And then an 8 -o. Then another 11. Have you noticed as well, lots of the fashion is more, you know, it's a lot more colourful there. We were talking about, about fashion the other day. Um, the fact that the 70s had a distinct look, the yeah. 80s had a distinct look. Yeah. I can't remember the look in the 90s oh, or the 20s. Cy cycling shorts. Or was it? Cycling shorts, crop tops. Right. But there was nothing in the 20s, was there? Bell bottom there? jeans. In the noughties or the 2010s. A bit and, grungy. Um, yeah. Can I, have I got time to give you a quick, it's a two minute thing I've, I've recently yeah. saw on a podcast. Ooh. So they are your two earrings. Okay. And as I said, if you, if you think that that end of the wire is a bit sharp, just go with a nail file. Okay. Okay. So I've started listening. I'm, I'm really behind with people. I've started listening to podcasts. Yeah. And I'm listening to a podcast called, called something about entertainment with Richard Osman, who used to be the rest is entertainment, yeah. And by Richard Osman, who used right. to be on Pointless. Right. And it, uh, the clip that I've, I've listened to recently is in the 80s, in the first, so from 80 to 85, yeah. bands, okay, pop bands, had number one hits 146 weeks okay. in the charts the first five years. First five, we five years of the 90s, Bands were number one for 141 weeks. Right. In the first five years of this decade we're in now, the 2020s, bands have been number one for three weeks. Why is that then? Three weeks, bands Why have been number one. Why does that change one. so yeah. much? One, one band was the all-stars of the lounge singers on Radio 1. So that, again, they were all solo singers. Yeah. The second was Little Mix. Really? Yeah, and the third was the Beatles. Remember, the Beatles brought out a, yeah. a new song that was number one as well. So, in the, since between 2020 and now, bands have been number one for three weeks. So, what what is the other weeks? Solo artists. So really? just, just all solo artists. Yeah, it's oh. strange, isn't it? They, yeah, there aren't any bands anymore. No, you, you know? go back to like the like, well, like say McFly era. They yeah. were all bands, weren't yeah. they? Boy bands, girl bands. In the eighties, you know, we had hundreds and hundreds of bands, yeah, it's but true. not anymore. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, not I anymore. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, not that's anymore. a shame. Yeah, sorry for that little interlude. I just no, thought it was fascinating. No, that is cool. Yeah, that is cool. Is it one of those interesting podcasts yes. you can just sit and listen to? Yeah. On the car journey. Yeah, it's lovely. Very nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. All good. All good. All good. Perfect. I love that little tip. Yeah, it's brilliant. And as I said, just, just file the end. Just file the end. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Now I'm, your kit's I'm, sold out. I'm desperate to sell these um these others. These other ones. Yeah. Well, should we do it now then, Mark? Okay. Um, so these come in the boxes. Which one, Roscoe? You get both. These are ridiculous. What? And you've got some lovely shapes in yeah. there. Another um, benefit to hematite is they are a great alternative to things like your spacer beads. If you yes, run out absolutely. of spacer beads. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, You've got a real mixture of your um, of your shapes, plus they're in the classic sort of silver and gold colour. Um, so I've got circles, I've got rice beads, I've got kind of drum shapes. stars as well, aren't there? There's stars, stars in there. Stars, yeah, yeah. Different Little flat rondelles. Hearts. Yeah. yeah. Got hearts in there too. Smaller rice beads and like a like a satellite bead shape. Yes, yeah. Um, plus you get the containers. How many have we got of these? 60. Wow. 60 available opportunities, jewellery makers. And again, so there's so many, so many ways you can incorporate Morse code jewellery with these as well because you've got, you've got those drums and you've got the, the longer beads and then you've got the smaller rounds. Okay. Have a play. The Masses. Great. Yeah, and Love of course these. Hematite does benefit from having some um, larger drill holes too. Yes. Okay. You get both. How 
How about... <laughs> And they're quite deceptive when they're in boxes. They are, there's a lot in you there. You don't quite realise no. just how much, how many strands you're getting. How about £20 per box? How much is that per bead? Yeah. Um, these have migrated out of this one. So you get eight different shapes in each box. Yeah? Times two, so 16. How much is that per, so 39.99 divided by 16. 39.99 divided by 16. £2.50. A compartment. Per compartment. That's amazing. This one isn't empty. You do. It's just they've migrated. Basically, you've got rondelles and stars mm. there. Okay. When these were originally on screen, they were £20 each. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, no. That's where we are right now. But because we bundled it, double troubled it, let's do an additional saving. With the clock, jewellery makers, you thought £20 was a great price. It, and, it, and you'd be right, uh, it is a great price. But double trouble likes to give you a little bit of a saving when we bundle items together. And they flew at that price tag. Um, amazing. I mean, you've got to remember, each compartment is effectively a strand, isn't it? Have you got a feeling? And I've just seen something that, that um, Lauren and I couldn't find this morning and I've just found it and I, we haven't told the viewers yet. What? We've got a 6-0 bundle. Oh. So you can make this necklace to your left. This one? Yeah. Oh no. We, Katie kindly put them together for me but Lauren and I couldn't find them this morning and they've just... They have, they have appeared. Oh Hang no. on. Right. We've got quantity but in two seconds we're going even lower we're not going to we're not going to bundle it and then not give you a saving <laughs> oh goodness that's 10 pounds back into your pocket jewelry makers and you know even if you look at them as if like oh well, they're gold spaces you know they are the, absolutely you know yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the precious metal yep. so i'm not saying they are precious metal of course they're a genuine gemstone but um they're bringing you that that look of precious metal yeah. so they're a great alternative to your space of beads as well great for your gents jewelry oh yeah Right, yeah, hematite's always really popular. Yeah, yeah, really Definitely good. giving me Thomas Sabo vibes mm. this, because mm. the, the colour tones. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to leave that with you, jewellery makers. Let's do those beautiful oh. tile shapes that you launched, you said, the other day, Mark. I think it was about four weeks ago. You get a, um, a tutorial as well. Do you? All of these? Yeah. So. And that amazing sterling clasp. Which is that again, sterling silver? I believe so. And it matches the tile shape, and oh, you get gorgeous. helter skelter necklace. Which is the necklace on the far left there. Yep. I'll grab that now. Here you go. Sorry. I love this necklace. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah. So you get the instructions with this as well. Yeah, yeah. Three strands of your beautiful tile shapes in hematite. Yeah, they kind of elevate then, don't yeah, they? Yeah, lovely. And this is how I made that bracelet. This one. Which is funky. One for the gents again. How cool are those? Yeah. So you get your tube, oh, you get your tube of your um, Mayuki. You get this very weighty. Is that magnetic, Mark? It is. Yeah. Beautiful <laughs> magnetic clasp. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, amazing. Um, lovely cobalt Mayuki beads, which are are they cobalt? Describe as cobalt. I think they're cobalt iris, aren't they? Let's have a look. Emerald dark line sapphire. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, they, they are a wow. cobalt blue though. Yeah. Um, sometimes my Yuki's descriptions are a little bit uh, confusing. And then you have this wonderful matte. They've described it as like a, a, a kite frosted. shape. That's yeah. because it's yeah. diagonally drilled. Yeah, beautifully yeah. frosted. 70, Beautiful, approximately 70 carats on each of those strands. Plus you get Mark's instructions for this amazing necklace. Okay. How many steps? We're going to do this in one price crash because there is less than 50 of these available. How many steps? 21. So no, just, just, uh, just, just 21. Five. Just 21. It's not good enough, really. <laughs> it still would have taken you hours, Mark. Mm. I'm, I'm struggling to hold all this, you know. <laughs> less than 50 available. Oh. One price crash. Don't wait. 
oh gosh, that's amazing. This is the thing about hematite. Here at Jewelry Maker, it's, you know, it's, it's a very inexpensive gemstone. However, we've noticed over recent, uh, well, last couple of mm. years, really, well, it, it disappeared almost yeah, completely yeah. Yes. for a period of time. Yeah, yeah. And then the price went right up, didn't it? Well done to every single one of you. Not the case today, though. We've got less than 50 of these available. Barbara, Kaz, Ayrshire, Helen, Elaine, Mary, Maker, Maker, Lanarkshire, Margaret, um, Karen, Oxfordshire, loads of you getting involved. Love, I paid that price tag for that class because it's, it's not gorgeous, a, isn't it? a lightweight no, magnetic no. class. No, it's amazing. Amazing, make sure you are checking out everybody. Um, and the, the joy of each of these projects is that they will work alongside one another. So this will work beautifully with the first project with all yes, those Swarovskis. Yes. This is my favorite. This is so, I, I'm surprised we've got any of these left. We can't have very many. I think you're right. I think there's a clasp as well that I didn't bring over. Okay, right, oh. let's pop that there. Just for that bracelet alone. Hang on. I think I know which bracelet you're talking about. Mm. Hang on one sec, Mark. Because, oh, there you go. Ah, uh, that's like, th that is like mm. a magic bracelet though, Mark, yep. isn't it? And that cuff in the centre there. This one? No, left, 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 that's it. This one? No, keep going. Where? That one there. Oh, I didn't see it there. Magnetic class if you want to try it on. Oh, you get, oh. You get, oh, this is the clasp you get. Yes, I didn't bring it over I, when I helped Lauren earlier. Isn't that lovely? Oh, it's beautiful, Mark. And this is the first time we've, we've had um, hematite bicones as well. Isn't that lovely? Gosh, that's absolutely amazing. These are extremely limited, Ross has confirmed that. Oh, right, I didn't think we had very many of this one. Wow. Fif just under 50. Do we think this is gonna sell out today? Wow. I'm not surprised. I mean, how much would you sell that piece of jewellery for? Ninety-five pounds. Yeah, I, 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 it, took, I, it took me about three hours to make. I, yeah, it looks yeah. it looks like it's taken yeah. a, a considerable amount of time. So within this project, jewellery makers, you get the lovely Mayuki, you get um, the clasp as well. Yes. Which, if I just yeah. turn that round, I haven't got it here in the studio, but if I just turn that bracelet round, you can see the clasp that you actually get alongside this project too. Um, amazing in a magnetic class. Look at that. The luster that you get it's across gorgeous, the surface of each of your bicone. Then you get four strands. Are they long? Str oh, sorry, three. Three strands, long strands though, of these amazing bicones. They're lovely. So they, can you see that next to the necklace on the far left, there's a pair of spiral earrings that's using the silver bicones. This one? Yeah. They're beautiful. And oh, also these, these earrings here, the, the stars. So you can do so many different things. So, so many, many different, different things, things that yeah. you can do with these. £29.99 oh, only crazy. for your bicones. Did, you, did I hear you say that this is the first time you've ever done uh, Bi bicones, bicones in, in hematite? hematite? Yeah, 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 yeah. first wow. time. Yeah. Which surprises me. <laughs> yeah. Because we've been doing it for a while. Four mil bicones. So beautiful. Oh, and they're four mil as well. Yeah. What a great alternative to it. What was the name of the lovely bracelet? Is it this one here? It's called a Carpaccio, did you say? Um, Capriccio. Capriccio, yeah. Yeah, Capriccio. So a couple of us have done demos on it that you can look back on YouTube to oh, make that bracelet. That gorgeous in yeah. the Capriccio bracelet. Mm. Amazing. And, and, and such a comfortable piece. Yeah. So the earrings that you can see behind, the little spiral earrings, is the same technique as the necklace tutorial that you'll get the health so this is exactly the same technique uh -huh. but I've just used the bicones instead of the tiles wow the little diamonds yeah and they kind of sit upwards yeah. don't they yeah, yeah. incredibly oh, popular I think this is going to sell out today don't forget you do get the sterling silver clasp as well lovely jewelry makers um the one that's on the actual capriccio bracelet that marks created mm. 29.99 carol london renfusia marjorie helen lanarkshire suzanne's got two well, elaine considering that the class was probably 15 pound true the seed beads are eight quid right so you get three strands of hematite brand new hematite for seven pound yeah it's mad that is mad yeah and the instructions and the, oh yeah 
Don't forget that. Yeah. You get the knowledge as well to actually create the piece of jewellery. Twenty nine ninety nine. It's going to sell out. I can say that wow. for certain. There's loads of you getting involved. I can yeah. see why. So when you buy this this kit here, you mm. get the instructions as well for the helter skelter necklace. Yeah. This. So you get these instructions as well. And as I said, on this is a simple spiral necklace which I've used the the kites, the diamonds. Just swap the diamonds for the bicones and you'll get a, a completely different look but the same technique so, you, it, so you get that thrown in is as it well. like this it's like that that's what it'll look like but a necklace version so as an alternative you actually yeah. get oh, i like yeah. it i really like it with the bicones yeah it all look absolutely beautiful so you'll get that but in a necklace exact follow exactly the same instructions but but just change the kite the diamond shapes the matte diamonds for the bicones that makes it a bit like a stunning necklace wouldn't beautiful. it beautiful in, in the pink tones i think would look really nice very nice yeah. and obviously when you start swapping it around as well with different Mayuki beads yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, transforms look because you could go quite you know almost like gothic mm, can you right. do yeah, with some yeah. of these colours yeah. um, we had 50 I don't have anywhere near that quantity in fact I think it's wow. moment, moments away from selling out wow. um, we have got a bundle of rainbow hematite ombre rainbow Ooh. not just any not, not did I just do a double fist pump in public. What did you do? I missed I, that. I did a double fist What's pump. What's a double fist pump? Oh my god. Was it on screen or was it behind the scenes? It was on screen what as well. What did you do? I went, no, I, yes. Oh, we did, like a little celebration. Yeah. Oh, oh no. yeah, you were like a tennis player. <laughs> Sorry? Like a tennis player. The, oh, is that what tennis players They do, do that celebration. Ah. Yeah. Do you know, I, we had two weeks of Wimbledon and the only bit of Wimbledon I watched was Princess Catherine presenting the trophy at the end of the men's final. That was I the only bit I watched. I, I love Wimbledon. I didn't really, I, in fact, I didn't no. watch any of it this year. I've Do not you think heard, it's because yeah. summer's been non-existent? Probably. And the two ladies in the final of the ladies, I'd never heard of either of them. Oh. So. Um, I didn't watch any. I think no. it was because the summer's been so rubbish. Mm, could be, could be. I, it's almost like I forgot it was going on. Yeah. These are oh. amazing. So these are graduated three different sizes not only are they ombre hematite but every single bead is ombre as well that's amazing in a genuine gemstone do you remember we did a, a range of lava rock that yeah. was that was ombre yes. it, it reminds me of that yes these are um, stunning obviously with hematite you've got a lovely weight to these as well um and if you're thinking oh lots of color that's too much for me i'm a little bit afraid of color as well not so much in my accessories mm. But you can always separate them out. You've got Paraba blues, you've got some lovely like peridot greens, you've got some wonderful golden, like 24 yeah. karat gold That's what colours. I would, look at that. Just as a necklace like that. That's amazing. I just think it would look beautiful. The like neon appetite blues in here as well. Stunning. Um, but yeah, as you can see, especially in Adam's recording, mm. the ombre in each of those it's individual gorgeous. stones. How many do we have of these? Oh, we've got 50 again. Oh, amazing. 400 carats. Four, six, and eight. Oh, yeah. The go to sizes, aren't they? Yeah. Today, summer's finally arrived, isn't it? Finally. That's when we're going to be reaching for these wonderful pieces. Because it is, it, it, it is, it is uplifting, isn't it? The summer season. You want to wear, yeah. you want to wear brighter colours and be more a bit, uh, a bit more adventurous, if you like, with your uh, jewellery attire and certainly your creations. Sixty seconds, jewellery makers. This is the final hematite opportunity as well. Yeah. I do have another little bundle that Mark's getting very excited about. That's what the uh, double fist. That's what the fist pump was for. Yeah, amazing. Six so bundle, everyone. Hey. Um, how about today for your ombre hematite we take it to another crazy low we've got just under 50 of these two even if you just took one one on your macrame yeah I think the blue sections are my favourite colour yeah I do love those because you've yeah, got almost like the cobalt to the neon appetite yeah, shades haven't you lovely Good luck, everybody. I've got just under 50 of these available, which is not a massive quantity. Oh, 800, 655. Beautiful hematite. Where's he going? Is that 
six pound sixty six each. For the ombre, surely these should be more expensive because yeah. there's more of a treatment process to it. You've been very naughty with this. Ross, you've been very naughty. Oh, my word. Very, very naughty. Willow would love these. Yeah, she would. Yeah. Yeah, she would. Oh, they're off now, aren't they? They are. Six weeks. Think of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. It must uh, be so expensive, summer holidays. It really is. If you, even if you took them to the oh. cinema, what's that? 60, 70 quid? Yeah. The it's cinema not cheap and now and because of course and yeah, yeah 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 and you can't smuggle sweets in anymore no you know so you have to buy the sweets there which adds to the cost yeah it really is like and and i was talking to my friend about this mark i was like you can, and it depends where you live i suppose but i'm very nervous to let willow play outside the oh, house yeah, on you the said, street you said, now yeah, um yeah. it's a nice area don't get me wrong but the cars are so fast and there's yeah. so many cars so i'm like willow i you, you know i Play in the back garden, mm. you know. So it's not the same as when we were kids. We used to go out and you'd come back, you know, when the street lamps came on. Well, actually, not in the summer, would you? Because they wouldn't come back till time. <laughs> it's when your mum hollers at the top of her voice yeah. in front of the Mark! whole street. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's not the same. It isn't the no. same. Yeah, so um, the girls have got one strict instruction if you don't get on, you're going to summer camp. Oh, that's a good bribe. Because they do argue a lot. Do they? Yeah. But we, the reason why we mentioned this, Mark, is yes, I, I need to keep them entertained. Yeah, they'd these love will be this. Beautiful. Memory wire or stretchy bracelets. These, you know? Yeah, yeah. They're amazing. Um, fourteen ninety. Sorry, nineteen ninety nine. That's for three strands, six pounds sixty six per strand. A vision of oh. colour. Uh, Sally Ann, hello to you. Melanie, hello to you. Kimberly, hello to you. Jay Marie, Donna, Gail, Lanarkshire. Vivian's got two. Zara, uh, Karen, Caroline, Jennifer. Um, well done. Karen in Georgia. I don't know where Georgia is. Yeah, America, where's Georgia? isn't it? America. Is it yeah. USA? Yeah. I wondered if we've got a Georgia here in the UK. Yeah, no, I knew there was one in America, but mm. is there one in the UK as well? Karen, text in, where are you from? Is that Georgia, USA? Or is that one in the UK? I feel like there's one in the UK. I think there's one Russia way, isn't there as well? Is there? Yeah. I'm intrigued to know. Yeah. Um, okay, are we ready to break the phone lines? Right. Tell me this quantity. Oh, oh this is like an, this is, do you know when you like go, yeah. go to like an ice cream booth? It's lovely, isn't it? And um, so the reason I asked for this is I've made a few pieces so I've made the bracelet. No, I haven't. Where's the? Yes, yeah, so I've the necklace here to your this left. One. That was the one. Yeah. Hang on, I'll show that now. I'm just laying these all out, Mark. And how I'll rare do it that are way. six O's? Oh, they're like hen's. Oh, they lovely colours as well. Gorgeous colours. Perfect. Oh, look at those. Amazing. You've got your pistachio ice cream. You've got your lemon sorbet. Your strawberry ice cream. Your blueberry ice cream. And bubble gum's normally blue, isn't it? That's as well. true, bubble gum. Ugh. And then yeah. your cherry. Yeah. Cherry. Mm. We've got 50. Mark, what is it about a 6 0 that everybody goes so crazy for? Well, I, I, it's a really good way to, if you're not sea beaded before, 6 0s are a really good way to start. So, yeah. all of your designs that you do with an 11 0 or a 15 0, you can do with a 6 0. They make great spaces, as I've, I've put on here. And, and uh, they're the, all of the colours that you can get. And these are pearlescent as well. I love so, these. So, these are extra special. They, they, They've they, got that glow about them, don't they? They're, they're that much bigger, aren't they? They're yeah. far less intimidating. Yeah. And all of the colours in this bundle will match the colours of your Swarovski run. So, you can see here I've chosen 6 0s that oh, match yeah. the colours. And you'll be able to do that with all with the bundle that we've got here and your Swarovskis. So if you want the Swarovskis, I mean you saved you quite a bit blues. of money on that kit, didn't we? So yeah. I put it towards these these six O's. But genuinely the six O, and I don't think this is just here at Jewelry Maker, I think this is globally, yeah. are very difficult to get hold of. Can I also just throw this one out there, Mark? Because this bundle would work amazingly with your twelve o'clock as well. It would be lovely. Because you've got lovely minty colours with the yeah, shell pearls that's and that's true, pearlescent actually. too. Yeah. Yep. So if you think about, I don't know, maybe contrasting this beautiful pink with maybe the blue shell pearl, um, or whichever you wish. Yeah. The greens are amazing, yeah, aren't they? We've oh got no. 50. The call screens have gone crazy. Okay, there are lots of tapping in there. <coughs> I can as well. Sign, is it? We'll do it in one price crash because of the demand for this. 
Yeah, I'm not a seed beater, but yeah, I'll work with six O's at every, any given opportunity. So perfect for your loom work as well, six O's. If yeah. you're doing your beading looms, stretchies, your memory wire, everything. They're lovely. Suzanne, oh, no. Ayrshire, Denbyshire, Samantha, Anjum, Angela, Catherine, Cara, Lavinia, Karen, Jacqueline, Sally, Sandra, Maker, Gloucestershire, Rachel, Donna. Four pound per tube. Can we even buy them for that? Probably not. Today you can, if you're shopping on jewellery maker, we're probably going to miss out, Mark. Are, are you short of six O's? I'm all right with six O's. 15 O's I'm short of. Are you? Yeah, I use a lot of 15 O's now, which is oh. mad. But I think if you've got, as I said, if you've got the, the hematite kit with the Swarovskis, we've got all of the matching colours to do that. that just gorgeous. Here. You could literally well. just put, you could just feed those mm. onto memory wire and look how pretty they yeah. are. Rosary link with them if you wanted to as well. Yeah. That would be really nice. Oh, lovely. 19.99, we've got 50, but they're absolutely flying out the door. Um, well done, Kathy, Jacqueline, Sharon, Sandra, you've got yours. Uh, Patricia's uh, got two, well done, Patricia. I would encourage stocking up um, because, do you know it's probably been months since I've brought you a six mm, I've not seen them this year. Singly, yeah. as in a tube. No, no, no. Let alone a bundle of them. They're really remember cool when we used to have well. CP days? Yeah, weekends. Weekends. Those are the days. Can't do it anymore, can we? No. Can't do Never it anymore. Mind. So stock up when you get the chance and you get savings like this. Uh, there's a little bit of a queue on the phone lines, but it is only a short while. Um, and there's only 12 of this bundle left. Kathleen, Catherine, well done to you. Isle of Wight, good luck. Oxfordshire, good luck. Surrey, good luck. Maker, good luck. Jacqueline, good luck. Sally, good luck. Gloucestershire, good luck. Rachel, good luck. Um, that's the thing. It might not be 50 collectors on the phone lines. It might be 25 people buying two. And all of a sudden that puts it into perspective, yeah. doesn't it? Um, and there are people like Andrew who's got to, who's multi-bought, Samantha who's multi-bought, Patricia who's multi-bought. Um, people do want four as well. Mm. I can see in baskets. Andrew yep. and just yeah. up the quantity. Yeah. So and, and I I I understand why you would do that because we can go months without seeing a six o tube of seed beads. Yeah. Um, we got a message into the studio from London saying hi, Mark. How many sets of the bicones would you need to make the necklace and the bracelet? Two. Two sets. Two what, kit, two projects? Two, two, two kits, yeah, two, two bundles, and you could make the bracelet and the, ne the full necklace. Gosh, that's good. And you'd have lots left over as well. So to make the, this... Yep, yeah, and the cuff. It, but with the bicone rather than a tile. Yep. Yeah. And... The cuff. This one here? Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of gemstones, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yep. Amazing. There you go, yeah, two yeah. projects. Yep. Um, keep an eye on the web if you want to grab anything, jewellery makers. Um, there's two left oh. of the CB bundle, so that's going to disappear. And likewise, your bike owns your tiles. First project sold out entirely. Um, the other hematite pieces, they're, they're available, but they are quite limited. Amazing. Yeah, I'll definitely grab the bicones. They're, they're, they're absolutely beautiful. First time ever. Yeah. First time ever. Um, now, coming up after oh. the break, we have, and it has been stolen. Have we, have we confirmed that Dave is still in the building? He was definitely in this morning. In a very, can I just say, a very tight fitted white t-shirt this was morning. Was he? Yeah. There mm. we go. Yeah. Ellis, Ellis was bemused by him. <laughs> yes. Did it, her words or? Well, but I, I was just looking from the window upstairs and she was a bit gooey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Um, amazing. Right, well, um, anyway, the reason why I ask is because we have literally stolen it, yes. this carving. It is brand new. And we were like, oh, Dave's on holiday. Oh, Wayne's on holiday. They can do nothing. Um, um, and then we found out they ha they hadn't scheduled a deal of the day. Uh, oh, well, there we go then. There's your no. comeback. Yeah. There's your comeback. Um, this is brand new type A Guatemalan Olmec Jadeite. There is a top note on this, which is really a note to, to our producers. What's the top note? What's the top note? Oh no. Oh, scheduled for August. Okay, well, uh, yeah, there we go. 
Oh. We're playing it anyway. Um, this is coming up beautifully symbolic. Uh, birds and flowers are symbolic of love, in particular your love birds. We've got a hundred. This is an Olmec grade. And do you know what we're going to do? Oh no. But remember, the old the Guatemala mine is closed. I'll explain why if you haven't already heard um, in a few moments' time. The price that we're going to do on your Type A Guatemalan master carving is probably one of the best that you've ever seen. All the meaning behind your birds and flowers. It's love, in particular, young love. Um, and love birds even more mm. so than that. We're going to do something crazy. We're already in trouble. Hey ho. Grab it on pre-order during the break and join us after this. gorgeous jewellery makers it's guest designer carol here i'm back in the studio on the 22nd of july and i've got some lovely things to bring you in the nine o'clock hour we have got these gemstone bead projects there's a choice of gemstones and they come with sterling silver findings so i've made some necklaces and i've also had to go at a wire wrap ring with this sparkly bead and then at 12 o'clock it's tool time and i've got a wonderful adjustable work holder to bring you it's very very versatile very adjustable i've had real fun with that um, and I will be showing you some techniques for saw and file texturing and making this really pretty snake ring with all sorts of different texturing options. So I will see you on the 22nd. Take care. everyone it's Mark here now as many of you know on Tuesday the 23rd of July it's going to be rather a special show we're going to be celebrating my 13th year since my very first appearance on Jewelry Maker and we had to start the show with a bang and boy are we going to start the show with a bang I'm going to be bringing to air me I'm going to be doing the early bird I'm going to be bringing you the jewelry and accessory organizer I'm going to be telling you all about the inventor a lovely lady called Jackie Young. I'm going to be telling you her incredible story, how the product was developed, how it's been marketed around the world. Beautiful, beautiful product. And it's the first time we've had it on JM. We've got it in two colorways. We're going to be presenting it in a beautiful black. Look at this, isn't that stunning? And also a pink and white version. Beautifully packaged, perfect gifts. That's going to be this Tuesday, 23rd of July, the early bird between eight and nine o'clock to kickstart my 13th anniversary celebrations. You will not want to miss this.
Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I'm really excited to tell you all about a very special show that's coming up. On Tuesday the 23rd of July, it's going to be my 13th year anniversary since my very first appearance on Jewelry Maker and have we got a show lined up. My kits are just incredible. In the nine o'clock hour, we've got the macrame with fire agate beautiful beautiful agate and then at 12 o'clock we have got one of my favorite products we've got diamond tubing brand new diamond tubing with Swarovski and pearl elements it's going to be the most amazing show we've got so many surprises competitions giveaways it's going to be an incredible show so that's tuesday 23rd of july join myself and presenter eleanor it's going to be amazing Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Okay. Yeah, we have been a bit naughty, but hey ho, it's it's for your benefit. Um, and I know lots of our regular viewers fully understand the situation. I, I, I'm going to steal a sentence that Dave said a few weeks back that, you know, certain, certain things will stick with you. And this is one of them that he said a couple of weeks ago is that the situation in the Jade world is dire. What I mean by that is the sourcing of Jade. Jade is globally probably the most valuable gemstone on this planet it is certainly one of the rarest you can get it from only a few small locations around the world um really when we're talking jade to certainly the historic jade we are talking about your kotan which the mine closed after ten thousand years ten thousand best part of ten thousand years of mining closed it's illegal to mine kotan we talk about Burmese jade, 800 years history, closed. The only other go-to really, if we for one second kind of sideline your quartzite jade, which is very new, the only other go-to is your Guatemalan jade, which is steeped in history. We knew about it, but yet actually, we've only ever actually been able to source it more over recent decades. So, oh, fantastic. That means we can relocate all of the Khotan miners and all of the Burmese jade miners to Guatemala, which is exactly what they did a few years ago, so that they can obviously um, use their skills to mine and obviously carve and cut um, this amazing gemstone until something happened. And it happened, I believe, at the beginning of this year. There was an article written that announced to the world a very historic moment, hugely, hugely historic. And that is the discovery of an ancient Mayan king's mask. So the headline is archeologists discover 1,700 year old jade mask inside the tomb of a Mayan king. Now, what we need to appreciate here is, you know, this is incredibly historic this is these are civilizations that we know very 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 little about um that literally existed in guatemala um it's not an exaggeration to say the reason why guatemalan jade was almost um well lay undiscovered we knew it existed but they didn't know where they lost the mine quite literally lost the mine and that is because hundreds and hundreds of years ago the Mayan people guarded the location until the civilization actually died out. So no one knew. And it wasn't until a couple, the Ridingers, um, who had seen not this mask, that's a new discovery, but 
other Guatemalan pieces that were displayed in the Smithsonian Museum in Washington. They knew that there was a location, they believed it was in Guatemala, wasn't entirely sure, they knew there was a location that produced, it, produced this really distinctive teal Olmec blue jade, but didn't know where. Here are the Ridingers, and we'll read this together because it's, it, it is fascinating, absolutely. And these people, by the way, were quite literally the inspiration behind Indiana Jones. Um, so in 1974, Jay Ridinger was on a trial for the lost source of Mayan jade. He ran across the Smithsonian publication, Mineralogical Studies of Guatemalan Jade, which was written in 1957 by William F. Foshag, the curator of geology at the Smithsonian, Washington, DC. Foshag published a map, um, and it says, which indicated X marks the spot. That makes it sound so simple, doesn't it? You've got to remember, look at the location they're at. They're in dense Guatemalan, for, uh, um, well, not even a forest, is it? It's a jungle. And we're talking about a vast area, you know, gemologically, they're looking for tectonic plate movements. Um, so the geology side of it comes in. So this map is hugely vast. So to find one location is, is an incredible, incredible task. Um, there is the article or the, or the National Geographic publication. And that was the mask, the original mask, not the new one, um, that basically told the world, yes, there is another location, but we don't know where it is. The Ridingers announced they're fine. They rediscovered this, um, but nobody actually believed that they'd actually done this. They were laughed at, they were called crazy, until in 1987, National Geographic article, Jade, came out and, okay, it was accepted. At the time of the Spanish invasion, the jade sources were lost because of the reverence that Mayans held for the jade. As I said a few moments ago, they literally guarded this location until that civilization actually died out. Um, so 104, sorry, 450 years later, the Ridingers re-established this industry in that location, 450 years later. Um, now, I want to speak to you about another gentleman who is, like everybody, quite new to Guatemalan jade, but is not new to jade. So he, uh, his family actually were once upon a time um, suppliers of jade to lots of the sort of uh, jewelry establishments, etc. Um, and this gentleman is Stanley Chu. Now Stanley, this is him with Dave. Um, Stanley is. If there's anything to know about Jade, Stanley knows it. And what he was actually, this meeting really, this friendship that they have since struck up Dave and uh, Stanley Chu, there's never been a better relationship for us. And I speak, you know, collectively here, not just Gemporia, us collectively as Jade collectors. Because, you know, if there's anything to know or if you want an opinion, Stanley is probably the person that you would go to. Now, we are Stanley about this discovery because we are quite traditional in the jade world. They're very, very traditional and also quite resistant to change. So it's always been Kotan, uh, Kotan jade or Burmese jade. And Stanley says... The, Guat the Olmec or Guatemalan jade making its way into China now is top Burma grade and is beginning to be priced as such. So it is rising to, no. to Burmese jade prices. There is no difference anymore in the eye of the market. Top jade is top jade. Uh, this material is the best investment because it is still trading below that of Imperial, but it won't for long. Again, the reason why I opened this deal of the day actually saying, look, yes, okay, it used to always be um, your Kotan or your, your Burmese. Well, we can't be that moving forward. Nothing's coming from the ground. Um, so what Kotan and Burmese jade is in the market is all that is going to be in the market. And the price of that has completely skyrocketed. And it was already ludicrous, or not ludicrous, astonishingly expensive. Um, so that's what he's referencing. This is the best investment. A lot of Chinese jade miners are now mining in Central America. This is the greatest potential of all jade currently. He says, the future is Guatemala. The reality is, 
the future of jade is Guatemala. Um, like I said, if we just consider for one second that we haven't had uh, the quartzite jade edition being accepted into the jade industry. The acceptance is now certified here in Asia and it is also listed as Fei Chi. Now, if you're wondering what Fei Chi means, the reason that light source is being shown through that piece of jade, it's referring to <coughs> excuse me, it's water content, it's translucency. Um, when we're talking jade, we're not talking about the four C's like we would do our, do our diamonds. We do, diamonds it is cut, carat weight, clarity and colour. Those are the four C's. That's how you grade your diamonds. When it comes to jade, you are talking about colour. A, is it natural? Is it strong? Um, and you're talking about translucency. That's how fine the crystal actually is. Can you see that light source through it? Um, they use literally jade torches from whatever location. We showed him a piece of our Guatemalan jade, Stanley, and he says a piece like this would be priced at the top end of the necklace value. Top translucency, pollen inclusions, covered in color and a glassy texture. Um, this is an exquisite piece, he says. Such a piece in Hong Kong would be appointment only. Um, <clears throat> the problem is very little like this do reach the market. There's too many fault lines, so are very, very expensive. What he's referring to is the fact that very little jade, especially as Guatemalan jade is much, forms much smaller than that of other locations. Um, very little jade is of that quality to be cut into full matching strands. Um, <clears throat> He goes on to say, um, he goes on to then say, okay, so this is appointment only. Look at the glassy translucency. Look at that amazing color, which is new really, 450 years. And only now really over the past couple of decades, we're actually seeing it back in, oh, seeing it in the um, high-end jewelry or jade world. But don't forget that article recently. And if you clock the date, February 2024, this mask was discovered. And you might think, okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool, that's not really gonna affect anything. It massively affects it for us. So if you are a jade collector, what that piece of history means is archeologists, historians will go in there and say, stop all mining, everybody out, this is of enormous historical significance. You need to down tools until further notice. And I'm no archeologist, but they use little tiny brushes, right? Yeah. They're not gonna work no. at any, any pace. Who knows or even if this is gonna reopen. So now all of a sudden, Kotan Jade, almost 10,000 years of mining, now illegal to mine. Burmese jade, closed. Guatemalan jade, closed. At least temporarily, if not, who knows. And they I might find something else. Well, this is the you thing. Know, and well, this is a, an ancient Mayan yeah. king's tomb. It's not just yeah, going to yeah. be one mask, no, is no, it? No, they're going to find all sorts of things. All sorts, and you don't know how big it's going to be. So no. this might be for the next decade. It yeah. might be the next two decades, three, who knows, who knows? It might be, um, I've not been fortunate enough to go to the mine, but it might be a case of, well, actually all the mining is actually circling the mine king. So then who knows if it yeah. starts back up again? Um, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> I wanna show you another carving because over the last couple of decades, the finest gem artists are now carving with not Burmese jade, because obviously they don't have mm. get access to it now, or your Kotan jade, because again, there's no access to it now in its rough form. They are working with um, Guatemalan jade. So the quality that you are about to see as your opportunity is of this grade. Um, this uh, paragraph, we'll read it together. This is a type of jade when we have the, uh, having this boulder and you can see the detail that has been applied to it. Look at these scales. Look at his feet, look at the branch, look at the tail. We could provide a series around the dragon and the pearl as the scales um, and definition of the dragon skin work better than anything with a fine water jadeite. It allows the jade to glow. Now, remember Stanley said about fault lines, 
Fault lines mean that there's a potential risk of fracturing. It also would cause almost like a blurring, a little bit of opacity within the gemstone. What you're about to see is faultless, the same material. It'll have that beautiful glow. Um, if I was to get a jade torch, literally shine, I'll use my phone. Um, to get a jade torch, shine a light source behind, you'll see it literally light up. I wanna show, show you the photograph. And this is another way that the jade miners locate the finest quality, the quality that you're gonna be seeing today. So the photo on the left is actually uh, a boulder, literally, which is almost given like a window, oh. um, a little window to reveal the quality of the Guatemalan jade in the center. When you put that light source to it, which by the way, not many boulders will actually do that. When you put that light source to it, you can see it light up. You can see that fine water translucency. If this was a rough crystal, as in what I mean by that, if the crystal structure was quite coarse, you wouldn't have that glow. Basically, it would be much, much, much more opaque. We went to another one of our amazing experts and she said, this is another piece carved into the same variety of jadeite. You can see the way uh, the light behaves. With jade, it's about how the light performs, especially with the level of artistry that you get with our amazing carvings. It's the purest jadeite we have ever worked with. I mean, look at that. That's absolutely amazing. I also just quickly want to reference that it doesn't matter whether you're talking about whether you're talking about Guatemala, Burmese or Khotan, it doesn't really matter. Remember what, what, what Stanley said, top jade is top jade now. It's not about the origin anymore. Um, <clears throat> and probably actually hasn't, you know, Khotan and Burma are very different mm. locations, aren't they? So those, those are still top jade. Guatemalan is, is, is in that bracket now. So I want to talk about, there's a specialist for Sotheby's. His name is Wan Hao Yu. And what Wan Hao Yu talks about is the level of artistry that is applied to, uh, to jade. Because yes, you have not the four C's of your diamonds, you've got two quality factors when it comes to jade. You have the color, whichever be, whether it's imperial, whether it's black, whether it's uh, red jade eye, or whether it's um, Olmec blue, whichever. So you have the color, and then you have the water content, the Fei Chi, the translucency, how fine that crystal structure actually is. Sotheby's actually go one step further and they say there's not just two quality factors. When we're talking about carvings like this, there's three. And they say um, for hundreds of years, jadeite has been a symbol of supreme status and extreme wealth. Yet within this world of jewels and superlatives, jadeite has a certain understated charisma. When light passes through the stone, the effect is a is muted, enigmatic glow that is both indescribable and can fill volumes. This allure has inspired mythologies and a cultural reverence, particularly in China, that stretches back centuries. By virtue of its unique features, jade has played a consequential role in history, from serving as a mysterious object of ritual to adorning the leaders of powerful empires. Well, uh, while the term jade is frequently used interchangeably to describe both nephrite and jadeite, both are highly prized for their different traditions. A gemstone of unsurpassed beauty that at its finest may possess um, an inimitable green color. Jadeite is by far the rarer of the two and the focus on the guide of jewelry. We asked Wan Hao Yu, Sotheby's uh, Hong Kong Deputy Chairman of Jewelry Asia, to share his expertise on understanding and collecting jadeite. And his words, he says, approach jadeite jewelry, not as a commodity, but rather as a work of art created by nature and shaped by human hands. Now, what he means by that is, we are very pro, and we're learning, we are very programmed here in the West to go, oh, I want a one carat diamond. I want it to be uh, decolorless. I want it to be internally flawless and I want it to be this cut. So we are very measured to a certain mm. degree. What jade, should, we, we need to sort of get rid of that outlook and instead when it comes to jade go, 
like you would do if you were to walk into an art gallery. Walk into an art gallery, oh, look at that. I love, I don't know, the Mona Lisa, for example. It's the brush strokes. It's, it's, the, mm. wor it's the, the work of art, the artistry. So those three factors that Wan Hao Yu was saying, yes, it's color. Yes, it's the translucency. But most importantly, it's the artistry. Not as a commodity, a work of art created by nature, but shaped by human hands. Every single piece of jade has been hand carved, jewelry makers, by a master carver. And I mentioned those three factors because you have the finest color. Look at the quality of that Olmec blue. You have the finest water content, the most amazing translucency. But third, you have the most amazing artistry, the meaning behind that work of art that has been literally carved by hand in the same primitive way that was done hundreds of years ago, polished on wet bamboo, shaped by human hands, if you will. And the meaning behind the lovebirds and of course, that circle of heaven and the flowers that surround them. Um, we are going to do something absolutely crazy. Like I said, this is a piece that was top noted saying, do not touch. This is scheduled for another event in, I think it was September or October, maybe the Gempori birthday, you know, but today we're going to do it anyway. It's done. The graphics are live. We have a hundred. If ever you have wanted to own the finest Guatemalan jade, remember the mines closed and we do not know when. We do not know when or even if it will reopen. We don't know. When we went to Hong Kong at the beginning of the year, there was no Guatemalan jade. When we went to Tucson, there was no Guatemalan no, jade. No, no. We're fortunate that we were able to, we will buy big. So what we had was probably bought, who knows, a year ago. We're going to do something extra special for you this Saturday morning, wonderful jewelry makers. Again, appreciate the color. It's natural. It's not dyed. And even here, Ross, at 1,999, uh, when we first started bringing you Olmec Guatemalan Jade, Let's be honest, it's not unrealistic. And actually, it's even harder to get hold of now. <coughs> harder to get hold of. You do have lots of accent points that you can actually suspend this from. Um, you've got the drill hole just at the top. You could literally put this in a frame. It's When we talk about legacy heirloom jewellery, these are the type of things that I'm buying for my daughters. Because I know they, well, I don't know indefinitely, but it's unlikely that they are going to be able to get hold of Guatemalan jade. And it's even more, more importantly, unlikely they're going to be able to get it at an affordable price tag without our contacts with Jewelry Maker. We've told you it's going to be a massive closeout deal. A price that we'll never be able to, look, oh, it's car front. I was, through, I was showing you the back. We are not stopping at this next price question. You see, they differ. It's flowers on one side, isn't it? And then foliage on the other. How amazing is that? Look at that. We <gasps> are not stopping there, but oh. a price that we absolutely know we can't, we can no longer repeat. And we could, previously, two, three years ago, yeah, we'd have brought you a carving like this of the quality, gemological that quality the colors the translucency but then that artistry as well yeah we'd have absolutely have done this at 299 pounds minute clock on your screens and we go lower um yeah do you want to just grab my bag in there and i'll grab my phone out of it um just to show you that beautiful water content Use this time wisely, jewellery makers, to get yourself into position, to be where you need to be so you don't miss out on something like this. Thank you, my lovely. Um, amazing. We are no way near your closing price, says Ross. No way near. Now, I haven't got a jade torch. Apparently, they cost hundreds of pounds, those jade torches. But I do have a mobile phone. And I want to show you that translucency. Look how the jade lights up. Remember what one how you said. 
Literally, the light plays internally. Look at that, that's absolutely amazing. Those flowers are beautiful, aren't they? Stunning, and it's re it's it's reversible. It's a different yeah, carving, yeah. front and reverse. Was it look like on the other side with the lights? Should we flip it round? Equally beautiful. That's all done by hand. <laughs> we are going to do something that is completely irrepeatable. One hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Oh. For totally natural, Guatemala and Olmec Jade, the lovebirds, the top note on our system, what we call an embargo, which means that our producers are not meant to schedule it into the show. That was the price it was set at. It was part of the Gemporia birthday, but we're going to do a huge, huge deal for the collectors out there. A massive deal for the collectors out there. Elizabeth, you've just got three. They're absolutely stunning. The, the, the artistry is mind-blowing. And I love the fact, you know, you see a lot of the dragons. You see a lot of the, so obviously, the Eastern influence to your mm. jade, obviously, which makes sense, and I absolutely love that. But a piece like this, I think, is global. You know, yeah, it's a global um, um, desirability because who doesn't love birds and flowers? And then, they, then you find, oh, they love birds. Oh, my goodness. Well, everyone knows mm. the meaning of love birds. Um, so you have that sentiment actually carved into this beautiful gemstone. 60 seconds. We're going to do a massive deal for you. I've got 100. We are point blank ignoring our instructions. Firstly, to schedule it in today's show. Secondly to do it at 199 pounds. I mean, it comes in this beautiful box. Oh. I mean, what an heirloom, Mark. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I, I, and again, I agree with you, the fact that it's not an, ov an overly oriental look no. to this piece. It is definitely something mm. that you could, that, you know, that you could, is globally sought yeah. after because you've got, yeah, you've got the reference of the lovebirds and you've got the flowers. It's really decorative. Do we all agree this is Antiques Roadshow of the future? Hundred yeah, percent. I like the fact knows? that um, on one side you see the, the breast, <laughs> the flat breast of the bird on the back. And then when you flip it round, you then see the feathers and the other bird, you see the front. It's so oh, cleverly yes. done. Everything thought yeah. of. Yeah. Again, it, approach jadeite jewellery not as a commodity. It's not about the carrot weight. We'll give you those spec uh, specifications. But it's about the level of artistry. 149 jewellery makers for type A natural Guatemalan jade. Mine is closed. This wow. would be a 299 piece any other day of the, uh, any other day of the week. Yeah. We've half that price for you today. To at 149 look at your split payments the phone lines have gone crazy well done sally well done to london well done to rupal well done to oxfordshire well done to tina well done to wendy elizabeth with her three that's amazing suzanne in yorkshire elaine and hazel multibine and, and cheryl hello caroline my lovely who's got an absolutely incredible jade collection she said if a piece of jadeite sings to you and Aww. you can afford it buy it jadeite jadeite chooses you not the other way around I love that, Caroline. Mm. Do you know, as well, you sound very, um, I'll tell you something, who says something similar is Richard Wise. He said, if you see a gemstone that you love and you can afford it, buy it. But I love how you've worded that, Caroline, mm, um, saying if it sings to you, buy it. Because yeah. you don't forget pieces like that, do you? You don't forget. They stay with you. If you can afford it, do it. There will never be a better opportunity at a more affordable price than the prices that we bring all of our jade here at Jewelry Maker. The reality is it is only going in one direction. Logic tells me that. Kotan jade, illegal to mine. Burmese jade, closed. Guatemalan jade, closed. There has never been a better... It's, it's not going to go down in price, is it? Logic tells me that. Because the world has woken up to this beautiful locations. Many of us are only just finding out about the beauty of Guatemalan jade. And then you have, you have uh, news break into the, into the gem world. Okay, in February 2024, the mine's closed.
Dave joined us on air recently and brought an amazing carving, similar in shape, and it had a rotating part in the centre, I do remember. Similar carrot way, similar colour and quality. He took yeah. that piece <laughs> to 149. I'll repeat what Ross has just said in our ears. That's an amazing deal. It was a beautiful piece. But Ross has just said, I want to beat Wayne, who wanted 199. And he wants to beat Dave's price, which was 149. You may well never see a natural type A, get your certificate as well with that glow, with that translucency. Look at that. That what Fei remember the Fei? This is finer than the photograph that we saw earlier on, you know, with the light source? Mm, You've got yes, more yes. Fei More Fei I'm gonna repeat what Ross said. You might never see a, an Olmec carving of this carrot weight, this quality, at the price that Ross is about to bring you today. In a minute, it's happening. I've got a hundred. These are already going. It's beautiful. The fact it's global meaning behind yeah, yeah. it as well. Yeah. What's not to love about the lovebirds? You've got the circle of heaven there in the center. Uh, plus you've got your beautiful decorative flowers. It's a reverse. So it's carved differently, front yeah. and reverse. I mean, that's not something to take lightly here, jewelry makers. Imagine you've carved this by hand and then you're like, okay, I'll do the back now. What, the risk of damaging it? Absolutely, it, yeah. The level of artistry, and these take so much time. An average bangle without a single bit of, uh, of detail is 10 hours. A carving like this, who knows? Considerably, considerably longer. There has never been a better opportunity. I love it, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Do we all agree, boxed? An heirloom of the future. The only thing you need to forget moving forward is that you paid as little as 99. Oh, goodness, that's bad. We all know that's not the price we should be for any wow. jade, especially a, a, a mine that's closed and is, is, is in everybody's radar at the moment. Guatemalan jade is in everybody's. You've got the likes of Stanley Chu, whose family have only worked with Burmese jade, saying, oh, it's the future. Guatemalan jade's the future. That was prior to, that was prior to the closure of the mine, obviously. So while Stanley's saying, yeah, the future's Guatemala, he wasn't expecting there to be a discovery in ancient Maya mask. So now what is the future? I think what's so clever with the carving is what we're looking at on the screen there is the fact that the other side doesn't impede on, on the, the side you're looking at. It's, it's true. It's so clever. You do a sketch on a piece of paper and mm. flip it over. Yeah, yeah. You're going to see it on the reverse, yeah, yeah. aren't you? It's so clever. And this is, you know, translucent, gemmy quality. There are so many, well, multi buyers because you can get really three for the price that one should yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. Really. Or at the very least two. At the very, 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 well, Wayne's price, definitely too. Well done, everybody. Sally at London, Rupal and Oxfordshire. Caroline, I don't blame you. Well done adding to your amazing Jade uh, collection. Whoa. Michelle's multi bore, Alison, Julie. Hello, Elaine. Thank you, Ross. My bank account thanks you too. <laughs> well, he saved you a good few hundred pounds. You start looking how much he saved you outside these four walls, then it's considerably more mm. than a couple of hundred pounds. Um, because, yeah, thousands, thousands and thousands of pounds. I had a hundred though. Do you want to see how many we've got left? 29, only 29 wow. left, yeah. Tina, well done to you. Sandra, Christine's got three. Samantha's bought two. Anne in Haverford, Dress, Sheila, Elizabeth, uh, Kent, Wiltshire, um, Sheila, well done to you. Valerie, Jill, good luck. Anne, Maker, Northampton, Jean, Stella, Karen, sorry, Maker, you're still joining us on the auction jewelry makers. I've got 26. Maker, Kent, Jeannie, sorry's there. I can't keep up with you. That you can just see, it doesn't take a jade specialist, does it? 
It doesn't take a jade specialist to um to see and appreciate the quality of the carving remember like a work of art caroline who has uh, been one of our one of our um best jade collectors you've been collecting it for many years caroline as well haven't you thanks guys so grateful mm. to you all i'm sending you so much love it'd be a wonderful addition mm. to your collection caroline it really really will i'm, I'm probably really going to embarrass myself now i know i'm <laughs> world known yeah for being dreadful at geography Okay. Okay. Oh I'll God! Don't ask that. me. I'm terrible too. Whereabouts in the world is Guatemala? Roughly, is this? Is Central where? Sorry. Central America. Ah, Central America. Right. I thought. I thought it was sort of South America, North yeah. America. Yeah. Right. That's amazing. Next to Honduras. Oh, okay. Next to Colombia. Right. It's very dense for. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Between Mexico and Colombia, there right. we are. Oh, okay. Perfect. There we go. I'm terrible. At, I'm terrible at geography yeah, as well. Yeah. Amazing. Terrible at geography. It's a completely different part of the world from yeah from uh, yeah. Jade, yeah and 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 can't be mined in the same way that other locations of jade were. Mm. So to be able to, you know, when it was in full swing in operation, mm. that was challenging, and it forms much much smaller. So that's why. Do you notice when we first brought you Guatemala jade, there was no carvings for a good period of time. Mm. Um, mm. It was literally little tiny parcels. Um, um, sorry, I have to interrupt myself. Jewelry makers, we are getting limited. And there's still a lot of you with Chava in your baskets. Um, can we show the call screens? Is that all right, Becky? Because um, I just want to show how many of you um, have been successful, how many of you have still got it in your basket, and I've only got nine of them left. So from the 100, less than 10% remain. Um, if you see your name on this side of the... Uh, yeah. This side of the call screens, you have been successful. Well done, as you can see, you're all still ticking in as well. Um, massive congratulations. You disappear off the bottom of the screens as well. There's lots of multi-buyers. You're about to make your way over to make a new line, um, a new row. If you are on this side of the call screen, it means you haven't yet confirmed or you're in the process of doing it. Michelle, you would, I can see the number one. You're on the phone lines. You're waiting to be answered. Janice, uh, Jay, Tracy, Andrew, Patricia, Anne, Northamptonshire, Karen, Surrey, Maker, Jeannie. If it's moved, that's because another person has entered the auction. And again, you tail off the bottom of the screen. Wow. Down to the final six. Andrew's just got three. There you go. I mean, absolutely amazing. Now, just... Here's a photograph, by the way, um, if your geography is as bad oh, as mine have looks. Um, oh, I didn't realise it was so oh. close to America. Wow. Cuba. Oh. Um, didn't realise it was that close. Very close to the Panama Canal, look. Yeah, yeah amazing. Amazing. Um, so I know that Cuba from the Key West is about 90 miles, I think. Right. 90 miles oh, wow. literally as the crow flies. Um, we're going to yeah. allow the call, screen, uh, call center to just catch their breath. Um, and we're going to talk to you about what's coming up on Tuesday. I'm joining Mark for a very special But we're not allowed to give away the big, big, big secret. I'm glad you told me that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're not allowed to mention that. Right. Mum's mm. the word. Mm. But coming up on Tuesday, very special show, because um, it's celebrating a certain person's anniversary. Mm. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. Now, as many of you know, on Tuesday the 23rd of July, it's going to be rather a special show. We're going to be celebrating my 13th year since my very first appearance on Jewelry Maker. And we had to start the show with a bang. And boy, are we going to start the show with a bang. I'm going to be bringing to air me. I'm going to be doing the early bird. I'm going to be bringing you the jewellery and accessory organiser. I'm going to be telling you all about the inventor, a lovely lady called Jackie Young. I'm going to be telling you her incredible story, how the product was developed, how it's been marketed around the world. Beautiful, beautiful product. And it's the first time we've had it on JM. We've got it in two colorways. We're going to be presenting it in a beautiful black. Look at this, isn't that stunning? And also a pink and white version. Beautifully packaged, perfect gifts. That's going to be this Tuesday, 23rd of July, the early bird between eight and nine o'clock to kickstart my 13th anniversary celebrations. You will not want to miss this. Bermuda, Jamaica, ooh, I wanna take it to Bermuda. Who sang it? Bahamas, uh, Beach Boys. Oh yeah, of course it was. 
Uh, Not really uh, the Beach Boys. Oh no, the original uh, members. I like that song though. Mm. Sorry, I'm just looking at the the, the map there. And I saw it's Aruba. Fascinating. Yeah. Aruba, Jamaica. Ooh, I, I wish I was so much better at geography. I really do. I'm rubbish. I me, I'm terrible. I'm rubbish. I didn't realise Puerto Rico's that no. close to Miami. No. Yeah. Gosh. We were, um, I'm going to, this is awful, I shouldn't confess this story, but I'm going to, we may as well, we're amongst friends, aren't yeah, we? I'm so friends. bad at geography that I would, that before we had the um, Google Maps on your phone uh. and all this sort of stuff, Andrew and I were going down on a holiday to Woolacombe in Devon, Yeah. halfway to Norwich, Andrew wakes up and says, where are we going? Instead, of, instead of going up <laughs> and left, I went up and right. And I didn't know, I, did, I was just following, I know, halfway to Norwich instead of halfway to Devon. Yeah, that's quite a big... It's massive, it, oh my word. Yeah. It was so cross. Yeah, I'm a bit better in the UK. I'm dreadfully in the UK. I'm Awful. better, but now I need to brush mm. up on my, on my geography mm. as well. But that map's fascinating. I know, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Now, jewellery makers, on the back of that amazing deal of the day, very naughty. Look at this. Should we do a few more Guatemala I think pieces? Should. Yeah. Now I know where it is. Yes. Now we know where it yeah. is, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. Can we have a little. You can go to Cancun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say just pop to Guatemala, like, you know, it's, it's like an hour's drive. <laughs> I do fancy Cuba. I think Cuba would be really cool. Yeah. It's all 1920s, isn't it? In, in, in Cuba. Yeah. I love yeah, the Key West. Yeah. I went to the Key West some years ago. It's so beautiful down there. But you do, uh, like, it, it's just so open and exposed. Mm. Anyway, anyway, yeah. Irene, enough of geography. Oh. We did an amazing closeout deal on that beautiful carving. Let's which bring was brand you, new. Which was brand new. I don't understand closeout and brand new in the same sentence. Yeah, it's just, it, it just means a, a naughty price, yeah. basically. Um, I'm going to bring you one of the few... Guatemalan jadeite bangles. And remember I just said, didn't I? It was like, a bangle takes 10 hours without any mm. detailing. So there's 10 hours straight away for a plain bangle carved out of one boulder. Remember, Guatemalan jadeite forms much smaller. So actually you get, f it's rare to get opportunities to do bangles. This has detail though. What's the matter? Guatemalan yeah. is black. Yeah, Guatemalan comes in different colours. Does it? Yeah. It's the deepest black as well. I, I love Guatemalan that. black jade. I didn't know that. Is that yeah. a new thing? Uh, newish to us, yeah. It is newish to us. Right. This is also, if I just roll my hand back and forth, checkerboard faceted. Oh, Can I just say, this, I'm no expert, I'm not a master carver, I would imagine is harder to carve than you know say flowers and things like mm. that because because it's so and i've used this word, word I, in fact it's probably not the right word but i'll try because it's a simple design you have to be more precise you have to be more precise There's no prisoners that's yeah. What I say. yeah it it it's mathematically precise this is solid natural oh. type a guatemalan jade mm. Everything still applies to what I had, what we were discussing in the last auction. Is it, is it a case of, oh no, only the blue you can't mine. No, 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 all Guatemalan jade cannot be mined. We have probably launched a wow. handful of type A Guatemalan jadeite bangles. And that is down, it's different to Burmese jadeite, which the boulders can be as big as your car. Guatemalan jade, like Kotan, forms much, much smaller. We're going to take it to a brand new load today. He's on a roll today. He's on a roll, isn't he? It's like... He's still coming down from yesterday, I think. Yeah, that was great, wasn't it? Yeah, he was awesome. ace. He was. Yeah. He did really well, Ross. He did awesome. We want to see more of Ross on here. Not more of Ross, but more of Ross. More of Ross. Yeah, not more of Ross, yeah. you know? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he'd do that, you know. Ross in a tight white t-shirt. In a tighty whitey. Mm. No. <laughs> is that because Dave was in a tighty whitey today? Yeah. Oh, would you reckon you'd rock a tighty whitey, Ross? <laughs> yeah. Would you rock a tight white t-shirt? 
No, he says no, not for me. What I love on this bangle is that little couple of millimetres of flat yeah. before the faceting starts on the outside edge. Almost That's like the so girdle lovely. of a diamond, yeah. but Beautiful. instead it's the girdle of the actual type A Guatemalan jade out bangle. Um, this is totally natural. Again, in, 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 for many jade collectors, I'm sure Caroline would back me up on this one. For many jade collectors, a bangle is, you know, like, like it's one of the mm. most aspirational pieces. It's, it's that addition to a jade collection that everybody absolutely wants. Um, yeah, the representation behind the bangle as well. It's very protective, isn't it? Um, that circle, the endless circle, the circle of life. Uh, plus, then you've got the meanings behind the black jade eye as well, because that adds to it. You know, over, over the thousands of years that this has been considered one of the most sought after gemstones, I'm talking jade now collectively, um, you know, it's, 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 the bangle is a piece of jewelry, certainly when we introduced, when we started learning more about jade, I'm talking about gemporia, a bangle is like, gosh, we'll never be able to bring bangles to air. But now, of course, our relationships have grown. We've now we're now working with some amazing uh, master carvers um, over in China. Um, that have the abilities to bring this gemstone. We source the rough, we, we place it, uh, give it to them, they produce these amazing works of art. These are, make no doubt about it, these are Sotheby's, Christie's and Bonham's pieces all day long. Pop on first dibs. See how much a jade, a jade -like bangle is on first dibs. I bet you if you follow from one side of the bangle round all the way round, it would match the diamonds. It wouldn't be half diamond because nope. they run out of room. Should we do it? That's the clever part, I think. It's got to be mathematically it's got precise. To be where do you start? Absolutely precise, yeah. Look at that look. And where do you start? Do you start here in the middle mm. or do you start on the side? Yeah. That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, ah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect all the way around. That in itself is amazing. Uh, just incredible. <laughs> We're going to do a brand new low on this today, jewellery makers. When we first introduced bangles here at Jewellery Maker, we were looking at, for type A jade, yeah, absolutely, £799. Wow. That's an amazing price. There were some at 799 some at 699 That's a bit worrying, five-way split. Mm-hmm. We like to make it as achievable mm. and as affordable mm. as possible. So that's 0% interest as well. Let's beat that straight away, yep. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. So we have bypassed 699. You've got to remember this would probably be at the top end of that price point because it is carved in the way that it is. 60 seconds, we're going even lower. How many have we got then? 50. So was, was that our previous price, the 499? That would make sense. Yeah, oh, it right. says we've had right. bangles at, yeah. at that price, especially bangles. Mm. I, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. what I was just saying. It's like this would be in the higher price point, wouldn't it? Because because of the detailing, this is surely is harder to carve than say a flower. Because you can, if you make a mistake on a flower, you it's can organic. change. Yeah, you can change the shape <laughs> of the flower, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Whereas something as precise as a diamond shape, yeah, has to be perfect. Has to it? be perfect. Mm, yeah. and you don't want to cut carrot weight away either, because you're looking at. It's not forget. It's not lose sight of the fact this is one of the world's most valuable gemstones. In 10 seconds, we're gonna do a massive closeout deal. We've got 50. Comes beautifully boxed. All the meaning behind the jade bangle as well, whether it's Kotam, Guatemalan, Burmese. After you've made your confirmations, have a look on first dibs. That's number one, S-T-D-I-B-S. You ain't seeing a jade bangle, any jade bangle for that matter, for 299. Are you all right, Ross? It is ridiculous, yeah? Guatemalan, pure white, natural, faceted for £299 or less than £60 on your 0% interest wow. split payment. Again, the, I, I buy opportunities like this, not just because I love Jade, but I buy it because I know that my girls, you know, when they're old enough to appreciate your gemstones or and pro hopefully sort of know about the rarity and the value of Jade I, they're not going to be able to act. Well, I'm probably not going to be working here. Mm. I should imagine I'll be retired mm. by then. Um, but I'm not going to be able to get hold of it for £299. <sighs> here you go. That's not a bad price. Black jade. So I don't know if it's genuine jade eye, but with a. So that was a bangle. Let me just talk about this piece quickly. 
Do you know why that's a lower price, Ross? Because they'd have attempted to make a full bangle and they've broken it. Oh, really? So they turn it into a hinge uh, bangle. Oh, right. So how much is that? 3,000, is it? I can't. 1,970, that's grand. why it's slightly more affordable. Yeah. We're at 299 pounds. Is that not your closeout deal? Oh no. He says it is with a bit of sass. But I'm gonna go even lower wow. because I did something silly on the old Met carving. Let's do something silly. And it's very different, isn't it? Gosh. On the black faceted jadeite bangle. If you go on to um, YouTube, after the show today and you type in scarf loop tying it will show you hundreds of different ways of using it on the on the YouTube videos they use a wooden hoop yeah. of tying your scarves different ways around the loop oh lovely and you could use this if you didn't want to wear it as a bracelet you could use it as a piece of accessory to tie a scarf and wear it on the neckline, wear it on the neckline. that would be amazing yeah. amazing you know, this is a kind of jewelry mm. that, that, that many people, like certainly in the East, they, they put a bangle on, you never take it off because mm. it's protective. That's amazing. It's beautiful. Stop the clock, says oh. Adam. Oh, why? We're 299 for a natural type A, 250 carat faceted bangle. We're going to go lower. He says, I just, stop the clock, says Ross. I just want to emphasize this is going low and might well be one of the most affordable bangles that we've ever done and that's saying something because we've done some amazing prices on bangles here at jewelry maker please know though i've got in my oh. head just because i was with some friends again who are quite who are new to sort of shopping channels and i was like okay so how does this work please know this is no reflection of the true value or worth you do not find type a guatemalan jadeite for £299. You find it for full figures. I've never seen it in black. Have I just missed it on the show? Or is it, oh, it's, or it's not few and far between. Yeah, yeah, Hello yeah. Anne in London saying, I have this bangle and it oh. is beautiful, so lovely. Um, I'd seen it worn by presenters before but thought I'd miss my opportunity. So glad it wasn't true. It is beautiful. Oh. It's one of those pieces, Anne, as well, that if I see it on the desk, I always want to wear it. You always want to wear it. We are gonna go again, just so you know. I don't want you to miss out on this opportunity. It may well be the best price that we've ever done on a jade bangle. Which makes no sense, Ross. The mine hasn't reopened. We haven't just managed to get hold of a massive parcel of Guatemalan jade. It is still ir irreplaceable. What are you doing? I knew, oh, oh that's the lowest price I've word. seen. That is, That's isn't another it? 100 quid off. That is the lowest price I've ever seen on any jade bangle. It is, isn't it? I don't recall ever seeing a jade bangle at 199 before. Ross! He says it's only a great deal if you take advantage though. Can I take advantage? That's 40 quid, isn't it? On split, on pay. split pay? I think. Yeah. A lot, yeah, I agree. Adam's just saying a lot of us are saying um, this is our favourite bangle of all the bangles. I totally agree. What's not to love about it? It's really dynamic, I think. Fashionable. You can appreciate, like, goodness me, look how precise that is. Those perfect diamond shapes. Have we ever, I'll ask you, you tune in on a regular basis. How many of you have seen a jade bangle, natural type A jadeite bangle, for, what, for more than one. I've never seen it for less than no, for this price. No. Like two, I'm fairly sure 299 is the lowest I'd seen previously. Go back to first dibs on something that is literally where the carver or maybe the wearer, that's the other thing. Mm, it yes. takes some force to do this, but maybe the J bangle broke during the carving process. Instead, of, they don't just go, oh, it's broken, oh no. Um, they will repair it. Jade is that valuable and they literally put a hinge. Two grand. Two grand. Uh, Lauren, have you been uber... Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. Sorry. Sorry, Lauren. I was like, you've been too efficient, Lauren. But you haven't. It's here. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so <laughs> I didn't mean that. I totally didn't mean that to sound the way it did. Not efficient at all. She is very efficient, is our Lauren. <laughs> yes, Ross. You've just got. Oh yes. The uh, for, the, for the price the bangle was. Yeah, but not what it should yeah, have been. No. You've just got both of these pieces. What are you doing, Russ? For yeah, 300 pounds, yeah. both of them. Right, that should have been 300 pounds. This should have... I think oh. the bangle was more. Oh my goodness me. Hazel's got two. Melanie, Lorraine, Lynn, Cheshire, That's Ron, impressive. Lanarkshire, Amanda, RuPaul, Samantha, Jane's got two. Marie, Michelle, Libby. I've got Maker, I've got New, uh, North Yorkshire, I've got Trina, I've got Elizabeth, Patricia, Lynn, and Marie. How many did we have then, Ross? 50. Half the stock's oh. gone. Well done. I'm gonna join you on that. That's beautiful. Okay. It was the right picture, but wrong price. So have a look on the website. <laughs> <coughs> Yay! So you can get both of those pieces for less than 300 pounds today. To put this into perspective, what I'm showing you, Maria's oh. messaged in saying, fantastic price. My first jadeite bangle cost 699 pounds. Yes, when we launched. And Marie, mm. that was a great price. Yeah. Six nine nine is amazing, but it's all buying power, isn't it? We've managed to buy more uh, somehow. Wow! Or, and it's Guatemalan black. Yeah, it is an amazing, amazing price. There's ten of these left, jewelry makers. Wow. Um, good luck. I've got Janice there, Cambridgeshire there, Sue there, Amanda there, Maker there, Yorkshire there, Trina there, Elizabeth there, Patricia who wants two, Lynn in Ayrshire, and I've got Marie in Yorkshire as well. Um, that's more than ten people. We've got single figures. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Again, I've got to say it. These are heirlooms of the future. You know, I, I, I always tell myself this little story in my head that, you know, after I'm long gone and maybe, I don't know, this has been passed down to th future generations. Oh, my great, great, great Granny L. She used to work on Jewelry Maker. And she used to collect her gemstones. And they were like, oh, what you've got here is a, is, is a natural type A Guatemalan jadeite. Might not be mined since no, now. You don't no, know, do you? No, no, no. And they tell that story. And if it wasn't for Jewelry Maker, this is the reality. I wouldn't be able to afford bangles like this. I can't afford £2,000 from First Dibs for something that actually is not complete. You know, but oh, £40 amazing. a month on split pay, we can stretch to that. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. What a deal. Oh, Ross. Should we do some Almec strands? We, we are all things Guatemala. Oh, I love both of these. Oh, and me. I particularly love that yeah. one. Yeah. Flat coins. Yeah. I'm loving that one, Ross. This is my favourite strand ever. That one? Yeah, the rondelles. Yeah. Do you want to do Mark's favourite or my favourite first? All right, mine first little pips oh they're so beautiful they're gonna just sit Aren't so they? nicely against the skin flat coins um as a jade carver they are reluctant to do this shape we're not oh. reluctant as jewelry makers but that's because it cuts carrot weight away oh, of course yeah so they start as rounds and then they basically oh, kind of right that is a bit of a waste yes mm. So um, they're reluctant to do this shape, but we have had to educate them on a lot of the cuts that we like here at Jewelry Maker. What's that? Oh, it's amazing water. Remember Fei Chi? Remember the Fei Chi water translucency? Um, that's the quality that we're talking about. I love this strand. If you're looking for that gemmy gray top translucency, look no further. Because it doesn't get much more translucent than that. Wow. Top Feichi. Top Feichi that Stanley was talking about. Jemmy Translucency. Okay. Should we do some more crazy deals on your Guatemala? I sound like Dave, don't I? 
Should we do some crazy deals on your Guatemala J? <laughs> How many have you got, Ross? Only oh. 18, okay. Oh, oh no. there's only 18 of both. Oh. I used to bring you parcels of Guatemala and Jade. Little packs of four oh, or five. Yeah. Now we're bringing you full 38 centimetre mm. strands. And it's 79.99. Mad. For Feichi quality, beautiful water content. Five mil. I'm surprised these haven't sold out already. I think people are waiting for your favourite, mm. Mark. I love that. They're all very different. So if you love the rondelle, in fact, pass it here. I'll show the two. Thank you. I feel the weight of that. Isn't that oh, that's beautiful? a big carrot weight, I love the fluidity one. and... So your, your favourite should yeah. be more expensive. Yeah. That makes sense, doesn't it? It's a bigger carrot weight. It's beautiful. But we're going to do both under £100. £79.99 your coins. You're going to get the rondelle shape. Again, very wasteful, a rondelle. I'd wear that. <coughs> That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Top jemmy quality. We're going to bring this to you at a double figure price tag as well, lovely jewellery makers. Imagine that with the um, the purple Swarovski rondelles from the nine oh, o'clock kits interspersed. And the tassels. Yeah. They are they are huge. In fact, let's scooch those in. Choose a favourite, which ones you like? Oh, They're all very different. I think the middle one. Yeah, I like that one yeah, too. Yeah. Um, imagine suspending a solid sterling silver. Um, solid sterling silver tassel on your beautiful uh, Guatemalan jade. That movement. That lovely. Yeah, it, they're weighty as well. They're gorgeous. Wish, yeah. wish you could actually feel the gram weight. Um, it's happening. We're going to do the, we're on the rondelles right now, lovely jewellery makers. This is Mark's favourite of the strands. Um, again, have you noticed how little Guatemala and Jade we actually get to show you now, jewellery makers? Um, there's an age-old saying, make hay while the sun shines, in the, especially in the world of gemstones. Um, as was pointed out earlier on, if you see something that you love and you can afford it, buy it. Because the reality is history changes, especially price points in, J in uh, gemstones, especially in Jade. We're going to do this in one price crash. Double figures as promised. <laughs> Where's he going with this one? Well, that should be more because yeah. there's a bigger carrot weight in this. Wow. It's irreplaceable. It's closed. It's literally closed. You got archaeologists in there. And who knows how, well, who knows? I wouldn't have the patience to be an archaeologist. Me either. No. Definitely not. You need, I imagine, yeah, you have to be incredibly patient mm, to be yeah, an archaeologist. I've got any patience. I bet it's fascinating because you can get, you can volunteer, mm. can't you? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not for me. And besides, yeah. I know if I was if I was working with the archaeologists mm. archaeologists in Guatemala, then definitely mm. I'd be more interested in the jade. You know, one of our lovely viewers, Wendy from Wisconsin. Yes, she's an archaeologist. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. That's very cool. What a cool job. Yeah. What a cool job. Which I, mm. I understandably then that she loves her gemstones mm. yeah, too. Yeah. Um, amazing. $79.99. We used to bring you parcels of like four or five individual stones um, for that price. You can get it home today for £26.66. Multi buyers getting involved. Amazing. I just want to recap as well your deal of the day jewelry makers because I've got a couple, literally a couple of these remaining within the vault. Um, again, this is brand new today. Aww. There's loads of you with it in your basket. Um, Again, beautifully double carved. You've got your wonderful circle of heaven that frames those wonderful lovebirds, all the meaning. And I was saying, you know, it's not just sort of the Chinese influence, the carvings. You've also got, um, I think it's a global interest, um, symbolic of love. We took it, well, to a third of the price, basically. A third of the price that we should have been. Wow. Uh, Wayne said, no, no, I tell you what, do 199. Well, he didn't. He didn't say do this. But his instruction on the system was 199. 
We know that uh, Dave brought um, a carving for 149, which is wonderful. Um, Ross wanted to beat both of those. Uh, 25 pounds on your split pay. Wow. I've literally got a couple of them left within the vault. So for all of the, all of you that have it in your basket, good luck. I'll leave you uh, sort of battle out for that. And it does come beautifully presented in that box as well. Beautifully presented. What those... price are they coming? These tassels going to? Do we know? Good, it? Very good. It's good. Wow. I'll tell you what, we'll put them on pre-order. <laughs> Hang on. They're beautiful. I've left my, I've left my tweezers, I think, but get this. Yeah. You it's can that see movement, isn't it? yeah. how heavy yeah. this is just by the movement of the precious metal. And I will weigh them for you as well. These are on pre-order. They're going to an amazing price. Solid 925 sterling silver. More premieres to come. And don't forget Mark's amazing masterclass. We'll see you after this. gorgeous jewellery makers it's guest designer carol here i'm back in the studio on the 22nd of july and i've got some lovely things to bring you in the nine o'clock hour we have got these gemstone bead projects there's a choice of gemstones and they come with sterling silver findings so i've made some necklaces and i've also had to go at a wire wrap ring with this sparkly bead and then at 12 o'clock it's tool time and i've got a wonderful adjustable work holder to bring you it's very very versatile very adjustable i've had real fun with that um, and I will be showing you some techniques for saw and file texturing and making this really pretty snake ring with all sorts of different texturing options. So I will see you on the 22nd. Take care. It's Mark here. Now, as many of you know, on Tuesday the 23rd of July, it's going to be rather a special show. We're going to be celebrating my 13th year since my very first appearance on Jewelry Maker. And we had to start the show with a bang. And boy, are we going to start the show with a bang. I'm going to be bringing to air me. I'm going to be doing the early bird. I'm going to be bringing you the jewelry and accessory organizer. I'm going to be telling you all about the inventor, a lovely lady called Jackie Young. I'm going to be telling you her incredible story, how the product was developed, how it's been marketed around the world. Beautiful, beautiful product. And it's the first time we've had it on JM. We've got it in two colorways. We're going to be presenting it in a beautiful black. Look at this, isn't that stunning? And also a pink and white version. Beautifully packaged, perfect gifts. That's going to be this Tuesday, 23rd of July, the early bird between eight and nine o'clock to kickstart my 13th anniversary celebrations. You will not want to miss this. Hello, everyone.
everyone, it's Mark here. I'm really excited to tell you all about a very special show that's coming up on Tuesday the 23rd of July. It's going to be my 13th year anniversary since my very first appearance on Jewelry Maker and have we got a show lined up. My kits are just incredible. In the nine o'clock hour, we've got Macrame with Fire Agate, beautiful, beautiful Agate. And then at 12 o'clock, we have got one of my favorite products. We've got diamond tubing, brand new diamond tubing with Swarovski and Pearl Elements. It's gonna be the most amazing show. We've got so many surprises, competitions, giveaways. It's gonna be an incredible show. So that's Tuesday, 23rd of July. Join myself and presenter Eleanor. It's gonna be amazing. Welcome back, everybody. Today's going very fast. This is amazing. Very, the whole week's very gone really fast. Quick. Becky was saying this morning, she woke up this morning and said it's Saturday already. Yeah. It's crazy, isn't I it? I can't believe, because yeah. I was at, um, oh, I'm a god, Mum. Yes, I saw. To, um, to Teddy. Yeah, um, ha Jake's, Jake, Jake and Hannah's Jake's little boy. Little boy, yes. Yeah. four. I know, they trust it, they're trusting me. <laughs> that must be such an honour, actually. It Andrew's really a, is. Andrew's a godfather. It is yeah, an honour, is it? Oh, you chose us. Yeah. You chose us, he's such a little puppet. So the the the, yeah. uh, um, the vicar was talking through obviously what well you know what was gonna happen with the baptism there, like he mm. said, Teddy, we're gonna go down to the font and we're gonna put a little bit of bit of water on your head and he was like, I've had a shower today. It was just adorable. No. It was ever so cute. Your two girls looked amazing. Oh, thank you. They don't mind wearing the same outfit. No, they no, they, they love doing like it. That. I like actually, because I they. think that I think Willow's like, oh no, um, surely Willow won't want to now. But she's like, no, I like dressing the same. Oh, it's cute. But however, we bought Teddy one of those little ride-on electric cars for his christening. Yeah, it's cool. Um, and we got a sticker on the back that says Godson one. Oh, <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> How Godson. Godson one. Um, however, I was sort of chatting and I turned around and you saw how beautiful my girls' dresses mm, were. Yeah. There's Willow, oh, the no. older one. Teddy's driving said electric car. Willow's holding on to the back of it on the floor with her dress. I was like, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, so the dresses don't look like that anymore. <laughs> Honestly. Oh well, they had fun. Honestly. Right then, we've still got so much to bring. You've got the beautiful sterling silver tassels that have been available on pre-order. We've got Mark's amazing masterclass. Shell Pearl, when was the last time we saw Shell Pearl? I've not had it this year. It's crazy. No, no, no. I didn't realise, yeah, I, it's strange, isn't it? We're talking about the- It's the knock-on effect. It's the knock-on effect, isn't it? From, from the pearl industry. Yeah. yeah. I never thought of that. Or because they won't export. This is a situation. Mm. Not only the popularity of pearls, um, but the obviously the supply because the Chinese China, who mostly produce produce most of the freshwater pearls, just won't export them. And they won't export them because well, why would we? We've got mm. the market here. So, yeah. what's that? We've got a hundred available of the white, eighty of the lilac. Oh. And 50 of the blue. Which is a mint green, but they call it blue for some reason. Oh, it's definitely mint green. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that all we've got of that one? 50. And it comes with 20 sterling silver bead caps, these beautiful flowers, and half a metre of chain as well. It's. I'd call oh. that spearmint. Yes, yeah. Should we call it spearmint? I think so. Because it's, a, it's yeah. a fusion between blue and yeah, green, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's a, I tell you what, it is a little bit like Amazonite. I thought that as well. No, they are lovely. Very nice. They're coming up at 12 o'clock. I can't remember the last time. Yeah, it's everything. So mm. it's, it's pearls. It's mother of pearl. It's shell pearl, mm. of course. It's everything. Yeah. yeah you know, because, you, you know, where does shell pearl come from? A pearl or yeah. a shell. Yeah. The actual itself. Uh, um, so, yeah, it's going to happen. Okay. Are we gonna do the tassels? Let's do it. We've got three different designs. Ross is gonna go lower than that price, obviously. I mean, he is, he's very naughty today. He is. He's very naughty. I don't know what, what you got up to last night, Roscoe, but. 
<laughs> what time did you get? Oh, you, you didn't get in until quarter past midnight, did you? What quarter time did, two. What time did Ross go to bed? Half ten. Half ten. It's quite late for a school night. Ooh, they are weighty. You're joking. These are weighty. Oh, that was what? 6.7 grams. These are weighty. Oh, hang on. Wow. Okay. I don't know what I'm going for then. Okay. Look at that. I will back up. I will tell you the gram weights in just a second. Now, these have been available on pre order. Shall we start, Ross? There's 80 of each. So I tell you what, if I if I tilt them forward. So you've got one which is with a larger link chain. Then you've got a Figaro. I'm going to start with the large link. Yes. Yeah, because that makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. And with all three chains, they're scoped to add beads to the bottom of the of the silver chain if you wanted to as well. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't that beautiful? That reminds me of sort of gents, you know, rappers and 80s. Yeah, classic, a bit curb chain. Curb chain, that's it. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Um, Ross wears one of those. Oh. Big curb chain. Right. That silver bracelet you're wearing, yeah. is that ours? It or? is. It's not Tiffany's. Yeah, not Tiffany's. No. Yeah, but the people in the, at the concert last night would have thought it was Tiffany's. If, if they, yeah, if they were looking, because yeah. uh, you can't. I did yeah. have to ask. Have you noticed I've not taken it off mm. since I bought it? Yeah, that's it's a jewelry maker one. Yeah. Honestly, you can't tell the difference. No, no, <laughs> that's why I thought I'd check. My bank balance can tell the difference <laughs> between the <laughs> Tiffany's piece and, and, and the jewelry maker piece, yeah. Um, again, wow. solid 925 sterling silver. You've got lovely detailing on the top of this tassel. Tassels are huge. Can we talk about that, Roscoe? Okay. Um, tassels are still as popular now as, you know, in fact, they date right the way back to sort of 1920s, mm, don't they? Yeah, when, yeah. you know, yeah. the 1920s was a very flamboyant era. Of course, it was a very positive time, obviously, um, breaking out of the First mm, World War. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, incredibly, incredibly uh, positive. And fashion changed. We saw lots of feathers. We saw sort of big... You know, uh, um, there was a lot of opulence both in jewellery but also in, um, in, in fashion and in clothing as well. Um, so, yeah, t I think that's really the era that I think of when I think about tassels. But actually, um, if, you, uh, if you think about sort of more recent times, you could go into your Marks and Spencers, you could go into your Debenhams, you could go into most uh, sort of fashion retailers and find tassel accessories. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, very, 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 very popular at the moment. Um, I mean, as a jewellery maker, Mark, I don't think I need to be the most accomplished jewellery maker to make amazing jewellery from these. No, absolutely not. But it's quite tricky to make a tassel. Yeah, to I'm make your own tassel. Has, has that bead cap got a... See, this is, this, is the, this is the problem I would find. Do you notice that you've got the length of chain so they're all secured within that bead cap. If I was making a chain tassel, I would have to have a bead cap that had a hole at the top. So yeah. I would gather the length of chain, go yeah. up through the bead cap, then make a wrap loop to secure it. But that's a solid unit, so I've no idea how they've secured the chains inside there. So with that on its own... Yeah, without being a silversmith, say. One, two, three, four, five... So a sixth length there. I don't know how long those pieces of chain. Well, a good couple of inches, aren't they? Yeah. So that if that was one length of Ooh. sorry, if that was one length of chain, yeah. plus a sterling silver bell cap, mm -hmm. you would not pay what that price no, is on your piece of paper. No, the price I showed there. you. No, not a million years. We've no, I don't think we've ever done a length of chain of any of these types. No, that's true. Think. That's true to even create Especially your own. Especially this one. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so an article that was written back in 2020, um, but let's talk about it because I think it's still absolutely as relevant now as it was then. Um, if there is one embellishment that has appeared in every form of the decorative arts, from mm. interiors to accessories across cultures and times, it is undoubtedly the tassel. Tassel pieces pop up several times throughout jewellery design history. It's hard to say what inspired each one. Some were based on archaeological styles. 
Others seem like they were simply meant to express joyful movement um, for use in personal adorn adornment. The tassel dates back to ancient times um, and is even referenced in the Bible. We see some fabulous examples of tassel jewellery from the mid 19th century to the early 20th century. Uh, some are flirty, some are fun. Oh. All are fabulous. I like that. I Can we have we that as a catchphrase? That, I didn't know we were going that way. Some are flirty, some are fun, all yeah. are fabulous. Um, even Caterina Perez wrote about tassels. Um, this is, I don't really call that a tassel no. myself, but fringe. she's more of a fringe. Yeah. Uh, so tassels and fringes dominate in 2009's uh, high jewellery collections. Uh, tassels were found oh, uh, in Tutankhamun's tomb um, in the 14th and 15th century. They were made of silk, which was believed to be as expensive as gold at the time. Um, as an indicator wow. of opulence, the tassel naturally was used in jewellery. Amazing. There you go. So Do you know what his favourite chocolate was? What was it? Tutankhamun's favourite chocolate. Pharaoh Rocher. Anyway. Back to our tassels. Um, <laughs> they're mine too, actually. We've got something in common. Um, one of history's most infamous so-called affair of the diamond oh. necklace, the centre of a scandal in the 18th century uh, that discredited Marie Antoinette and the French monarchy oh. before the French Revolution, was in fact an elaborate confection of diamond and pendants and tassels. Gosh. There you go. So you can see her. Uh, look at the oh, size of it as well in that photograph. Yeah. In the oh, late 1960s, nice. Cartier in New York had begun acquiring and locating its important deco pieces in Americans, uh, American collections. Several of these Cartier art deco jewels can be seen on the leading ladies in the movie and other jewel. Uh, they're talking about mm. um, Great Gatsby. Right. Um, <laughs> ladies in the movie and other jewels were made by Cartier in the art deco mode for the film. Uh, seen above and below are some very popular Cartier tassel necklaces. Um, who's that? Uh, Louis? Lois Child. Lois Childs, there mm. we go, who played Jordan Baker in the movie. And there she is wearing oh. a beautiful, well, this one, wearing <sighs> this beautiful this. tassel. This is a pearl and emerald bead Cartier uh, tassel um, necklace. Oh. I love this. And this yeah. is something that we, do you know, let's never lose, do you give yourself a pat on the back. You make these pieces mm. of jewellery yes. on a regular basis. Yes, yes, Amazing. Yes. And it's tassels, elements like what you're about to see that make it even more um, achievable. It's pieces like oh, this. Look. That's timeless. Whether we're talking about 1920s, whether we're talking about 1950s, or 2024, that's oh. timeless jewellery. And this was sold uh, um, at Christie's in 2019 recently as a brooch. Um, with emeralds, rubies, uh, sorry, emeralds, diamonds, rubies, and enamel. It's a 1924 piece. Look, Look how stunning that. that is. Platinum, natural pearls, diamonds, and emerald tassel brooch. Uh, another Sorry. here. Again, it's, it is that level of opulence that you get from a tassel. Absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. Boucheron. Sorry, yeah. just going back to that last one. Um, you see there, brands like Cartier, Boucheron, Van Cleef and Arpels, Piaget, all working yeah, with this. Yeah. The big names in jewellery designs. And the next piece that you're about to see is, um, did you know, this is a fun fact, Boucheron has a permanent collection dedicated to tassels. Really? That's cool. I love that as well. That's amazing. And that is, by the way, um, gosh, all sapphires. Uh, though the 20s are long gone with the flapper dresses um, and the long necklaces, a little part of the glamour they brought would be, um, would be a great joy to have in our day-to-day -day lives. Our obsession with tassel still lives strong throughout our designs. Cited below are a few more of our designs you can see wow. there. It's wearable jewellery as well. It's the it? movement, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it definitely, just... definitely is. Now... We've got three solid 925 sterling silver tassels and we're starting with the heavy link. Um, we have though, just to give you a heads up, 80 available of each. People are gonna buy three, aren't they? 
earrings and tassel necklace. True. And all of our malas, we always talk about adding tassels and yeah. to your pearl necklaces. And I love this chain. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. This is the heaviest gram weight that we have. It's amazing. Because of the, the size of the link. This has been the most popular uh, on pre-order. You might need to be quick, says Adam, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, I mean, six and you've a got... Half. What so what, got? six and a half, to, so it'll be six, <coughs> so six, 36 centimetres. Yeah, if, you, if you bought a 36 centimetre length of that chain, you would no way near pay a price. What we've, that just, we've said. just seen. No, on no, there. you're right, you're right. No. You're going to think, how much is it going to cost me to make this? Yeah. You know, I'd have to buy the sterling silver tassel top. I'd have to buy a lot of sterling silver heavyweight chain as well. I can tell you, jewelry makers, that I wouldn't be able to do it for the price that I've seen on my star by sheet. No, no. It's absolutely beautiful, but there's only 80 available. And I agree with what Mark was just saying. I think people will be thinking, okay, pair of earrings and yeah. also the tassel. Yeah. Or maybe you're going to go to one of those designs, I forget which one it was, whether it was Cartier, I think, um, that do, did you notice the tassels often weren't complete necklaces? What I mean by that is they're more like a scarf. Mm, yes. So, uh, like open-ended. Um, that like one, that, yeah, yes. there we go. So yeah. it's open-ended, you could you can literally kind of tie it together loosely um, or literally throw it sort of over the back of your yeah. shoulder. So um, it's lovely. That's a great way to actually put the tassel, way to work the tassel that's something a little bit different. Straight away, we've got multi-buyers. Look at the gram weight. You've got six grams of solid sterling silver on this one, jewelry wow. makers. Six grams. Heavyweight chain, multi-buyers already. Yeah. You've got to remember, 925 sterling silver, the price of precious metal is still skyrocketing on a daily basis. Even us here at Jewelry Maker, we don't have that much influence on the bullion market. The bullion market is the bullion market. So we, the only way we can actually maybe improve on your price is by buying quantity. We work within it, we can't control it, says Adam. Yeah, absolutely. As I mentioned earlier, there's plenty of scope for adding gemstones to the base of those those pieces of yeah, chain as well if you wanted to have a bit more yeah. movement. Yeah. Just put, sort of finish it off with some yeah. briolettes or something That'd like lovely, that. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Every single person has multi-bought. Um, are you surprised, Ross? I'm not surprised. Are you surprised? No, no. A sterling silver tassel at Clobo. It comes with a chain, 170 pounds. Now, I'm gonna tell you, if I had a chain handy right now, and if I take my tweezers out and show you, attach it to the bail. Yeah. This is actually more decorated than the Clobo one. And it looks like a heavier link. Yes, yeah. A third of our stock is already confirmed. It's detailed as well. If I move, if I hold it that way, can you see the detailing? This is the largest gram weight of the three. And we are under 50 pounds, but not stopping there, jewelry makers. We're going even lower on this opportunity. 60 seconds and we introduce that amazing price point. Um, we don't see tassels in sterling silver that often. Normally we have to make them in your threads or with your amazing gemstones. Um, you know, yes, okay, you can, pro oh yeah, great call. Ah, thanks It's only Mark. a small length, but you get the idea. We can get, sorry, Adam. You get the general idea. Just the navel length chain over the head. Nothing else on it, just the tassel. I might, hang on. I might need a little bit of help with that. Yeah, just literally suspend it from here. I might need a bail on this one. Oh, okay. Okay, let's just do this. You get the idea? Yeah, beautiful. You How need gorgeous else. is that? I don't think I'd actually add anything to the bottom of the tassel. Just leave it as it is. All sort like Clobo. Mm. 170 yeah. pounds there. We're at 49.99. 
and we have just half that price for you. There is over six grams <laughs> of sterling silver, almost seven in actual fact. I'm doing a disservice just saying six. At £24.99, I go back to my previous statement to actually even start, make, to attempt to make one of these. Um, I'm, be I, I, I'm not gonna be able to source this chain. No, I'm not gonna no. be able to source the tassel top in 925 sterling silver for 24.99. I'm not going to be able to. I'm, it's going to cost me more to make it than it actually is. That's not even with factoring in my time, Mark. You know? I can't quite work out how they've attached it under the cap. Yeah. Oh, it's a great film, Great Gatsby. It's a great film. You can see the tassel there on a headscarf. She's got it on a headscarf. She's beautiful as well, isn't she? Is that Michelle Williams, is it? No. Um, That's who I meant. Yeah, Carrie Mulligan. Yeah, yeah, Carrie Mulligan. I think she's beautiful. She's married to someone famous, isn't she? Yes. Um, she's Mumford and she's Sons. She's married to Bum Mumford and Sons. Yeah, one of them. Yeah. <laughs> I almost said <laughs> Bumford. <laughs> Mumford and Sons, um, yeah, amazing, well done, Elaine's got two, Andrew's got two, Maker and Manchester's got two, <laughs> Jeanette's got two, Dorothy, Suzanne, <laughs> maybe they should go with that name, uh, Diane, London's there, I've got Maya, hello to you, Tyne and Ware, Tina, Maker, Janice, Lorna, London, Alison, new customers, Susan, Judith, Wiltshire, um, I only had 70, so you do need to be quick checking out on these, we've just hit that halfway point <gasps> you're not and he's gonna do it he's gonna do it he's gonna do it it's not it's not just six grams it's closer to seven grams of sterling silver he's gonna do it you know he's taking it under 20 pounds hiya sally do we need to attach this to a jump ring? It depends on the, on the link of the chain. I've just tried yeah. to put a fine chain through, Sally, and with a bit of jiggery pokery, I probably could have done it. Mm. Um, what you could do is put a bead all. And yeah, just, just, could just ream just, it. And, uh, and make it ever so slightly larger. That's what I would do. If not, yes, add a jump yeah. ring. But yeah. I probably could have put a chain through there because I've been yeah. holding it with tweezers. Yeah. So, you know, a one and a half mil mm. chain probably will yeah. go through there. Yeah. Um, but I didn't want to, well, I'm on live TV. You don't want to see me trying to poke it through. And also I don't want to damage the chain. So at home, yes, you probably could. Um, if not, use your bales. Um, there's a little bit of a queue on the phone lines, jewelry makers. Well done. I only had 70 of these under 20 pounds. Mad. I love that chain. I've never seen that. As a length of chain on the show before that style, I'm pretty sure we should sure. do it, shouldn't we? It's lovely for and gents for gents bracelets. I'd wear that as a as a bracelet. Yeah. And we'd expect it to be um, more expensive because it's a yeah. heavier chain. Yeah, yeah, no, it's lovely. Isn't that beautiful? I got you know with the tassel. I just can't. You can't stop yeah. playing with the tassel. No, can you? no, you can't. It's just how they yeah, literally fe it feels amazing, and that symbol of opulence that has been. That dates back, there we go, right, right back to King Toot. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, amazing, Alison, Sheila, someone's tickled Becky. Is it because I'm playing with the tassel? Is that... <laughs> it's because I said I can't stop playing with the tassels. Yeah, I mean, it's true. It is true. Well, loads of you on the phone lines. Well done, everyone. Stay where you are, don't abandon those calls. There are loads calls. on the phone. What's, yeah. going, uh, is there what's a, going on, I wonder? Is Must there a, something big next door, maybe? How? Yeah. Figaro, do the Figaro. Yeah, Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. Yeah, there's a, a literally a couple yeah. of minute wait on the phone yeah. lines. Um, very different to the previous tassel. So there's it? still six lengths. There is. Yeah, six lengths too. Why they've gone for six? I don't know. Maybe that's what would up fit up inside. Yeah, the maybe. Pack. Yeah. Look at that. Figaro, 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 Fig. Again, there's history in the Figaro chain too. Mm. Uh, first price crash. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I, no, I showed you, Mark, this price, didn't I? You did. Yes, you did. Mm. Oh. 
definitely, uh, there's definitely something spicy about Ross this morning. I thought that as well. Something a bit, uh, a bit more spicy. We were talking before we went live this morning. Did you know next Friday is the opening ceremony of the Olympics? No. Exactly. Next Friday. Next Friday evening. I, I We've like not heard anything no. about it at all. No. It's no. like it goes back to Wimbledon. We hardly... Mind you, I don't strange. watch much TV these days. That could be it, yeah. But I've not seen anything about the Olympics at all. No. No. Amazing. We're at 19.99, but we're going even lower, jewellery makers. I've got 70. So you can see the difference. They were all beautifully... Uh, so can you see the cutting at the top here? That's lovely, isn't it? Beautifully detailed at the top of the tassel, and then this one's got the Figaro. I wasn't what? expecting that. I thought 15 Oh, my quid. goodness. I was thinking 17 at a push. <sighs> Ross? Oh, no. Are you all right? <laughs> oh, that's mad. Well, oh, I waited word. this earlier on. What's the gram weight, Ross? Four grams. We should not be at 12.99. No. They're not silver plated base metal, they're solid 925 sterling silver. That's outrageous. I am Michelle. Hello. Good morning all. You um, could, yes. You could deconstruct this and make bracelets and still have a tassel topper. Yeah. Happy face. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That's I could do that with thing. the first tassel actually. I could get a bracelet out of that easily. Yeah, you could. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you wanted that chain. Yeah, yeah. Big happy smiley face on that. Hello, Michelle in County Aww. Durham. Um, yes. Uh, well, of course they're flying out. You've, you're practically giving them away, Ross. Solid 925 sterling silver. Again, our lovely Rach from Gems. She can't buy it for that. No. Unbelievable. That's and it makes brilliant. those sweets of jewellery that you were describing, uh, Mark, yeah, yeah, very yeah. possible, yeah. doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. So what is it? 36, 39 pounds. For a whole set. For a whole suite. Yeah. Tassel suite. Amazing. They'd fit onto shepherd's hooks really easily. Yeah, literally just look. Yeah, 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 I yeah. could do that. Yeah. Unbelievable. 12.99, you shocked me there. Suzanne's got four, Alice, Lorna, Honor. I love that name. Helen, Janice, Deborah, Mary and Jerry, Catherine, Alison, Carol. Um, there's loads of you there. Keep on dialing through, I've got um. one more. Oops. This might be my favourite. I like this one. I like them all. I like the Lincoln's oh, yeah, one. Yeah, you do, don't you? Let me double check. Now, this one's got five. They're thicker, though, aren't they? Yeah. Five tassels, but, w yeah, wider. Yeah. Can I just show the top a minute? And yeah, we've not been, been looking at them, really. No, they've all been beautifully detailed. Yeah. The oh, top. they're open as well. Yeah. Ooh. Can anyone else see Darth Vader in that? Yes. <laughs> How his face grill. Yeah. 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 I was just going for the Darth Vader angle, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, there he is, Darth Vader. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> Trust me, try and be Darth Vader. Right. Luke, I am your father. Oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm fairly sure you knew that, Mark. I'm fairly sure. Oh, ruined it for me now. Oh, sorry. Oh. Um, anyway, <laughs> right, the finale of the tassels. It's a funny sentence, isn't it? But again, um, finale of the tassels. There is not a single decade that tassels have not been popular. Um, there is a big gram weight in this one as well. Let me give yeah. it. What, what's the gram weight on this? Have you got it there, Ross? Wow. Almost five. I'm fairly sure I weighed more than that. But then we'll always be conservative. Um, uh, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's not working. Um, okay, look at the graphics. It'll say the grab weight. We always, we're always conservative anyway. So beautiful. 
so beautiful. You've got five grams of precious metal <clears throat> and 70 available. Loving these. Just attach them to shepherd hooks. Attach them to your Marlers. Mm. Definitely work them into Mark's amazing masterclass in the next hour. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Shell pearl and tassels. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, Wasn't that a little bit like Harry Mulligan's piece? Yes. 14.99. Oh. Um, that's, are you actually asking the question, who's he? Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love his wife, you know. Who? Peter, Peter Crouch's Le wife. Oh. Peter Crouch is what Abby Clancy. I was going to say, She's Leonardo lovely. DiCaprio yeah. definitely hasn't got a wife. No, Abby Clancy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, Peter Crouch, yeah. She's beautiful, his yeah. wife. Abby Clancy. Abby Clancy, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Oh, we've gone a little bit off the we beaten have. track, haven't we? Why not? Yeah. That's what this programme's all about, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All of a sudden we're talking about Leo. I yeah, bet you Peter yeah. Crouch would be absolutely elated at being... Um, yeah. For you thinking it was he was Leonardo DiCaprio. You know, um, it, might, it might have been the other... It might have been, I think it might be the other shift side, in which case I might not... Shall I mention it? There was some gossip, quite a lot of gossip, Ooh. about Jack Graylish. Yeah. Which I didn't, it was the other shift side because Dan, new, um, yeah. now director Dan, yeah. he's friends of a friend of a friend who is friends with Jack Graylish. Right. And his, and his partner's having a baby. It's right. just been announced. Right. That's all Why I'm is that gonna, gossip? That's all I'm, no, that's not the gossip bit. It's the gossip that I was told about Jack Graylish. Oh, no, Jack. No, not, don't, mm. is it? No. Mm. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. Oh, it's been naughty. Yeah. Oh, Jack. Yeah. I'm disappointed. Um. Oh. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Make sure you check it out here, yeah. baskets, everybody. I mean, I don't know. I don't know football. I've got a I fact about Jack Graylish. Have you? Actually, right. yeah. A which fact. I, a fact. A fact about Graylish. The time it takes him yeah. to put his boots on and tie his shoelaces, he's earned three hundred pounds. Honestly, how many weeks do we have to work to earn three hundred pounds? Mm. Yeah, honestly, it is. It is daft, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. Imagine the golf as well. That's another golf. one. Yeah, golf. Formula One. Formula One. Yeah. Silly. Yeah. It is silly. I think I think the sports world, to a certain degree, has gone mad in that. Mm. It's gone a little bit crazy. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's a subject for another day, I suppose. Mm. Um, well done, well done, well done. <laughs> Three hundred pounds for just putting his boots on. These are lovely, aren't they? They are gorgeous. Look at those. Amazing. You've got some of the bigger sizes. Um, I think I was lucky enough to launch these. It's like a little caterpillar of sterling They're silver. Beautiful. Stardust spater beads, they've been uh, stranded, so you can see as well the graduation that you actually get. Uh, these do, if you can see by my, my thumb there, uh, they've got nice large drill holes, so even some of your thicker gauges of wire, cords, etc., will go through those. Um, two grams of sterling silver. In total, you're looking at, what is it, three, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve pieces. Oh, you get two of each size. Oh, oh yes. I see. Oh, I'd separate them, make drop earrings. Yeah. Oh, okay, That'd that's cool. So you're actually yeah. getting what? What sizes are they? Sorry, I just missed that. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven millimeters. Oh, wow, amazing. And eight. Oh. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yes, yeah. Six different sizes. Amazing. Eight mil spacer beads. And again, popping those Swarovski rondelles in between Ooh, nice. all the way up. That would yeah, be nice, be wouldn't lovely. it? Mm. Lovely. Should we do a brand new low? There's a hundred available within the vault. You've got those perfect pairs. Okay, first time ever we're gonna break through a certain price bracket. Solid nine two five sterling silver. The love of Stardust beads here at Jewelry Maker. Yeah, under £10 today. Close out deal. Oh, no. 
close out deal. We've got 100 available. You know, close out deal isn't just about the minimal quantity auctions. It's also about uh, sort of the, yeah, the higher quantities. There's a few things that might uh, influence a decision to do a closeout deal. It might be there's only a few available in the vault. It might be they've been in the vault for uh, for a period of time, or it might be just Ross. Ross makes that decision, yeah. and I think it is oh, the latter. Look. Under ten pounds for your beautiful starter speeds, but to do this, there has to be enough of you getting involved. It is solid nine two five silver. It's not like, you know, when it comes to your precious metal, if if a shape or a design is not working and it's not being popular with our customers, you can literally just melt it down and make something mm. else. Yeah, yeah. That's you right. know, we have those facilities in Jaipur. Yeah. But instead, we're like, nah, just give, just give our customers an amazing closeout price. 99 pounds, uh, sorry, 99, 9.99. Perfect if you want to channel wow. your inner great Gatsby. You know, if you want to go for all that flamboyance and opulence, perfect for all of yeah, that. Yeah. I think just, just separate them into two groups, mm -hmm. small to large, on a simple head oh, pin, oh. just beautiful. Oh, so you would lovely. literally do like a... Yeah, just yeah, a group of six nice. in each ear. Very nice. That would cost you more than 20 quid as a pair of ear, uh, 10 pound as a pair of ears, Oh, 100%, because they're 925 yeah. sterling silver. And literally you could use your tech, you could, you could wow. show, uh, do the technique that you showed earlier on yeah, this morning, couldn't absolutely. you? Absolutely, yeah. That's Needless true. to say, that's a brand new yeah. low, so do wow. stock up your stashes. Uh, Valerie, well done. Swansea's got four. Jan, uh, Manchester's got two. Catherine's got two. Sheila, Alison, Janet, Maker in Essex. Uh, Wendy, Christine, Karen, Pat. Uh, new customers getting involved. There is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. Do bear with our amazing call centre team. Um, yeah, with the, your stardust, basically. I don't know how close you can get. You get this lovely patterning that almost looks like they're parve set with diamonds. If there's one product other than gemstones that JM, I think, are going to be known for, and that would be the stardust yeah. bead, without Wasn't a doubt. Wasn't it voted one of our favourites? It was, yeah, yeah. Now, D-I-S-C-O. D-I-S-C-O. She is D. Delightful. She is I. Incredible. She is S. Superstitious. She is C. Such a cutie. She is O. Oh. Oh. Where did that come from? I don't know. That must be 40 years oh. since I've heard that song. It's because we said the word disco again. Isn't that weird? Yeah, disco space. How did I know the words to that? I don't know, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. <sighs> I'd have just made them up. Wow. D, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Intelligence. We've got over 200 of these. Sorry, I keep moving there. That's all good. <laughs> Shall we do something ridiculous? Oh, these are fun. Why not? We've been ridiculous since we got up this morning. <laughs> uh, first price crash. I, it, they oh. can never say we take ourselves too seriously here at Jewelry Maker. No. First price. These are going to sell out today. Oh, I know what he's doing. We've got more than 200 available, Mark. I know what he's going to do. I do I, I, I'm glad you do, because I yeah. haven't got a clue. It's our last hour. We've got amazing projects with Mark. Oh, these would be nice with your projects. They would, actually. They'd yeah. be lovely with your projects. Yeah. We've got 200, though. If we're going to do it, we need to do it properly, as in sell out. We're already in a brand new low. So you get 12 again. So these are two, two and a half, three, four, five, six. Oh. Two of each. I prefer the disco ones. Oh. Every single one is going to sell out today. <laughs> Let's get them gone, says Ross. <laughs> get them gone, 200 of them. I know exactly what he's going to do. I don't. Yeah. So for 9.99, you can buy. Mad. Told you. You wait for it. You wait for it. You wait for it. Really? Have you rumbled Ross? <laughs> you're, uh, you're what? Unrumbable. <laughs> <laughs> There's multi buyers. I don't blame you. There's a oh. bit of a queue on the phone lines. Our call centre team be like, will you give us a rest? No, don't, don't actually. That's, you know, 
<laughs> it's been busy today. Um, use the app, use the web. <laughs> 60 second clock on your screen, but going even lower than this. It's precious metal. <laughs> Already in a brand new low. <laughs> oh dear me. Crazy, I'm crying. Oh, it's funny. Literally crying, laughing. Brand new low, we've got 200. So, Ross, you know I said a few moments ago that there's a couple of different things that usually can justify a closeout deal. It can either be, um, there's only a few of them. It's not that, is it? There's 200. Mm -hmm. Or it can be they've been in the vault for a certain time frame. Or, it can just because it's because it's Ross. Mm. The oh, he's, he says, let's, oh, right. Let's say, it, be completely honest. They've been on air a few times before, and they haven't sold as well as we thought. We will freely admit, some, we don't get it right all the time. I don't get it though, because they're really nice. Anyway. Yes, told you. Told you. Yeah, you were right. Yeah. You were on, you were on to him from the get go, weren't <laughs> yeah. you? Yeah, from that wavelength. Yeah, do it. Go on. Yeah. Okay. This is this is yeah. They've we bought them. They're lovely. For some reason, they've not sold us. We maybe we bought too many. Maybe that was it. Anyway, today Ross is saying we are literally giving them away. We can't make them for what you're about to oh, see. Oh, oh. 925 sterling silver. Solid 925 sterling silver. What were they when we bought them to end? 999, were That they? was the lowest price though. What was, yeah. what, oh, launch was 999. So we're going to do a bog off. A bog off? Let's do a bog off. That's what you saw? Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what I felt. Yeah. Yeah. You were on that wavelength. I was. Yeah. Instead of 999, lovely jewelry makers, Mark called it. Mm, my fault. You can get two. Grab another one quick. Grab another yeah. one. Oh, five, threes. We are making friends with this. We're not making any profit. Yeah. And as a business, of course, we've got to make profit. We do, otherwise we can't, we can't turn the lights on. We can't broadcast. We can't pay for Sky and all those. Yeah, you know, this is a thing. We need to make profit. Of course we do. We're not doing it right now, just so you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we're keeping no. you all very happy. Oh. Um, so there has never been a better opportunity for you to get hold of sterling silver disco balls. Oh no. <laughs> Everyone's doubled up now, look. Amazing. Yeah, why wouldn't oh, you? Oh, look, 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 look. Disco balls. There's another song like that, isn't there? Disco. Is there lots of disco songs? Is there? Oh, well, you had one then, I've forgotten. Um. Well, you've got... Um. Ah. Disco song? Can you yeah. what, give us some disco? Not not as in the genre disco, as in the a title. Title disco. in the titles. Yeah. Oh no, it's murder on the dance floor, not murder on the disco. That that's in dust. Disco's a funny word, isn't it? Yeah. Disco. Disco tech. Oh, do you yeah. remember? Do you remember where you go? I'm going to the disco. You would never say that now, would you? I don't know what you'd say now. What would you say? Going out on the town? No, you wouldn't even say that now, Club? would you? Club? Go clubbing. Going out. Just yeah. going out. Going out. But then when you oh. get questions like, yeah, but where are you going? You've got to be more specific than out, surely. Yeah, like I would be to my mum, I'd be like, I'm going to youth club. Oh, yeah. Going, going out is just casual, but going out, out. Is out, out. Oh, oh, out, he out, is. Out. There's Mickey Flanagan right yeah. there. Yeah. There he is. Four ninety nine, massive closeout deal, jewelry That's makers. The best you basically one of the day, I think, isn't it? That's buying one, you're getting one free. Mm. Um, well done. I think they yeah. should bring tea dances back to the mainstream. Oh. I quite fancy a bit of ballroom. Your disco by Kylie. Mm, yeah. Of course. Yeah. How's that one go? Your disco, your, your disco. disco, your disco needs you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kylie is not quite so deep. Disco uh, duck. Disco duck? What's How does that disco go? Disco duck. 
Oh, we've got to yeah. Google it. Please play it on loud. Disco, Disco Duck. Duck. Disco Inferno. Uh, yes. That's what I was Disco thinking of. Disco Inferno. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's a good one. Ah, yeah. oh, keep them coming. All the disco yeah. songs. Yeah. Amazing. Um, who used to go to discos on the roller skates? Because they do those, don't they? Roller skate discos. Or they did. I think they still do. I think Carol takes her girls to them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, do, have yeah. you been to one, Ads? Oh. Did you? About six months ago. Oh, no, he did. He's joking. Um, anyway, coming up after the break, lovely jewellery makers. It is backed mm. by very, very, very popular demand. We have marks. These are going to sell out super fast, They're aren't gorgeous. they? They're stunning. Really simple, elegant kits. They're lovely. Yeah. I mean, Beautiful. again, I'm, I'm still looking at Carrie Mulligan there yeah. in The Great Gatsby. And you could absolutely channel your All inner yes. 1920s. Um, with your shell pearl. They're stunning and all those amazing colours. You've got, uh, we're going to call it the spearmint because it's like a fusion of blues and the greens. You've got that beautiful dusky pink. It's lovely, isn't it? And then yeah, the pure yeah, whites, all of which come with additional components as well. And of course, Mark's inspiration. Um, in terms of quantity though, there mm. is a hundred of the white. 75 of the of the dusky rose lilac and how many oh. 50 <laughs> of the spearmint right and these come with sterling silver as well don't they 20 bead caps and a length of chain wow yeah. amazing yep. don't go anywhere jewelry makers your master class is after this <laughs> gorgeous jewellery makers it's guest designer Carol here I'm back in the studio on the 22nd of July and I've got some lovely things to bring you in the nine o'clock hour we have got these gemstone bead projects there's a choice of gemstones and they come with sterling silver findings so I've made some necklaces and I've also had to go at a wire wrap ring with this sparkly bead and then at 12 o'clock it's tool time and I've got a wonderful adjustable work holder to bring you it's very very versatile very adjustable I've had real fun with that um, and I will be showing you some techniques for saw and file texturing and making this really pretty snake ring with all sorts of different texturing options. So I will see you on the 22nd. Take care. everyone it's Mark here now as many of you know on Tuesday the 23rd of July it's going to be rather a special show we're going to be celebrating my 13th year since my very first appearance on Jewelry Maker and we had to start the show with a bang and boy are we going to start the show with a bang I'm going to be bringing to air me I'm going to be doing the early bird I'm going to be bringing you the jewelry and accessory organizer I'm going to be telling you all about the inventor a lovely lady called Jackie Young. I'm going to be telling you her incredible story, how the product was developed, how it's been marketed around the world. Beautiful, beautiful product. And it's the first time we've had it on JM. We've got it in two colorways. We're going to be presenting it in a beautiful black. Look at this, isn't that stunning? And also a pink and white version. Beautifully packaged, perfect gifts. That's going to be this Tuesday, 23rd of July, the early bird between eight and nine o'clock to kickstart my 13th anniversary celebrations. You will not want to miss this.
Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I'm really excited to tell you all about a very special show that's coming up on Tuesday the 23rd of July. It's going to be my 13th year anniversary since my very first appearance on Jewelry Maker and have we got a show lined up. My kits are just incredible. In the nine o'clock hour, we've got macrame with fire agate beautiful beautiful agate and then at 12 o'clock we have got one of my favorite products we've got diamond tubing brand new diamond tubing with Swarovski and pearl elements it's going to be the most amazing show we've got so many surprises competitions giveaways it's going to be an incredible show so that's Tuesday 23rd of July join myself and presenter Eleanor it's going to be amazing Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewelry Maker. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewellery making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewelry Maker handbook which is filled with 35 different techniques as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Amazing, isn't it? We've had a giggle, haven't we? You're back tomorrow, aren't you? With lovely Alison. Yes, Alison I got, yes lovely Alison tomorrow. Oh, oh, bless. Love our Alison. Amazing. And then but, I'm back with you on Tuesday. Yes, for a very exciting for show. For a big, massive show. And yeah. then I'm back with you the following Tuesday, which is the 30th. Ah. <sighs> end of July, into I, August. I can't, I can't, where has this year <laughs> gone? This oh, whole year, though, for me, honestly. has been consumed by bifold doors. It has, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Are you there yet? No. Still not? No. Still not fixed. <sighs> That's ridiculous. Yeah, it is ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, yes. that's another conversation for another day. I won't bore you with it. Um, do you want to take it away? Because well, that's beautiful. Certainly will. And you could do something like this with your projects that are coming Absolutely. up. Absolutely. So, ah. Mm -hmm. It's a nice name. Yes. So my first entry from what today is number 67, and this is from Jan. Hello, dear JM team. I loved the multicolored selenite Lovely. bundle I bought from you. So my wall of fame entry this week is a necklace combining some of the blue selenite with cultured pearls and sterling silver findings. Everything from JM. Good luck to everyone in this week's draw. Very oh, nice, made Jan. For each other. Made for each other, aren't Beautiful. They? Thank you, Jan. Yeah, very romantic, that piece. Um, I have number 68 from Susan James. Um, some uh, A selection of lovely earrings. And Susan says, for this week's uh, entry, I have made some earrings in antique bronze and sterling silver consisting of mookite, sodalite, bronchronyx and black onyx. All from Jewelry Maker. Wishing all the waffers good luck and to have a lovely day. Well, they're cute. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Has it started oh. raining yet? Because I hear it's going to rain today. Yeah, we've got thunderstorms tonight. Well, I like, like a thunderstorm. Like lightning and everything, yeah. Don't like lightning, but I do like thunder. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. And it, breaks, it breaks the humidity. Yeah, clears the air. Clears the air. <laughs> <laughs> Number 69 is from Linda. My entry for this week's Wall of Fame is a sterling silver long nine necklace with a metallic fireball pearl from the birthday bundle and I finished it off with a sterling silver tassel as seen on one of Mark's demos. Hope you like it. And that's from lovely Linda. 
That's perfect, Beautiful, isn't Linda. It? You can just and see how, how that tassel would work, can't yeah, you? Yeah, how yeah. apt that is how on apt. the back of the Thank previous you. auction. Um, number 70 is from lovely Janet Ray. Hello, Janet Ray. Hello, Janet. Um, hello, lovely jewelry maker folk. Here's my waffering for this week. Um, another hair clip covered in jewelry maker felt and then 0.4 millimeter silver plated wire flowers. Um, in my favorite style of wire work taught by Claire originally, this style gets used a lot for me uh, for all sorts of pieces, brooches, hair clips, etc. Sometimes they even get gems woven in um, and this might, might too. As always, thank you for everything and uh, the sheer joy you bring us all, except the bank managers. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't bring bank managers joy. Sorry about that. No. no. Uh, you're number 70, Janet. Well done. Well done. 71 is from Michael. And Michael says, hi, everyone. This is the ring I made with the form. I glued an amylite to it. I made it using solder paste. Didn't um, Claire have solder paste yesterday? Yeah, she did, yeah. Yeah, sold out, I think, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. it did. Well done, Michael. There you I go. I love Michael's work. It's amazing. Very nice. Thank you. Very, very nice. Um, number 72, I could spot this a million miles off. Yes. It's from Sean Kerr. Hello to you, Sean. Um, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I used cubic right angle weave to build this elven inspired necklace. Um, the large Aurora crystal are from my stash, but the huge volume of sea beads I use are all the, uh, are all the crackle quartz in the neckline um, came from Jewelry Maker. Um, I hope you're all keeping well and thank you for all your inspiration and the deal, sending you much love. That's gorgeous, Sean, as always. Amazing, a lot Bless of work. You. A lot Bless of you. work. Right, Mark. Can we just take a moment? Because you've got three projects. If you saw this and you didn't know who designed all this, you would not in a million years think it was me, would you? If it was Guess the Designer, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think that was me. I don't think. If I saw that, I, I would think know. that would be Deb know. Kershaw. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I don't get elegant very often, so it's, it was quite a treat for me. Well, I beg to differ. Mm. You make it was the very I, I did push the bead caps, because I love bead caps. Um, can I just say though, Mark, because mm. I want to just take a moment. Like if, mm. if we were in Bond Street, Hatton Garden, any of those places, Place Vendôme, and you were to see that piece oh, yeah. in one window, and they are, they tend to be small windows, don't they? Velvet yeah. lined, a few delicate spots. How much do you think that piece mm. of jewellery would be? Because seriously, Mark, that's that's incredibly beautiful. I love this piece actually. It's, it's very it's very simple, very elegant. You could wear that with any Absolutely. outfit, couldn't you? And it's sterling silver, gold plates, and the bead silver. caps, everything. Yeah, that's it's stunning. Beautiful. So you get all the components that you need to recreate every single one of these pieces of jewellery. Obviously, with maybe a bit of extra wire. But then it's the same. You know, you know the Yoko of London pink pearl necklace. Is it? Is there a necklace similar to this? So similar, Mark. Oh. By I'll the way, it's twenty-two and a half thousand pounds. The necklace. Oh, is it? Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> and okay, yes, it's in rose gold, right. but I can't afford twenty-two and a half thousand pounds. I know I will be able to afford Mark's projects. See? Oh yes. And that doesn't have the flower connectors, does it? No. No. Again, if you uh, same conversation, if I was to show you this necklace or we were to walk past it maybe in Italy, Milan or Paris, wherever, would any of us imagine that we'd be able to afford that piece of jewellery? And finally, Mark. Sorry. That's oh, perfect, yes. isn't oh, it? Yes, See what actually, you mean? Yes. You didn't even realise no, that, did you? No. Oh, yes. And finally, Mark, the pure white. Now these are going on pre-order, so you can shop ahead on all your colorways, guarantee your place. Just so you know, you've got the largest quantity of the white. There's just under a hundred of these. Then you've got 70 of the like dusky. Lilac-y, blushy lilac rose. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. And then you've got less than 50 mm. of the spearmint. Um, 
We have not seen no. Shell Pearl. I can't remember. It's been ages. You know, all this, all this talk recently on the shows that, that you and Carol have explained to us and the viewers about the rarity of pearls and, and how we, it's difficult to get them. I never even thought about the detrimental no, effect, effect it would have on shell pearl. Just didn't uh, didn't register. Do you know, even prior to that, Mark, shell pearl. So shell pearl, basically, you still have to have the pearl. Yeah, you have absolutely, to have a pearl. Yes, yes. Quite often, and have you noticed as well? So shell, they use pearl and shell in pearlescent paint mm, that's right they literally use it mm. for pearlescent paint so that will have you might notice and this oh, yes, yes. might not seem something that's really relevant to us but a price in paint you know yeah, will go up as well yeah, yeah. makeup might well go yes. up oh, yes, because you get pearl, uh, right. pearls used in makeup too um but yeah it has a knock-on effect so you've got to get the pearl you've got to have the shell both of these items are not being exported at the moment no. so no, no, no. it's not just jewelry that's been affected it's it's lots of different sort of industries um anyway let's bring it back to us yeah i can't remember the last time i actually saw no. shell pearl no i don't think i've had them this year don't know if I have no. either. And I, I work, I, I worked with a lot of shell pearl. As you know, it's one of my favourite. Yeah. I, I prefer shell pearl to culture, to be fair. And you know, I've not made that any secret. No. Why? But, why? Um, yeah. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Why? Why do you prefer a shell pearl? Because every, I know that every single pearl is going to be exactly the same, perfectly and it's like spherical. uniformity, perfectly spherical. Yeah, every single time. And you, and you know, you you, you um, we've had faceted shell pearl in the past. And I always used to say you can't facet a shell, you can't facet a culture pearl, but we now know that you can. You can, yeah. You can, and we've had them on the show. But it's and again, all the colours that they could be, they can be dyed and they, you know, it's, it's from just, a just practical lovely. sense as well. A shell yeah. pearl is far more durable mm. than a normal cultured pearl. You don't so, have to be so strict with the perfume and no, that sort of thing. Either, or hairspray, no, or no. they are much more durable. So if you want. To to wear pearls on a regular basis, then perhaps shell pearls are a, a, are the option. Yeah. Isn't it the rule with it, pearls are the last thing to put on first and the first thing, thing off? Yes, last thing on, first yeah. thing off. Yeah, yeah, because you don't last. Don't be tempted to spray your perfume on top of pearls. No, no. Which I have been guilty of doing before, and it does damage them. Mm. It does. Shell pearls, you don't have to be quite so cautious with them. No, no, no. Um. Mark, these are stunning, absolutely stunning. Now I'm just going to move these out of the way for one second because I want to show you um, each of the projects. Now, it would make sense to me, I, I, it's Mark's, Mark's decision, it would make sense to me to start with this one. Yeah, go for it. Because it's the most limited. Yeah. Shall we? So the spearmint colour, which comes with the rose gold. Yep. So I'm going to tip those out, actually. What price are we going to with these, Ross? Wow. Yeah, amazing. it's amazing. Yeah. I love these bead caps. They're gorgeous. Look, and I specifically I... asked for this type of bead cap because yeah. I wanted to turn them into connectors. And you can do that with this because you've got those open petals of those little forget-me-not. They're kind of a bit They're Van Cleef. Gorgeous. They've got like a they beading on front and yes, reverse, right. haven't yeah. they? But they're amazing. And You've essentially squashed these, haven't you? And I didn't even use a hammer. <coughs> oh, really? Yeah. So you've just flattened them, probably yeah. not squashed, flattened. Yeah. Now these are rose gold plated, 925 sterling silver. Yeah. And do you get 20? 20? Yeah. Wow. I've never had as many as that. Wow. Of, of a precious metal before. Now, on top of those, you also get. It looks like 40 centimetres, is it? Or. 30 centimetres, I'm not sure the length of the chain. Our graphics will tell us, but yeah. you had a beautiful yeah. chain. That's diamond cut, I think. Stunning, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous, in your rose gold. So more than enough to recreate this necklace. Yeah, this, this necklace was using the gold chain from the other kit. So you've got more than enough. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? So all of this is, is rose gold plated 925 sterling silver. But then the star of the show are these amazing. They love the aren't they? Spearmint shell pearls. They, they're gorgeous, aren't mm. they? Okay, there are fifty, well less than fifty actually. I like the way they've been filmed on the bus like that. It gives them the respect I think they deserve. Yeah, they really do. 
Graphics alive. You could literally just knot that, couldn't you? Oh, 30 centimetres. Perfect. The chain length. 30 centimetres yeah. of your cable yeah. chain. Um, 925. You get 20 of those beautiful beaded flower caps. They're not just a mould. You know, they are beautifully beaded and textured. 20 of those. And they're 8 mils. So they're pretty big. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And then you've got that wonderful beautiful spearmint color they are flying i knew oh, they would i gosh. knew they would such a classy collection mark a really lovely, lovely classy collection and these are the, these see the earrings next to you, the rose with the, that i've used the chain with this one yeah you can actually move them to choose the length that you want so just you can make them oh. or you can so you can even have it yes yeah, so you can bring it right up to the top if you want to or having them the same length so all I've done is I've threaded, I've taken a length of chain, attached a gemstone either side and just threaded the chain through the loop so you can wear them all sorts of lengths. And oh, amazing. They're great, That's a clever they? idea. <laughs> yeah. So beautiful. And I, I assume you can do all of these designs with each Every of the one. kit, depending on yeah, which yep. colour way you want. Yep. Love those earrings. So where you haven't, if you like, flattened the bead no, caps. They're beautiful. And I think the 8 mil is the perfect size for these caps. Yeah. They're beautiful. Look at that bracelet mm. there too. Amazing, that's using the spearmint colour. It, oh, Mark, these are all, sorry, all absolutely beautiful. We're at 49.99, but that's literally to manage the quantity on the phone lines and the, um, on, on the app. As is this Ooh. next price crash, 34.99. My goodness me, I would pay that for the silver. So you get 30 centimetres. Oh yeah, don't forget the instructions. And you get that. That's how to make the necklace to your left. And you'll get this with every each of the three colourways. Remember, this project is the most limited in the spearmint. So if that's the colour that you favour, um, then, yeah, make sure you're checking out nice and early. Loads of people getting involved. Swansea, Elaine, Suzanne wants two. Susan and Brian, Angela, Kim, Valerie, Maker's got two. Geraldine, Carol, well done. Karen, well done. I've also got Patricia, Gerda, Maker, Norma, Mary and Jerry, Kaz. Abiola Ali, remember, Cheshire, these are limited, we've got less than 50 of these, Rachel, Hilda, Angela, Lorraine, Anjum's there as well, they're going to sell out for sure, for sure, Alice in Shropshire, Carol, you're there as well, not stopping at 34.99, haven't seen Shell Pearl in how long has it been? That's not what he just told me. <laughs> you heard him say twenty nine ninety nine, didn't you? Yeah, he you? did. Yeah. Yeah. He That's he, he crunched a few numbers. He dotted the i's and crossed the yeah. t's. I'd pay that for the bead caps. Yeah, me any too. Any day of the week. Because they are silver, aren't they? Yeah. They're beautiful. I mean, you pay more than that for a chain in, my, in most places, yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah. Wow. Um, these will be an on-screen sellout. Jewelry makers, can we shop ahead on the other colours? Big time. Big time. Oh, oh. I like it. Oh. Um, they've got oh. 70 of the dusky rose colour, the lavender like colour. Mm. We've got 100, just under 100 of the pure white. It's hard to choose a favourite, to be honest. They're all absolutely stunning. All of which come with um, your precious metal bead caps that Mark specifically asked for. Um, um, Ross has just said, L, I would ask Mark uh, to start the demo, but these are about to sell out, so let's bring, let's change the graphics. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, I'm not Let's surprised. go for the pinky there, dusky pink. That's dusky, a lovely colour, isn't dusky it? Dusky pink. Didn't it we have lovely. them? Well, you might have had them. It, that was that sort of, I think it's, it's awful, but that really elegant spectacle case you had with the pearls inside. Yes. But yes. That was the same colour, wasn't it? Or were, yes. they, were they? I think they were. Yes, yeah, they were. Yeah. I think this I will probably this. be the, the most popular because the fact they're pink, they're like they're yeah. like purple pearls, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Which purple pearls are huge, absolutely hugely popular. Oh. Um, Seventy-one of you have got this in your basket. I've only got how many available? Seventy-eight. Oh, sorry, of the spearmint, there's just three available now. Right, okay, I beg your, par I beg wow. your pardon. And just 70 in baskets, right, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I was getting confused then. Um, okay. What a lovely colour. These are available on pre-order, but I've now got less than 50. Yeah, I mean, 
there's never been a better opportunity to to recreate the Oka of London design. No. Take no. inspiration oh, yes, from that the Oka of London piece. Um, but never well. mind them. Take inspiration from our wonderful Mark, because don't forget, you also get the instructions. In fact, I'll bring your piece of jewellery over, shall I, Mark? 21 steps, this one. 21? 21. Oh, 21. Yeah. It's manageable. Yeah, yeah. It still takes hours, doesn't it? <laughs> Amazing, Mark. That's 22 and a half grand on that's the left. That's the gold one here on screen now. Yeah. Oh, my word. Or you can recreate it, your version. It's that Yoko one. You could put the um, Swarovski rondelles in, in between could, as yeah. they've got some sort of space. Uh, yeah. ah. Loving our shell fill. We had just around about 70, but they've flown on pre-order. Oh, and um, they're described as lilac, yeah, but like a dusky rose yeah. purpley yeah. colour, aren't they? They're really beautiful. Not stopping here, jewellery makers. Again, we have to manage, if you like, the uh, traffic um, on the phone lines, the web and the app, otherwise we could potentially crash all the systems and then we're not popular. You get 20 of those beautiful, what, 24.99? That is for the shell pearl. You've got enough bead caps there to, I'm going to show you how we flatten them in a second, to flatten them, jump ring them up and just have a bracelet just of the bead caps, which I think would look stunning. Oh, there we are. That Can bracelet I would sell for, I don't know, 50, 60 pound. Yeah. Because of the sterling. And they work so well, don't they? Yeah, just being flattened. Yeah, they're lovely. They're beautiful. Can you see that? If I hold it that way, maybe. There's your bead caps yeah, there. The earrings I like. There's some pair of matching earrings. I think the, the other end. Yeah, that I've attached to and then the shell pearl at the bottom. They're really cute. And that's only using, what, two of your pearls yeah. and then four, four of, of yeah. your bead caps. Yeah. I bet you've got more there. Just now. amazing. Mark, they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. And it's achievable jewellery mm. as well, isn't it? So simple. So simple. Amazing. Now, the white ones are on pre-order jewellery makers, so you can shop ahead on those. I love the white. We've got a hundred of those, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. Wow. So I would, I, I, yeah, shop ahead on those. A hundred, well, it seems like loads. You've seen how quickly lots of these items have flown out today, jewellery makers. I'll keep you posted. The spearmint sold out? Gone. Wow. Okay. There's about... 27 left of this of this color the lilac um and obviously you've got a quantity of the of the pure white currently um i do think they'll all sell out i'm going to be getting hold of some of these projects as well because they're so classy um amazing and i can't remember the last time that we actually had no. shell pearl genuinely can't remember um okay mark what are you going to show us i'm just going to show you lots of little things nice that's all right yes so we mentioned earlier uh Flat nose pliers. Okay, so this is your, I've always used these. These are your flat nose pliers that you get in your basic tool kit, okay? So you've got the pointy bit and then you've got that sort of, that sort of curve, which is the strongest part of your pliers, okay? So I'm going to, I'm going to place it on the, on the tabletop so it'll be easier than, so that's our little bead cap, okay? Yeah. On the top of the table there. Okay, place your flat nose pliers. This is so simple. Are you actually doing, doing the demo here? <laughs> okay, watch. All I'm going to do is place my pliers down on the top where that curved flat part is. I'm just going to push. Oh. Done. You don't even need a hammer. I'm going to bring another one up. Place it upside down. You hear a little thud. So I'm just going to place my pliers down and I'm just going to push. Did you hear that? Oh, yeah. Did you hear that then? Yeah. That little thud. Just do one more. Right, we're listening. There we go. And just push down. So that's all you have to heard do. Heard it? You heard that little. Yeah. Thud. Yep. It's okay. The, it's so the that, middle meeting the. Yep. So that. So that's that's how you flat. Oh, and all of a sudden you've got these lovely little embellishments. Now you have your. Connectors. Now you have your connectors. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to take my. So I still have my lots of chain left from my original first kit. So we're going to cut a length of chain. I'm just going to go in and cut a length. Okay, so I've got my length of chain. 
Now you can use either 0.4 or 0.6 millimetre wire. 0.6 will go through that chain. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just going to cut off a length of our 0.6. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start to make a wrap loop at one end of the wire. Okay, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to pick up my length of chain and I'm going to feed it onto the last link. Normally I would lean a lot closer to it than this. Why are you talking about Ribena? Is there a, <laughs> is there a story Sorry, Adam, it? I just had a sip of my drink oh. and um, my brother used to work for Ribena. Oh, that's right, yes. But I he remember. doesn't anymore. Oh, I see. So that does mean that I have to buy my Ribena, <laughs> which is rubbish because um, he used to turn up with uh, Ribena by the crate. Oh, I the love girls Ribena. I and me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the girls loved it. Ribena's yeah. good, isn't it? So anyway, you, sorry, yeah. that's what we were talking Sorry. So I've fitted your, your 0.6 wire through the last link on that piece of chain. Okay, so that's really that's yeah, yeah. good to know. So the, 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 yep. the link is open enough to be Absolutely. able to yep. wrap, yep. Um, what, wrap loop onto it? Yep, yep. so your 0.4 or your 0.6. As you can see, 0.6 is probably the largest gauge that you can get through. So I've just made a little link. And then I went into my stash and I found these. I mean, these are only, I think these are plated rather than sterling, but we're bound to have sterling spaces yeah. in your stash and I'm going to I didn't like placing the bead cap straight onto the wrap loop I wanted to make a little feature of of the actual bead cap so I'm just going to pick up one of these little spacer beads thread that on and then I'm going to place my bead cap which color pearl do you fancy who me yeah, yeah. I can't decide Mark because I do like the white yeah I go for the white then. So, so take then take one of these shell pearls. And they're, they're, again, they've got really good drill holes. Being shell pearls, they're larger than cultured. Place that on. So as you can see, the the the, the, the pearl size is absolutely perfect for the bead cap made for it. And then we'll take another bead cap, thread the end, and then we put, again pop up and pop on another little spacer bead. Well, that's pretty. Like the rose so. gold with yep. the white. It's absolutely beautiful. Just look, isn't that lovely? So if, if I think I've done a bracelet, a white bracelet somewhere with a you group have. of three with the chain. And that again, that's using your, your 0.6 wire. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so so bridal. And just having that, that bead cap in that central pearl there, it just adds that, that extra. So you only need to put one if you wanted to, just yeah. one pearl. Mark, these are absolutely yeah. beautiful projects, and I love the fact that this is something that you get the instructions obviously for the Rhapsody yeah, yeah. in Rose yeah. um, necklace. But I love the fact that this is, you know, it's yeah. achievable. It's got everything in there. Yeah. yeah. And then we're just going to finish off this little link. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to do finish off that wrapped loop, like so. And again, this can be an earring. I like the, the drops when you just have one pearl with a bead cap at the end of the length of chain. Just make sure that's nice and straight. Like so. So that could be one version. And then we're going to incorporate our connectors. So we're going to use jump rings. So we pick up our jump ring. This is an open jump ring. And I'm going to pick up one of my connectors and feed that on. And then the connector I'm going to feed onto the wrap loop, close that like so, so you can connect with jump ring to jump ring on the little flowers if you want to, or we could, let's pick up another piece of 0.6 millimeter wire, we're going to start our wrap loop, and then we're going to pick up our connector, make sure that you're picking up the, the opposite petal, a couple of times I went off kilter and popped my wire on the wrong petal. So feed that down, drop it into place. Then we're going to connect our next wrap loop. As I said, if you if you're um if you're new to doing 
rosary linking or or um, wire wrapping, have a go with a 0.4 to start. And then let's pop on another, another space at bead. And then let's go for let's go for the green, shall we? And then we're going to pop on another of our bead caps. So I said you, it, it's really nice because we've got twenty of these bead caps instead of ten. Mm. So you can, you, I think, with a big necklace, I think I've kept ten as caps and ten I flattened. Oh yes, you and can that see that. Yeah, and that gives you enough connectors and bead caps to do that over the head length. Just from adding a bit of a bit Let's of point six wire. And then if you follow down. They are cute. Can you see? You've got the flattened ones. Oh, I like that map. They're really good, aren't they? It's such a nice little, perfect little kits. And then we're just going to finish off the second half of the wrap loop on this side. There we go. So you can see in just that tiny little demo there, just how many different ways you have to connect all of your components together. So we've got attaching it to chain, we've got using the caps as intended, we've got jump ring connecting, we've got wrap loop connecting, and just just, just have a play, have an absolute play. They're and as so I said, pretty, aren't as they? As I said, you've got 20 of these with really yeah. good open petals, yeah. so you can have a really good play. They're really good fun. I'm going to show you on the silver ones, Mark, yeah. they're so pretty. Yeah. Um, just the detail of these as well, because sometimes when we see bee caps, and these are lovely too, don't get me wrong, but they're kind of like a, they're like a mold, mm. aren't they? Yeah, they're yeah. a mold. Yes. Whereas yes. if I hold one of these up to you, hang on, I'm all fingers and thumbs. Um, so, oh, yes. can you see the detailing? It looks as though they've got six petals that they've then soldered together doesn't it yeah they're properly yes. beaded almost like yes. you know van cleef and arpels almost bead mm. their their gold yes. all the way around oh yeah can yes. you see i they're think these these are these are the most beautiful bead caps i've had i agree yeah they're so lovely now of the dusty pinks or the lilacs whichever way oh look at that mm. photo yeah. there's eight left wow. there's only eight left of that project um you've got a chance but it's it's getting more limited um, because there's more than eight people within a basket. So if your name is Linda, Denise, Patricia, Chloe, Northamptonshire, Jay, Maker, West Yorkshire, Anne, Julie, Gloria, Helen, Lynn, Abiola, uh, you've just disappeared off the screen then, uh, Anna, Linda, Denise, you can still do it, but you need to be checking out your baskets. Um, the spearmint sold out already. Seven right. left of the lilac. Well done, Anna. You came in at the very end then, and you got one of those eight. So well done. What I like about the three colours of pearls is that you can have a real mix and match. I was thinking. So if, so if, you, so if you get a couple of the kits, the different colour of the silver would work with all three colours. Mm. So they'll be beautifully mixed together I yeah, think very absolutely. summery yeah, yeah. Um, amazing make sure you're checking out and we've got five left you can still do it just go, it's first come first serve let's do the oh, final one gosh. such more than a third's gone on pre-order mm. I, I generally this is in the silver so and it is 925 sterling silver so you get that same beautiful diamond cut length of chain beautiful you get 20 chain. of those of those uh, bead caps which are so much more than bead caps, aren't they? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Graphics straight away. And then you have the most amazing shell pearl. When was the last time that we saw shell pearl? I don't remember. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yes, yeah, stunning, absolutely stunning. Because the, the other thing, really with a shell pearl, you are guaranteed to find, if I want, if these were cultured pearls, they would be thousands of pounds. For such a perfect strand like yeah. this. Yeah. They absolutely. would be thousands, tens of thousands mm. of pounds. Because they're perfectly spherical, because they're completely smooth. Um, there's no sort of nicks or, or blemishes, if you like, to the surface. They're all beautifully uniformed in terms of their colour and luster and everything. It would be, it'd be fortunes. Look at the call screens. Wow. We've got a hundred, haven't we, this one? We have got a hundred. Yeah. Those of you that have taken the initiative to shop ahead, I think there's some savvy shopping. Yes, yeah. Um, but we aren't stopping there. Beautiful shell pearl. 
the most amazing bead caps that are all 925 sterling silver and you get the sterling silver chain and the instructions from our lovely so you could make this with any of the three kits with any of and you'll have three and you'll have bits left over yeah you can make this one mm, yep whichever you prefer or you can make more because you've got bracelets and earrings yeah. you can make them all so with the gold I, the gold i had one of the little bead caps left so i flattened it and just made a simple macrame friendship bracelet with it which is really cute <laughs> it is lovely yeah you can you could charge ten quid for that on your stall. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And then the um, the that's just a simple stretchy bracelet using all three colours. Yeah, that's With a really little nice. um, silver spacer bead in between. Half the stock's wow. gone. Oh, I I had a feeling. <laughs> well, I thought we've got a hundred and it's sterling, without any uh, I lacing. Mean, uh, yeah. Oh, that'd be lovely have to say for the price of mm. the actual spacer beads if you if you break this down into packs of 10 mm. you get 20 but imagine yeah, yeah. we used to sell bead caps in packs of 10 we did didn't yeah. we yeah you know i think i've only ever had bead caps in tens i think this is the first time i've had exclusive 20 mm. in a pack of the same variety i think i know what is he is he planning i think you know you had that feeling mm -hmm. earlier and you predicted something. I think I know what he's taking these to. Okay. We're going and below that next threshold type thing. Mm -hmm. so, I mean anything, to be honest, I'm happy at twenty four ninety nine, as are our customers. Look at the call screen. He's doing it. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> are you doing it? Called it. Well, that's your chain and your pearls free then. Yeah, you're buying yeah, your bead caps. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's why I was saying it. £10 yeah. pound per. And they're not small pack bead of 10, caps either. And they're silver. Yeah, they're not small either. No. Yeah, they're 8 mil. Mm. Beaded flower and, and curved bead caps yeah. as well. Beautiful. As I if you can that. make that for £20. Pounds. That's 80 or 90 quid necklace, isn't it? And I bet it would fly mm. at that price. Yeah. Beautiful. Amazing. We had a hundred, but they're absolutely skyrocketing. Um, don't forget, you also get your instructions, so that means you can recreate. I'm gonna, this shall forever be known now to me as the Yoko. <laughs> um, you can recreate this amazing. It's not. It's from Absolutely mm. Rose. Um, I love this one. No, I love the gold and the green. That's together. gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Love this yeah. idea of the earrings. And the reality is, Mark, you can probably make a few of these different absolutely. pieces. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Watch the show back again yeah. and you can get all, all of those uh, tutorials. So um, apart from the macrame bracelet, every single one of the other pieces, the techniques to make are in the booklet. Eh? Hey, yeah. say that again. So all of the pieces of jewellery yeah. that you can see, in one form or another, I've given instructions in the tutorial. Uh, Oh, so the Rhapsody is yeah. is actually all of these pieces. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, you, yeah. it's, so wrap it's loops, that. So connecting, um, adding chain. Um, is that where the Rhapsody comes from? What's that? Wrap, wrap loop. Oh, no, actually. Rhapsody. I don't know where the word Rhapsody came from. Oh, no. I was like, oh, I wonder if that's where oh, it originated right. from. Oh, right. okay. uh, 1999, the call screens have gone crazy. Well done. We had 100. How are we doing in terms of quantity, Roscoe? 23 wow. left, but we've got Helen, Christine, Dorothy, Christine, Jay, Agnes, Lynn, Maker, Glenda, Jennifer, West Yorkshire, Elizabeth Maker, West Midlands, Nina, Alison, Anne. Those are just a few of the names that I can see on our call screens right now. Don't let that put you off. Uh, you can still get involved, pick up the phone lines, add it to your basket or on the app. Just make sure you check out nice and early. Add it to your order if you've been shopping with us. Remember, um, remember as well that one post of packaging all day. So um, amazing. Now, Mark and I reunite on Tuesday, don't we, Mark? We do. Yeah. Very exciting because it's a pretty special day for you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Shall we hear all about it? Okay. Here is Mark talking about why Tuesday is a show not to miss. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. Now, as many of you know, on Tuesday the 23rd of July, it's going to be rather a special show. 
we're going to be celebrating my 13th year since my very first appearance on Jewelry Maker. And we had to start the show with a bang. And boy, are we gonna start the show with a bang. I'm going to be bringing to air me, I'm going to be doing the early bird. I'm going to be bringing you the jewellery and accessory organiser. I'm going to be telling you all about the inventor, a lovely lady called Jackie Young. I'm going to be telling you her incredible story, how the product was developed, how it's been marketed around the world. Beautiful, beautiful product. And it's the first time we've had it on JM. We've got it in two colourways. We're going to be presenting it in a beautiful black. Look at this, isn't that stunning? and also a pink and white version. Beautifully packaged, perfect gifts. That's going to be this Tuesday, 23rd of July, the early bird between eight and nine o'clock to kickstart my 13th anniversary celebrations. You will not want to miss this. Well done. Sold out. Amazing. It's your jewellery maker anniversary, Mark. 13 years. Can I you know. It? That's amazing. Do you know, it is lovely, isn't it? When you think, oh, 13 years. Wonderful years. Yeah. Came in to make some jewellery on a Sunday morning. Meet the crew and the team. And, and the rest is history. Yeah. Who would have thought it? Who Don't you find a lot it? of our stories, actually, if you mm. speak to the team of... of, of unfold if that makes sense so like so you came yeah, for a yeah. sunday experience yeah. alison who's with me tomorrow you know she's I entered the wall of fame and she you entered the wall of fame you yeah spotted her and headhunted her i did yeah, gave, did. Her, gave her a sort of very spontaneous phone call yeah, yeah i applied for another job i was project manager didn't realize it was anything to do with jewelry making mm. <laughs> <laughs> sorry adam's making uh, me laugh didn't realise it was anything to do with jewellery or jewellery making, even though that was my genre. Um, yeah. And then Steve found out that I'd uh, worked in, um, in direct sales. He's like, no, you're not working that role, you're working mm. this role. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Adam was just walking his dog. And it, no, only joking. <laughs> <laughs> only joking. Yeah, do you want to, come on, Ad. Um, but then a lot of our stories do unfold, don't they? Mm. Yeah. See lots of changes, haven't we? We we certainly have, yeah. and it doesn't yeah. seem like thirteen years, Mark. No. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Incredible. Yeah. We spoke before we came um, on air, and we were talking about the fact that, you know, because um, it's often a question. It's like, oh, what do you do for a living? And yeah, you know, it'll be like, oh, I dread that question because it's always really difficult to explain. Mm. It's like oh, I I work on a shopping TV channel. That's what I say. Yeah. But. Yeah, similar to me. Yeah, it's the best job. It is the best job because it's not really a job. That's the thing. It's incredibly hard work. It is hard work. Say, yeah, say, it is yeah. hard work, especially for our designers. Mm. I have to say, you mm. put in a lot of hours, don't you? Mm. But I think, in all honesty, you wouldn't change it. No, no, no. I love it. It's the best job ever. Yeah. Best job. Um, yes. I tell you what. You're on again tomorrow with Alison, aren't you? I certainly yeah. am yes, on tomorrow yes. with our lovely Alison. So, um, and we've got equally an amazing Sunday morning show. So, coming up at eight o'clock in the morning, you've got Tiger Tail. Oh, brilliant. Tiger Tail, thread pair. So, um, we haven't seen that in ages. Nine o'clock, we've got a lovely selection of your beautiful agates. At uh, 10 o'clock, we've been teasing you with these, the most beautiful ripple pearls, 10 mil as well, they're massive. Yes, yep. Absolutely massive. 11 o'clock, we've got a black opal nugget mega deal. So one of the rarest colors. Yeah. That's a whole hour, by oh, the way. Right. Um, that's not just of your black opal, that's a few other gemstones like Neon Appetite. Amazonite bundles, so a big uh, mega deals there. 12 o'clock then you've got your type A jadeite collar wheels. Oh, lovely, with the 925 sterling silver jump ring projects with Alison again. Um, have you, did you say you've got the menu for Tuesday? Uh, I've got the menu for Tuesday. Go on then. So in the early bird, it's me with yeah. amazing um, Jackie Young's um, accessory organizer and jewelry organizer, so I'm going to be launching that. At nine o'clock we've got can you believe this? We've only gone and secured a 0.9 Eslon bundle. I know, along with Fire Agate, amazing. And the tutorial that you get is a step-by-step, 42-step wow. on the, tr get this, the triple row Shambhala Macramo wow. bracelet. 
from start to finish. Yeah. I've no idea what the deal of the day is. And then at 12 o'clock, on the back of on the back of today's show, kits are oh deal of the day. Oh, brilliant findings! Oh, amazing central findings, brilliant, brilliant. And then at twelve o'clock, we've got kits made up of diamond tubing, cultured pearls, and more Swarovski Rivoli rondelles, similar to what we had today, including oh, including clear, which are absolutely <gasps> beautiful. We've got an amazing big, big, big secret deal, but we're not allowed. We've been sworn to secrecy until the morning that we yeah. launch the show. Yeah, so there's going to be we've got, not, there's going to yeah. be lots of special offers around the number thirteen. Okay, so it's yeah. going to be brilliant. That's naughty. Mm. That's naughty, Mark. Yeah, and you're going to join us. Yes, it's going to be lovely. I am joining yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Mark, our finale of the day. D I S C O. One more time, everybody. Sing it. D I S C O. Oh. <laughs> Back at 50. Do you notice Amazing. how Ross is not at all getting on board with that? He? No. Um, nice and easy first crash, he says. Ross doesn't like disco. He's like, stop talking about discos. Oh, these are cool. Fun looks of the day. Oh, these would be perfect with that last kit. They would be. With the white pearls, yeah. Not paying <sighs> £10 for a pack of 50. You're not? No. We're going to go again. It's our finale. Oh, these would look beautiful with that kit. They would look amazing. Yeah. In fact, they look amazing with lots of the yeah. items that we've brought you today because you can't go wrong with a space of no. these, can you? No, no. They do so much. Um, and because these are, in effect, faceted aren't they mm -hmm. like a diamond would be in effect they're faceted means you're going to get amazing luster and light performance as 925 sterling silver is the most lustrous of your precious metal d i s c o these are not 99.99 last talk of oh, the day we're going out with a bang yes Ooh. that's amazing stuck up your sashes that's brilliant. Well done, everybody. 50. You've got enough there for a bracelet, stretchy bracelet. Just That's the bows. Point. Yeah. Good point. Get yeah. it, stick it on your elastic, and away you go. Yeah, yeah. That's seven Sorted. inch, seven and a half inches worth there. Is it really? Mm. Do you yeah. know, one of my best friends yeah. bought my other friend a stretchy bracelet that was almost exactly that, spacer beads on elastic. Really? And I, I know, she, I know she paid more than seven ninety nine, <laughs> And yeah, not yeah. just by a little bit. Yeah. Um, how many do we have, Ross? We have 300. Wow. Oh, good. Oh, so there's loads Amazing. of people getting involved. Um, there are so many of you there. You're not restricted. There's no cap. If you want to get more of these, you can. If you want to get 10, why not? Today's the day. It's been an amazing morning. It's been brilliant. It's flown by again. I always Absolutely have fun flown though. By. With I'm going to a garden centre now to buy some bark chippings. Oh, nice. Yeah. I don't know. I get yeah. I, I get excited about a garden yeah. centre. Full stop. And start. some bird seed as well. Nice. Yeah. So I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do. Then. Um, this afternoon, if it's not hammering it down with rain, I'm ripping down a Wendy oh, yeah. house. Oh yeah. That's what I've got to do because nice. the kids nice. literally call it haunted. It's that. It's yeah. that scary. And you need looking. to service your lawnmower. No, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a life we lead. <laughs> glamorous glamour. <laughs> oh goodness me have a wonderful day and I'll see you, see you bright Tuesday, and early yeah. in the morning yes see you Tuesday. have a lovely afternoon <laughs>